I can't feel anything. Where's Hey, let me go. Shouldn't feel like a million bucks. And yet, I kind of do. Think, Slade, think. What's the mission, soldier? Okay, don't panic. Jumping dimensions is supposed to fry half of your brain. I don't recognize this place. Damn it. Maybe some fresh air will jumpstart my synapses. How can I remember a word? That's a change of scenery. Beautiful. Huh. Huh? What the? Whoa. Someone is taking real heat. I gotta get over there. Oh, you know the way? Right behind you, little one. That was some scary alien technology. I hope that ship didn't decimate my unit. Where is my gear? Am I even on duty at all? Damn, focus, Slade. <laughs> My head is splitting. Seem to be too badly hurt. I don't know. I hope they'll be able to. Nay, Lapta! Whoa! <laughs> Easy now. I come in peace. I assume. You. You speak Aga Kamon? Yeah, I was trained to speak 14 languages, but I've never heard of <gasps> All right, I speak Aga Kamon, sure. Yeah. Take off your shirt. Say again? Show me the Zokrum amulet. Look, uh, you got me confused with someone else. I travel from another dimension, and uh, how can I put this simply? You are human. Yes. Good. You're way ahead of me because I don't know what species you are. The Ulukai should know about Talans. So who are you? The name's Slade. Commander Cutter Step Slade. Step finger monster, or by the yods, I'll make a trophy out of your deformed hands. Okay, no handshakes. I meant it as a friendly gesture. Listen, that word you just said, it's like echoing in my head. Finger monster. <laughs> no, the other one. U Ulukai? I have a feeling we were supposed to meet. The prophecy mentions a human savior returning the Zokrum amulet. You don't seem to know anything about that. Yeah, well, my memory took a momentary hike. 
What happened with that ship I saw? Invaders have enslaved the Talans and are threatening the land of my ancestors. Without the guidance of the Ulukai, Adalfa is doomed. So we're on Adalfa, huh? Impressive. And it definitely rings a bell. I am Liaz, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. The invaders have just abducted one of my people. If the Yods are on your side, you'll save her. I need proof that you are the Ulukai. I can't remember my mission briefing, so... Fine. Lead the way, Liaz. There's no time to waste. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the enemy's ship. The invaders have taken the prisoner into their outpost ahead. May the Yods guide your fist, human. This fist? You're not even gonna lend me your spear? I shall not influence the trial. That's just peachy. Please tell me that these invaders are just gonna throw coconuts at me. Reverting bolts of fire shot at lightning speed. Is that what coconuts are? Yeah. Not exactly. Let's find this Dalatai Guardian. They say exercise is good for the brain anyway. of tech. Better be careful. These bots got what was coming to them. Wonder if the Dolotai Guardians took him out. Not a living thing here. I wonder what these invaders look like. One size fits all. jump, I say how high. She keep moving. She can't be far. Now what? I'm 
must find a way to open this door. This gear is more advanced than anything I've seen before. Try shooting me now. Looks like some kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. Looks like some kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. Slade, but I have a bad feeling about Lies's friend. I gotta find her quick. What's that about? HQ to Alpha 32. We registered an explosion on the thermal grid. Requesting status. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It can't be. Alpha 32, report. Commander, are you under attack? Report. Humans. Invaders of my people. Good luck explaining that little detail to Liaz. I guess you won't be needing this anymore, pal. Let's see if the scanner is working. That should do the trick. Um, here we go. Damn 
it, lady. I had this. You didn't have to sacrifice yourself. WFA. That's the army. I... Why do I have the feeling that I'm playing for the wrong team? WFA is using droids now. Oh. Oh, I, I guess we can't talk! Uh oh. See that? Yeah? How do you turn it off? Huh? Goddamn savage. Speak! Wrong answer. And wrong freaking language. Again! <laughs> if we can't teach you English, what good are you? Sir, there's been an attack. What? Where? District 54. We lost contact with the infantry station there. Send a repair team now. And activate visual monitoring in our main facilities. Their babbling is like nails on a chalkboard. They're hiding something. Find out what it is. And bring me another prisoner. these people? What are they doing in my head? Wait. I dreamed about this place before. So... That wasn't a dream? to help keep your mommy and her friends safe. And I want to come too. It's too dangerous, baby girl. Don't worry, I'll be back in no time. I promise. Daddy promised the same thing. Camilla. I mean Commander Slate. Sorry, mommy. Don't be sorry. I love you. He said that too. saw you revert in the explosion. Well, I'm back. But don't ask me how it works. I'm afraid your guardian friend wasn't so lucky. She took out a lot of invaders before I could get to her. Her sacrifice makes us proud. Bless her essence. And bless the Ulokai. The trial is a success. You have proven that you are protected by the yachts. Why are we stopping here? 
I need a portal to my dimension. I, I got a daughter, and... I also have a daughter, and I don't want her to suffer. The Yods need you to deal with the monsters that are oppressing the Talans. Listen, I gotta tell you something about these monsters you're up against. I know all about them. They're more poisonous than the Nekar Plague. We should exterminate them all. Oh, come on. That's a bit excessive. There must be some good people among them. None deserve mercy. Not after what they did to my people. But forgive my anger, Ulakai. You wanted to tell me something. Uh, memory blanked again. <laughs> yes, uh, home. Uh, how can I get back to my dimension? Only the Almael can answer that question. But Kizar is a forbidden island. Oh, my kind of place. Which way? The island is covered by a massive Hilidium shield. We call it the Spear. Nothing can penetrate it. So is the will of the Yods. Yeah, your Yods couldn't make this easy for me, huh? Maybe there is a way. The children of Kizar are suffering from a mysterious disease, and the Almayal is calling Shamazes to heal them. Uh, do I look like one of these Shamazes? No. However, you could convince one to introduce you to the Almayal. But they're going to make you work for it. Well, how about you introduce me? I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing. I won't scratch you, Ulukai. Besides, Dolatai Guardians are not welcome in Kizar anymore. So, where do I start? Emea is the closest village. Ask for Shamaz Nemet. Gotcha. Oh, you know, you should wear this device so we can keep in touch. Comlink synchronizing. Synchronization complete. But what about the invaders? Yeah, you leave these unidentified monsters to me. Hey there. Maybe you could help me. Sola. Koi yo sayat? Mene yonor. Or maybe not. Mae guita neoge. Adrika nekar. Saha guadrun. Sorry, I don't understand a single word you're saying. Slade de Liaz, you copy? I left Kizar before learning how to write. I can't copy anything, Ulukai. No, it means, do you hear me? Then I'd prefer if you just say what you mean. All right, look. I have a serious communication problem here. I can't understand a word these Talans are saying. You speak Agakamon, Ulukai. Only Shamazes and Dolotai guardians like myself learn that lost language. The native Talan tongue is Agasoric. That explains it. Thanks, Liaz. Mia. Let's find Shamaz Nemet.
Maybe I could use my scanner to look for Nemet. I'm full. Sorry to bother, but uh, I'm looking for the Shemaz of this place. Katakizai, Yad's Almighty. You speak perfect Akakaman, the lost language of Kazar's false prophecy. Who are you? Well, I'm glad you can understand me. The name's Cutter Slade. You might have heard of the Ulukai. Ulukai? <laughs> I am sorry. This is a strange moment. I haven't spoken Akakaman in many moons. I am Mehmet, Shamaz of Amiya. Nice to meet you. Listen, Liaz sent me. You gotta help me out. I don't think I can but speak, and I will listen. Listen, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but your gods, I mean Yods, brought me to your dimension for a reason. I need to know what that reason is so I can return to my family. Long story short, I gotta speak with the Almael. Only Shamazes can be invited to Kizar outside of Vokostok. And I am a Shamaz. Amazing. Go pack your lunchbox then. We leave in ten. Hmm. I have felt the call of the Almael. The children of Kizar are sick and they need healing. But what can a Shamaz do? The path to Kizar is long and fought with invaders. You might survive, but a Shamaz would surely revert. Look, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Once we get to this Kizar, we can figure out what to do about the kids, too. We. The spear protects the island of Kizar from all intruders, and the Almayel doesn't know you. I'm sorry. The Almayel won't meet with you. That's exactly why I need you to slip in, talk to the Almael, and figure out how to get me home to see my own kid, because you're right, this whole thing is about our children, right? Hmm. If one could reactivate the... I believe you call them portals? Is that the right Akakamun word for Dialkas? Then traveling from Amiya to Kizar would be just like that. Whoosh. The space of three breaths. But Chief Hatsa won't allow it. The invaders made our Daukas not work, you know. He doesn't want to anger them more. You may not have any issues with authority, but I do. I can help reactivate your Daoka if it gets us to Kizar. Hmm. Helping you goes against Chief Hatsa's command. I could be called a traitor. But the children are my priority, and Talans are a grateful people. We reward heroic deeds. Help us with the Daoka, and I will, how do you say, be a champion of you, Tahatso and the Almayel. Is that how you say it? Doesn't sound right. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Take care, Nemet. Slay to Liaz. I spoke with the Shamaz of Amiya. Nemet, is he willing to help? Yeah, under one condition. That I turn their Daoka back on. You will need to recover its core that was stolen by the invaders. They keep it in a nearby base. You've been there? It's too dangerous for the Talans. Our weapons cannot match their firepower. I can show you where it is located. I'm on it. Thanks, Liaz. Where's that?
Here you are. There's something wrong with your comm link. I turned it off. You did? What? What are you doing? We took this from them. I'm sure they'd want their relics back. We could use it to parlay. You know we don't have the clearance to do that. I came looking for you. Your father wants to see us at HQ. Maybe this mission isn't only about what he wants, Colonel. Let that sink in for a while. Vision. Was that the Daoka core Nemetis looking for? Bot coming from. You asked to see us? You can skip the decorum, sweetheart. Just call me father. Okay. Father. I don't want you on the ground anymore. The situation has escalated. What's happening, General? This footage comes from the black box recovered in one of our damaged drones. Look. A rogue agent? It's... Impossible! Exactly, Colonel. This is proof the savages are sorcerers. They can get in our minds, mess with our heads. Clearly, it's some kind of alien shapeshifter. Really? Come on, Father. 
This is getting a little ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? You're the fleet negotiator, and you still haven't managed to communicate with a single prisoner. Yet you keep assuring me these primates are intelligent. We're taking over their land. Just because they don't welcome us doesn't mean they're stupid. This is General Borum. Send reinforcement convoys to all bases. Do it now. Looks like the odds are turning me into a psychic. Anyway, thanks for the heads up, General. Ulukai, as expected, your presence didn't go unnoticed. Some Talans are already talking about you. Oh yeah? What are they saying? I can't make much sense of what they're telling me. They don't understand you either. Only the Shamas speak Agrikamon. Shamas is only that. I'll keep that in mind. Slate out. for the last two months. That's eight weeks, Slade. Weeks, months. Got dispatched to Costa Rica. Black Ops. You know I couldn't check it for her birthday. It's... It's just too hard on Camilla. The longing, the questions. You can't show up unannounced and then disappear again for God knows how long. What, what are you saying? That I should stop coming? Not like this. You're either in or out of her life, you understand? That's the job, Wolf. You, if anyone, should understand that. I do understand. So, please do not come back until you receive the paperwork from the lawyer. detour or something so this is the place behold the spear Keep your promise, right? Uh, it's all gonna be fine. 
slate. Sick children to tend to. The Amael will see you now. Thanks, Nemet. Don't thank me yet, Ulukai. This is a big place for just one. So you're, you're the, the mysterious, mysterious stranger. stranger. The Almayel sees you, human. Speak your Aga come on words, and the Almayel shall listen. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, which one of you is the Almayel? I am the Almayel, one luminous being, the ruler of Adelpha, the precious link between Talans and the Yards. I see. I'm only here because I'd like to go back to my dimension. But your Yods? Well, they seem to want something else. I think they're trying to tell me something. Blasphemy! Only the Almayel can hear the voice of the Yods. Why would the Yods address a human? Maybe this Ulukai thing? The Yods, they've shown me things like visions. Oh, and I heard a voice, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's if that. Lies! Humans, Humans are, are liars. liars. Leave, Leave this sacred, sacred sanctuary, sanctuary at, at once. once. No, wait! The Almayel has, has spoken. spoken. Hold on. Liaz told me that you could answer my questions. Liaz. The sound of that name casts ripples on the perfect surface of Melia. It shall not be spoken in Kizar. All right, look. I meant no disrespect, but I have a message from your yachts, okay? I'm sure you want to hear it. Let's work something out and you can help me get off this rock. Speak now or leave. Do we have a deal? Speak! Speak. Okay, so it goes something like this. Nas your cat. I'm a... not... Mm, nectar? Yods, Yods Almighty. Almighty. You see? <laughs> I told you it was important. Imposter! Imposter. How, How dare, dare you mock, mock the Almayel? Look, I'm working on my accent, all right? Listen to me, I have died. Actually died, okay? But I keep waking up in some kind of vortex with this echo, the same words repeating. Nas your cat. No. Nas your cat. Amanor. Nika! That's more like it. The message speaks, Agazork. So, so it is, is true. You, you hear, hear the, the voice of the gods. Hearing was the easy part. Care to translate? Oh, wait. I think I already know what it means. Save, Save us, us from, from extinction. extinction. How do I? What language am I speaking? The gods have, have translated, translated the message. message. The Almayel sees and hears what is left to comprehend. To save us from extinction, we must protect. Kizar must be protected to save the Talans from extinction. Kizar must procreate to save the Talans from extinction. So, which one is it? The Elmael is one luminous being. 
Looks like it takes at least two to disagree. Not my place to debate, but you got your message, so what about our deal? Save us from extinction. And the Yards will send you back to your world. One man against an army? <sighs> Yards can't be serious about this. You two don't strike me as someone who would get their sense of humor, so... Hey, where's she going? Can we talk? The Almayel sees you. I thought the Spear was already protecting this island. But you seem to think the Yods want it even more protected? How? You must understand that this can only be half. Half spoken. Got it. You don't want your sister knowing the details. My lips are sealed. Just lay it on me. This island is built on the largest source of white helidium in all of Adelpha. The Almayel uses it to power the spear, but it's depleting quickly and won't last forever. If they are willing to help, the Dalatai Guardians could find a way to bring more white helidium to the island. Understood. I'll talk to Liaz. If that's what it takes to redeem the Guardians, she'll be all for it. Dalatai Guardians are outcasts. Their outlawed order started our descent into extinction. They are forbidden to enter Kizar. Well, without Liaz, I wouldn't be here talking to you, and the message of the Yods would be lost forever, so come on. She just wants to see her daughter. Ishana and Liaz share the same fey essence, as did Yan, her former partner, who reverted so many Dalatai guardians in his foolish attempt at violence. Was it really foolish to sacrifice themselves to save you all? You among all people should appreciate the value of protection. You need to listen to Liaz because this is how the invaders are winning right now. They divide and rule. Divide and rule? Words of Sankra. And yet the Almayel sees wisdom in them. Wisdom's good. If the message can convince the Dalatai guardians to protect the spear, the Almayel will half speak in their favor, and Liaz shall be heard. Thank you. Thank you for that bit of mercy. The Almayel has half spoken. I have to go. We asked, you read me. Yes, Ulukai. The Dolatai Guardians will help you. How do you. I haven't said anything. When you were talking to the Almayel, you left your channel open. I heard everything. After studying the map, I've identified several facilities that are storing copious amounts of white telidium. I can clear the outpost. Can you send your people to collect after me? Sure. But there's a problem. Uh, of course there is. Hit me. White telidium can't pass through a conca. Small amounts are fine, but it gets unstable in large quantity. The Daoka could explode and obliterate the area, just like in Talanzar, 15 cycles ago. Any safer option? We could use a fisher talan boat. I can centralize the shipments in the coastal village of Sapa. That will take some coordination, but it can be done. Oh, you think they'll do it? If I'm ever gonna get home, we need to find a way for everyone to contribute. Y'all got no advanced weapons, no vehicles, no protection. Oh, there's not much to work with here. Talans are resourceful. I'm sure every village has something to offer. You just have to figure out what exactly. Talk to the chiefs. It shouldn't be too difficult now that you're fluent in our language. What are you talking about? Ulukai, you do realize we're having this discussion in Agazork. Really? Wild. The odds did something to me. I have a feeling they're only getting started. Thanks for the map coordinates, Lias. Let's do this. Slate out.
a word. The Almayel hears you. Why do you think procreation is the key to the Yod's message? The Almayel understands the voice of the Yod's, and they want Okastok to be celebrated again. What's Okastok? The festival celebrates the cycle of life. Can't you hear? Birth is silent. Thousands of moons without new life leads to extinction. Complete the circle, follow the will of the Yards, and the message shall become. What do you mean, become? Become what? The message can't be trusted until it brings the first Daraman to the Almayel, the first of many. What's a Daraman exactly? A Daraman is a symbol of Talan unity. The festival of Akastok can't happen while the villages of Adelpha remain isolated. Help them. Unite the people behind their leaders, and you shall receive their Daromans in return. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. Nimet, how are the children? I healed them, but I couldn't find the cause of the disease. So I'm afraid I'll have to return if the stomach cramps start again. But duty calls in my village too, so I should head back to Emiya now. Speaking of Emiya, you don't have a spare Daramon, do you? I'm gonna need a bunch of them, and frankly, I got no idea where to start. My village is as good a starting point as any if you're on the lookout for Daramons. Amiya has its share of issues like every other place on Adelpha, I'm sure. Help us and I will bless our Daramon myself. Or help other villages first, because by the odds, the whole of Adelpha needs help. Gods be praised! Leoz told me I'd have a chance to find you here. The Ulukai. I can't believe you're real. We have waited for so long. You didn't travel all that way just to greet me, unless I'm like one of the beetles in your world, which I totally understand. Beetles? Sounds mysterious. My name is Emerhid, and believe it or not, I happen to be the Dalatai Guardian heading the research group that focuses on Adelpha's ancient mysteries. I guess you've heard about the Essence Shrines? Maybe I did, but my memory ain't... Okay, let's assume I did. So, what about them? What about them? What about them? I, I don't know. I really hoped you'd enlighten us, Ulukai. Well... Sorry to disappoint, then. Let me mark these locations on the map. I believe they're essence shrines. And hopefully you'll help crack their mystery for us. The odds are trying to tell us something, I can feel it. If you come across more of them, please let me know. 
Chief Hatsu doesn't want me here, so I'm heading back to the Dalatai camp near the Gandar Temple. Find me there. Okay, Emmerheat. Maybe I'll look into it. <laughs> Maybe. Zakhar didn't tell us you'd be so funny, Ulukai. Of course you'll look into it. All right. See you next time, Emmerheat. Emmerheed. Oh, it's you. Do you know how many essence shrines are out there? I have a few documented here. I'm sure you're still a long way from uncovering them all. All right. See you next time, Emmerheed. You look important. Can I have a minute? Wherever you come from, they must have taught you how to properly address a chief. I am Hatsu, leader of the MA. And who might you be, funny one? I'm Cutter Slade. Not sure if you've heard of me. Ah, uh, yes, the Ulukai I've been warned about. Emir is not interested in your stories. I would offer you a delicious morag on your way out, but supplies are limited. Just give me a minute. What are you afraid of? I was elected supreme in front of the Yards. I am not afraid of anything. Now listen. We already have one useless troublemaker in this village. We don't need another. Who is that? You haven't met Doc yet. He's by the lake. You should visit him and swap your ridiculous stories about saving the planet. Those invaders everyone's worried about. Have you fought them? Why would I? I want to stop negotiations with them to ensure Emir's safety. Negotiations? You see what they're doing out there. They'll take your land and enslave you. Don't spit your violence at me. You want us to provoke the invaders. Emir is peaceful. We sell fruit. Nothing more. Listen, Chief Hatso, the Yod sent me here for a reason. I can help if you let me. Have you ever walked through the charred ruins of the Procriana Library? Scattered in the dirt are the remains of a hundred victims. There are no martyrs in Emir, and no heroes. We don't need any Urukai here. That is why we live. Okay. Just how are the negotiations going? I haven't met one that I could have a conversation with so far, but I am committed to making the effort. I believe the invaders have some unfinished business in Dasan. I just want to send them a signal that we are willing to collaborate, if it can speed up their departure. Where I come from, they don't like collaborators during a war. War? Would you stop with the violence? There are no warriors here. Now go. Leave me. Drink morag juice in the treetops. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. I'm worried about you, Ulukai. You heard about some troublemaker named Doc? Cosmere's son. Doc is a good Talon. Maybe a little lost, unsure of his essence, like his whole generation. What's wrong with his generation? Let me guess. It's those damn video games. No. There hasn't been a conversion ceremony in a dozen cycles. It's too dangerous to bring our youth to the Well of Essence.
So these young Talons have no essence? Everyone has an essence. They're just not sure which of the four essences are theirs. The ceremony is meant to reveal exactly that. Oh, I was a teenager once. It can get pretty confusing. They figure it out. Eventually. Slay it out. Hi. What is happening here? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The Yods are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc! Search no more! This is the place! The place? What are you doing here? <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmir left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit. That doesn't really work. You're joining my quest then? Oh, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim and practice makes, you know, perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but there's no way I'm an Aloy to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The Yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this relic you're looking for? That is not exactly clear to me, but Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders, if the engravings are right. So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai, you tell me. No bother, I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste though. Amiya is in danger and Hatso, our leader, can't protect us. Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. Here it is. Hold on. What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... Chalk? Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak... <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to. Oh. Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There was no artifact. No adventure. 
I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! Oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close! I can feel it, partner. We're partners! Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited! You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya! Are you even listening to what I just- Save me at the lake! People will write songs about this day! Let's go! Hey, Doc. Here you are, partner. Come see me anytime.
got to push this thing all the way to EMEA? <laughs> Just another day at the office. Close. Make room, my friends! I have a clear shot! Hey! Robin Hood, lower the bow, okay? I don't take orders from you! Fair enough. Everybody, calm down! This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it, at once. Hatso, listen to me, Doc. I... we found the relic Casimir was looking for. Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders, just like the ancients predicted. Nonsense. Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No. There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky. Guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say he was. Here's your artifact. I only wish he could see this. It's... it's so... I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us, but hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his hazardous lingers here, unable to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Kazmir has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. There are a lot of people in Mia. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too... Wait! Nemet! 
He's the oldest Talon in town. He has read many scrolls, even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Could you please talk to him? I have to stay here and guard the artifact. People are getting too curious, especially Azan. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. What in the... Yachts? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agasaur so fast? Wait, is that a Shamazar accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the Yachts did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Ulugai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invader's attention. Can I ask how old you are? Older than a fresh Hauti, and younger than a Fey tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male Talon that question. Didn't mean to offend you, Nemet. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old. Like, ancient. I thought a guy with your experience uh, came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object, and I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. So, where is that Daramon of yours? And how can I score it quick? Amnia's Daramon doesn't exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amia, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so, though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book on the shelf. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at the Dano Library. Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Ah, uh, a joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Where is the Dano Library? Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano Library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does just a sliver still remain? You should go and find out. Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? There must be survivors. I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive, he must be very, very old. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. Who is he? His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bombs helped his hearing. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life studying old scrolls that are now lost forever. Kureg, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks, Emmett. I would say good luck, stranger, but you make your own luck. Remember that. Yes, have you heard about this Kureg guy? I was about to call you Ulukai. I made a strange discovery. And since you have to go to Procriana, 
I'm activating a Daoka so we can talk face to face. All right. I'll jump in the first Daoka now. Let's meet. Bang bang. Okay, they all want to play.
you're really gonna hate me now, circus bots. circus bots. Blade one, lousy tin can, zero.
spotted me. Disagree with our general's leadership. And that's supposed to make me instantly trust you? What's your name, soldier? How about I remain anonymous and offer you a much better weapon as a gesture of goodwill? If you're trying to buy me, add a foot massage. My boots are killing me. That's sarcasm you can't fake. Commander Cutter Slade. It's really you. In the flesh. Am I famous or something? Unbelievable. This is a game changer. I... I'll be in touch. Hey, hold on. If you know me, you might know my daughter. Her name's Camilla. Tell her I'm coming home soon. I'm sorry. I can't get involved in your family affairs. Find the gear at the coordinates I'm sending you. I deactivated the security system so you can enter the facility. But be quick. I don't know how long it will last. Signing off. But fine, I'll do it. At least tell me how Camilla's doing. Hello? How hard is it to answer a simple question?
You're going to gather the diamonds that the Almael requested. That's the official plan, we asked. Listen, I figured that the Daramons are one thing, yes, but if I'm going to seek support in every village, I'd rather use the help of your fellow Telhans to destroy the invaders' bases one by one. But I thought the message from the Yods was about procreation and protection. Am I missing something? Come on, Lias. If you left Kizar, it's because you know the Almael are disconnected from reality. They don't understand who they're up against. Not like the Dolotai Guardians do. I know. Don't get me wrong. I know Okastok and the Spear are important for your culture, and I respect that, but the priority is to get the invaders off your world so Talans are safe and the Yods can send me home. You're right, Ulokai. I'm sure every village has something to offer in the uprising against the invaders. You just have to figure out what. Yan would be so proud of what we are doing for Adelpha. Trust me, there's only one language the enemy speaks, and we're gonna shout it until their ears are ringing from our attacks. Slay out. are trying to show me something with these visions. What? Are we gonna see Mommy? Uh, let's talk a little bit first, baby girl. Just you and me. Come here. Whoa. You brought me a present? From another world? Oh, well, technically another dimension. Uh, sure. My friend Zokra must have stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong, baby girl. Yes, was looking for when we met. Guess I had it after all. Before I get. Ulukai, you made it. How did you turn that on? It's the strangest thing. Remember where my Dolotai got abducted the moon we met? I found a Daoka core at that exact location, almost as if someone put it there on purpose. That woman I saw, she must have used the core as a friendly gesture. I think she wants to negotiate with you. Negotiate? Do you know how many talent the invaders have reverted in the last couple of moons alone? I won't fall into their sneaky traps. I don't know what to tell you, Liaz. The Yod send me those visions, and I don't know if I can trust them. Anyway, thanks for the trip. Can you show me where I can find Kureg? The old librarian. You should find him at what's left of the Dano Library. I've only met him once, after the bombing. Good luck talking to him. Wait, why would I need luck? <laughs> You'll see.
gotcha. Nice find. This place has seen better days. Procreanus Master Doka is the key to our capital, Ulukai. Activate it as fast as you can. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the core to the location I sent to your map. Well, let's hope it's still there. Thanks, Liaz. Okay, sweet little alien things. Out of my way. Hey there. Can you help? With the right ingredients, a Gandalapod can always help. Even in Procreana. run out of space. I think we can find an arrangement. Can I talk to you? Are you returning a scroll? If you're late, it's going to cost you. It's surprising to meet a librarian around these parts. Barbarian? Yours? No. I'm Professor Curing, the librarian. If you want to continue this conversation, the Dano Library accepts donations.
Emiya, you and me. Let's go. Why would I go to Palana? What? No, listen. Emiya, Morax. Mmm, delicious. Not? Whatever. They need your help with a giant rock of some sort that is at least as old as your ears, pal. Capiche? No, no, no. I don't need more eggs. Too sweet for my teeth. Okay, you coming with me to Emiya now, yes? Yes! Hallelujah. Let's go. Go? Where to? <sighs> don't you get it? The trees, the fruits, Emiya. Do you expect me to walk to him here? My old legs won't allow it. I haven't let Procreana since the Dauka went down. When a Talon reaches my age, every step counts. No Dauka, no Curic. I don't want to keep you. I didn't expect to find a merchant here. I can't be called a merchant until the Daoka is restored. I have nothing to sell. I'll see what I can do. Yods, no, I can't wait to get back in business. Maybe you'll get a discount next time. I didn't expect to find a merchant. I can't be called a merchant. I'll see what- Yods, maybe you'll- to meet someone here. What's up? Up? I hope there's nothing up there. I'm afraid to look. My head's still ringing from the bombs that destroyed our beautiful city of Procriana. Well, you're safe with me. I'm Slade. Cutter Slade. You can call me Rifa. It's a title more than a name. But I've worked all my life to obtain it. What's it mean? The Rifa is the head of the university. Procriana is Adelpha's cradle of knowledge. Or was. I remember the dean of my college. Kept calling me a slacker because of a movie he saw. That old scarecrow made me hate school. No offense. None taken, but are you aware that we don't accept new students? Yeah, I figured as much. Looks like the city took a big hit. After the Dolatar Guardian's ill-fated assault, the invaders struck suddenly. They took no prisoners, and reverted all the recreators they could identify. Most of the survivors abandoned the city after that. How did you survive? I was ready to revert, but the bombs spared me. I became dean of the university after my predecessor was reverted, along with our chief and many of my students who are running to their homes. But my home is where my research is. So I stayed here. You gotta hang with Kureg. You two are cut from the same cloth. Kureg? <laughs> Old and pretentious. We disagree on everything. He's stuck in the past, but I am looking to the future. And what do you see? Science. Progress. Old scrolls won't lead us anywhere. We should write new ones 
and keep evolving. There is still so much knowledge to be discovered. What are you studying? My predecessor was on the verge of a significant breakthrough, but he got reverted on the moon of the attack. I have tried to pick up where he left off, but... Let me guess. You need more funding? I don't have any Zorkins to spare. No. It's Kurek. That old wrinkled morag. The bombs not only damaged his ears, but destroyed his reason. He collected my predecessor's notes and won't let me near them unless I pay an insane amount of Zorkins. He has no right. So it is about money. You don't strike me as a guy sitting on a fortune. I could trade the notes for other scrolls, like in any library. But the university has been completely ransacked by thieves. There is not a single scroll left. You're both adults. Have you tried talking to him? Have you? Kurek doesn't understand anything. He knows that my discoveries on Asiors would make me famous. So he's blocking me until he comes up with a breakthrough of his own. What has he ever discovered except the mold on his precious scrolls? How can I get the notes? Talk to Kurek. I abandoned the hope of having a reasonable chat with him. Screaming in his ear won't help either. Those notes will facilitate my work and help me to grow the larvae faster. Asiors? Sorry, I'm not from here and the tourist kiosk was probably blown up with some other parts of this town. You haven't noticed them buzzing around? These little creatures secrete a corrosive acid. And I believe I found a way to control their swarms. Okay. You think you could turn these alien bees into a weapon? Now you got my attention. Nasiors can melt anything, even metal. The Dolatai Guardians would have stood a better chance against the invaders if they had swarms of Asiors on their side. But I couldn't complete my research in time. What do you need to continue? There are Kalmar bushes planted around the university that temper the Asiors' aggressive behavior. You can always use them to protect yourself from Asiors. If you bring me Asior larvae, I can use my research to breed them here and grow them into strong domesticated helpers. So they could help me fight? In theory, I can focus their attacks on a specific target, thanks to the pheromones secreted by their queen. I just need a little more time. Can you show me the queen? I don't have one. They're protected by their swarm. Too dangerous to capture. There has to be a way. I can see you share my vigor for science. I've been working on a theory. If you grab the pulp in the hive, the queen will chase you. Run back here before the pulp dries out, and I should be able to isolate the queen at the university. Did you ever get a chance to test your theories? I feel like I'm gonna get stung. Look for the Kalmar bushes, like the ones around the university. In theory, they should protect you from a swarm of lethal asiors. In theory, there was a time when scholars like you believed the Earth was flat. I don't know about the Earth, but Adelpha is flat. Oh boy. You mentioned larvae. Yes. The more larvae you bring me, the more Asiors I could breed and control. Collect as many larvae as you can in the Asiors territory. Also, if you could get my predecessor's notes off Kureg, they would speed my progress and strengthen the swarm. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes.
That should be a theme park ride. How am I supposed to keep an eye on you if you keep sneaking out? My father executed four prisoners today. Four. Just because they won't tell him how to access that damn island. He has no choice. What we need is on that island. I'm the negotiator on this mission, so let me negotiate. We don't have to torture them. I'm with you, but you don't understand. I promised your father that I would take care of you. Well, this is your chance to do it. Cover me while I establish contact.
Professor? I need a power nap. I booked us two first-class tickets on the Daoka Express. Let's go to Emiya. I will go to Emiya, but stop offering me more eggs. They're bad for my teeth. I heard you have some research on nasty little creatures called Asiors. Don't put them in your soup. Asiors are deadly, you fool. Read my lips. Research. Research, yes. I have highly detailed notes on Asios from the former Refar. Wait, is the new Refar sending you? Refar, you say? Huh. Never heard the name. It's not a name, it's a title. The head of the University of Procreana. Can I have a look at those notes? Bring me scrolls that belong to the Dano Library. For each scroll, I will exchange one page of Asior's research. But whatever you do, do not share them with Reefar. <laughs> of course not. Personal use only. Look, an artifact was uncovered at the bottom of a lake in Emiya. You may be the only Talan alive to know what it is. I need your help. Can you come to Emiya with me? What's the secret code? A code? Why did I think this would be easy? If you don't know the code, I have nothing to say to you. If you do, speak now, but be aware that there won't be any second chance. A wrong password will seal my lips forever. <sighs> can I get a hint? No, I can't sprint. I'm so old that I can barely walk. But I'll give you a hint. You can find the secret code in an ancient scroll titled The Lost Art of Asking Things Politely. Can you come to Emiya with me, please? Goodbye. Lead the way. Here we are. The relic is right there. Doc, anything new? Ulukai, you're back! By the yards, this is fascinating. Easy now. <laughs> Relax, the scholar's with me. It can't be. This shouldn't be here. I knew it. Is this thing going to explode? No, it's not mold. These are just plants covering the surface of the egg. Did you say? Egg? What kind of monster is in there? Mother? It's, it's not a mother. It's a baby. The first born Galenta in thousands of cycles. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a baby! Imagine the omelette you could cook with this thing. Professor Kurag? Correct. Remember me? I can't wait to write this in a scroll. I can't wait to study the scroll I wrote. Rayfar's going to be so jealous. Can you tell me more about Galenta? No Talon has ever seen one. The oldest scrolls merely repeat stories found in the ancient temples, and they are quite abstract. I'm so excited to document the whole incubation process. Good. Excitement keeps us young and curious. How long will it take for the egg to hatch? The process started as soon as the egg entered our warm temperature, but it's not warm enough for it to proceed. It needs outside help. <laughs> so what? Should I sit on it for a few weeks? We need to quickly raise its internal temperature. Find some covers, like warm blankets that retain heat. Hurry, or we could lose the Galenta forever. Is that all? We also need Z-Dog sap. It heats up quickly under the sun. The covers and the sap would combine to form a warm cocoon to incubate the egg. Okay, see you later then. Don't you curse at me.
I know you. I miss the old days. Hmm, not sure how this Z-Dog goo can help, but hey, at least I did my part of the job. I know you. Hey there. Any goods to sell? The Dauka allows me to restock. Do you have any Zorkins for me?
look worried, Craig. What's up? We'll discuss that after our urgent matter. I'll be discreet so the kid doesn't hear us. He's way too anxious around the egg, and I don't want him to freak out. So, what's so urgent? A Galenta mother uses her trunk to eat the parasites that develop on the surface of her egg. This phenomenon seems to occur after the shell reaches a certain temperature and releases a very specific type of... Too many details. All you have to know is the egg has parasites and we have no trunk to take care of them. So these bubbles are parasites. I see. Pay attention! I said parasites! If we don't do anything, these filthy organisms will breach the egg before it's time. The baby Galanta won't survive a premature birth. So what can we do about it? <laughs> Your tongue is not long enough, but I appreciate the gesture. Tonha! Tonha could help us, yes! And I've said, time is of the essence. You can ask Doc where you can find some Tuanha, but do not tell him why. The kid already makes me nervous as it is. Do what I say, now! How many Tuanhas do you need? Don't be so cheap. One is not enough. As a matter of fact, too few of them would only slow down the propagation, but not stop it. We need a whole pack of Tuanhas to save the egg. Where can I find a Tuanha? They don't sell Twalhas in Procreana. Ask around. I miss the old days. This is gonna hurt.
are full of talents, Ulukai. I'm sure you didn't call the flatter me, yes, so... What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the dollar type... Slade, you're too late. Pull out, you hear me? The General's on his way. I'm not going anywhere. Slade out. Slade? I know you. You're the problem. You can't be real. I... I saw you die. Well, you know the saying. What doesn't kill you makes you... used to leave you enough time to finish your punchlines. How do you plead? Not guilty. Everyone but me was lost in action. It's not my fault. But it was your mission to keep them alive. Instead, you abandoned them and only secured transport for yourself. There was no one left to save except you guys. On Earth. And that's exactly what I did. The jury has found you guilty of all charges. The sentence is death by firing squad. General, take the deserter to execution. You're making a terrible mistake. I saved all of you! Raise weapons. Aim! You can't even pull the trigger yourself. You're a coward, Jack. For Marion. Fire! That was... Holy shit. Jack Borum executed me. How many times am I gonna let that guy kill me? Chief Hatso. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. A Galenta, baby. And loads of goo, probably. A Galenta? Like the flying worm in the children's story scrolls? This is impossible. This is stupid. Hold on. A Galenta could be a major asset against the... Enough, stranger. I won't tolerate these crazy ramblings. Could you spare some blankets for the egg? Blankets? You're right, stranger. We need covers to hide that thing from view. You should talk to Zotil and see what he has in stock. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good.
We haven't met yet. I am Cutter Slade, and you are? You don't know? I am Zotil, the most spectacular weaver in all of Emiya. And most humble. Love the shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, thanks. It's a limited edition. Let me know if you're willing to sell it to me. I know it's not exactly the season, but I'm looking for a blanket. It's got to be thick and warm and large. Really large. Got anything like that? I don't. But if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. Great. I'll take five large blankets. I'll pick them up later. Not so fast, Ulukai. We must discuss colors, patterns, trims. Just choose the ones you like, okay? One more thing, Cutter. To weave your blankets, I need certain materials, and... I can't leave the shop right now. What do you need? If we want these blankets to be extra warm, the fibers of the Kolvar plant would be perfect. It grows close to the hollow tree. Okay? Geez, can you get a little more specific? How do I find this place? Excuse me, can we adjust the attitude? If you walk west from Emiya, you can't miss it. It's a massive hollow tree. The hollow tree. Get me? Yeah, that's a huge help. Thanks. Any reason you don't want to go? It's not the safest of trees. It's haunted because of the terrible, long-forgotten rituals that took place inside of it. And it's also infested with deadly flying Kamenai. Not my scene. I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kurek. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procriana. You happen to have any scrolls from there? Uh, yes. Actually, I do have a scroll. Weavers of Legend. Why I'm not in it, Yod only knows. Can I give it back to him? Fine. Here. How will I recognize the Kovar plant? You can't miss it. It's the only plant that grows in the hollow tree. So how many plants do you need? To make a blanket? A lot. Get to it. More Kovar, please. Do you have enough Kovar plants to weave the blankets? I don't, but if you dream it... Cam and I are bad news? Uh, yeah. Hello? If you enter their territory, they swoop down and tear you apart. I could have a Zan escort me, but he stinks of me, and his fashion sense is hideous. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to risk my life fighting a flock of killer birds to get you the plants you'll turn into a bunch of blankets? This at least gets me a discount, right? I'll give you the blankets for free. Just bring me a few extra plants for the winter. Deal. And consider adding your flamboyant shirt to the deal? No deal, man. It's the only one I have. All right, I'll get going then. You go, I'll focus on my masterpiece. Put your next delivery on the table over there. As long as the Kovars keep flowing, Zotil will keep sewing. And I still want that shirt. I'm telling you. Gork has been erupting from the depths of Adelpha. It started with the invasion. Yon saw it as some kind of natural defense mechanism triggered by the planet to fight our enemies. 
but Gork can infect animals and turn them berserk. So please be careful. Okay, I'll put a cork in that. Gork, let's lay it out. Crackets. Is, but it looks useful. Instantly, I guess that's a good sign. That's wonderful, and just in time. The Gork eruptions infected Atalan. Chief Hatso had to cage him because of his erratic behavior. You should check on him. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will. Slate out. I know you. Correct. I got a scroll for you. Ah, uh, the quest to rebuild the library starts with a single scroll. As I promised you, here is a page of Asio's research. Now, find more scrolls. I don't want to keep you. Hey, Doc. How's the egg? Look! Do you see those strange bubbles on it? I can't figure out what they are. You know where I can buy a Twanha? There are no Twanhas in Amiya. You wouldn't interfere with the sweet smell of the village. That's those orders. You should ask more about that. His network of merchants is larger than mine. But why would you need Twanhas? Is there a problem with the egg? 
A problem? <sighs> what problem? Ah, it's all good. Trust me. Come see me anytime. Hey there, uh, can we talk? Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. Have you come to register? Register? For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ulakai, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you? <laughs> Your hands are perfect for sewing tunics and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go. We do real work in the treetops. Do any Tuan Ha merchants? I need to buy some. Then you are up for quite a journey. There are no Tuan Ha's in the Mia, or anywhere close for that matter. So where can I strike a deal then? Your best chance is the village of Bida. Kartak is breeding exceptional Tuan Ha's there. Heard you can even ride some of them, which sounds quite sick. Kartak from Bida. Understood. Tell Kartak that more sent you. You'll get the best price. Him and me go way back. <laughs> I remember once we had so much land here to give her that... Hmm. Scrap what I just said. Don't tell Kartak anything. Don't mention my name at all. Um, okay. Thanks anyway. I just wonder what kind of job would require big, I mean, strong fingers like yours. I guess it's your first time in Amir. On these trees, we cultivate the most delicious morags on a delta. My name is Moore. I am the Grand Foreman of the Harvester Union. Oh, really? Grand Foreman? Sounds important. Harvesters are more than simple farmers. The best morags grow close to the moons on the tops of the highest trees. Very dangerous to gather. Only young, vigorous Talans can reach them. In my early moons, I would dance across the branches without fear. But now, the heights make me dizzy. So I took on new responsibilities. Thanks, Moore. See you around. Tell Doc you can come back when he runs out of Zorkins, or Dignity. Whichever comes first. Must be the essence shrine Lee has told me about.
I did it. Looks like I unlocked some ancient mausoleum. Let me try to describe it to you. I see where you are. One of the essence shrines. You're... inside it? Yup. Praise the yods. We knew essence shrines were important, but never found a way to enter them. I can't wait to tell Emerheed about it. it. Looks like the ancients left us a treat. Sweet. There are more essence shrines throughout Adelpha. If you unlock this one, I bet you could unlock them all. Talk to Emerheed at the Dolotai camp if you want to know more. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Lias. Slate out. Born ready. Only quoting someone else here, but I'm ready for now. For what exactly? Follow the trail of plants that starts here. It should lead you to a special reward. If you're as skilled as you pretend to be, there will be more pleasant surprises. I will keep my eyes peeled then. Leave your eyes alone. <sighs> Better to Liaz. I didn't follow that trail for nothing, right? What was that about? Orem trails. Talk to Wiesel. I heard he's quite the expert. I'm marking his last known location on your map. Thanks for the tip. Slate out.
Hey there. I know you. Oh, really? Because I don't know you. But it could also be that I don't remember you. The odds messed up with my head somehow. I'm Mazum, and I was a Shamas the last time we met. I've abandoned the robe to dedicate my life to the art of patience. And I'm definitely not an artist. How do you kill the time here all by yourself? I solve puzzles. We did it together once, but you probably don't remember. Ah, that's right, I, I don't. If you find puzzle pieces like this one, please bring them to me, and I will assemble them for you. These are electronic components. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I could get something useful out of them. Very useful indeed. To kill time. Do you have any idea what you're doing with these electronic components? I'm patiently assembling them to create something. Create what? An assembled puzzle. The pieces are scattered all around, though. I need you to find them and bring them back here so I can kill more time. See you next time. No problem. Hey, Mizum. Welcome back. See you next time. No problem. Ugh. What the? I smell nicer things. Delpha. Nice. Could be useful later on. That's what I'm talking about. I hate giant alien spiders.
One of those alien plants I have to find. The wrong target, Bird. There. The chest plant shouldn't be far away.
saw that. Come on. Nice. Could be useful later on. That's another essence shrine. Bet there's something sweet inside.
great. I feel like a million bucks. storage. A flock of killer birds, just what I need. on to me. and shrine. Check. Just like that. Let me try that again.
I got the moves and the motion. stuff. goes wild. sure you didn't call the flattery we asked, so... What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the Dolotai Guardian's gratitude. I've marked a position on your map. It's a surprise. A mystery prize? You definitely know how to push my buttons, Lias. I can't wait to look this up. Slate out. your instincts, Liaz. I'll check it out. I'm Cutter Slade. Good for you. And you are? 
boy. I actually didn't understand what you just told me. I'm a merchant. We're supposed to be polite with the clients. Slade is my name. Very nice. I'm Kartak. I raise and sell Twanhas. Moore sent me to buy some Twanhas. That tall Zord owes me a brand new Nikog. That's gonna cost you. Look, the animals aren't even for him. I say you throw me your best price, and I'll talk to Moore about his debt. How about that? You're lucky that the Twanha business is slow. Take them. But don't you dare come back without a Nikog, or you'll get the high season treatment. You're locked on to me.
hope this is gonna work. Here we go. Olukai! Look! Keurig was right! You made it! Wow. Someone's hungry. It smells like... A filthy twop, huh? In my beautiful village? They must have lost their mind! I know you! Is it working? Of course I'm working. Good job on the Twanhas. They have nimble tongues and seem to enjoy the disinfecting. Now, if you would excuse me, I have to document the process as precisely as possible. You gotta go. Stop saying you are a Dollar Tie Guardian. I don't believe you. Meals on the house, Twan Haas. Chief Hatso. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. What's so special about this place? You don't smell it? Emir's delightful fragrance. It's famous throughout Adelpha. This land enchants the senses. We also have the sweet morag fruit, and an even sweeter sense of diplomacy, no matter how bitter the circumstances. Have you examined the egg lately? I checked it, and I heard it. Strange digestion sounds coming from inside. Thank the Yods for those covers, or it would be a perfect please revert us beacon. Doc knows what he's doing. I think. The same Doc who believes he is the mother of this egg? He is a fool who will get us all reverted. More egg fruit. They taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Talans from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of a tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. What's Moore's problem? Moore is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming chief. The treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain downbringing to lead. Downbringing? You mean upbringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people, rude people. One cannot learn class, especially someone like Moore. Always a pleasure to see you leave.
What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society. Just like I did. Thanks, Moore. See you around. Tell Doc he can come back when he runs out of Zorkins. Or Dignity. Whichever comes first. What's up, Zatil? Hey! Ready to sell me that shirt? Took a bit of work, but I found more Kovar. Wonderful! I can start working on your order right away. Come back later. Good meeting you, Zatil. Stay gold, Cutter Slade.
Move it, Slade. They're coming. Great. We Dolotai Guardians are blessed with the Fey Essence. This is the way the Yods have chosen for us. What's yours? Uh, my people don't have those sort of things. Everybody has an essence. Have you been to the Well of Essence? Even if I did, I don't remember it. It feels like a different life now. Think of it as a new beginning. Yeah, I don't overthink things. I'm more an action kind of guy. That's why the Talans need you, Ulakai. Who calls the shots around here? I am Hiram, Chief of Bida. But you got the wrong information, stranger. We don't drink Lampe in shots. Lampe is best served in a pint cold as the Palana snow. Who are you? I'm Cutter Slade. I was told that your village needs help. How are you guys holding up? A cold drink of Lampe smooths away the rough edges. Things could be worse, things could be better. Spoken like a true politician. What's the village of Bida famous for? What planet did you fall from? Lampe, of course. We have pretty decent Tuan Ha's, too, but they don't drive Bida's economy. How come the other villages don't produce Lampe? Our water is exceptional. You can't make Lampe without exceptional water. Are you guys also selling water? Selling water? You mean in, in a moo? Who would be stupid enough to buy bottled water? You got a point there. But don't discard the idea just yet. It's a potential gold mine. Where are the invaders? Outside town, drilling stations. So the village is safe? Hardly. All the drilling brings the Garondars to the surface, towards us. Goddamn creatures never used to roam these lands. Good thing that the village is preserved for some reason. You know why? I'm the mouth that sells, not the brain that overthinks what it cannot influence. Mirko tried to explain it to me over a pint of lampe last night. But hey, I don't think at night. I party. I'm gonna shut down these drilling stations. Any idea of what they're drilling for? If I had ideas yesterday, they're gone today. That's the magic of lampe at play. I can't get a read on you, Chief. You want me to help your village or what? Yes. Please help us end the drilling and end the terror of the Garondars, so we can start shipping Lampe everywhere again. What's a Garondar? A devouring beast living below us. I figured that much. 
Any other details you want to share, Chief? Watch your step. When a Garandar surfaces, long bars are eaten and talons revert. So, seriously, what is Lampe? Lampe is the finest drink in Adelpha. It's the reason I wake up every afternoon. So that makes you an afternoon-only chief? Part-time job? Are you a little wasted right now? No, I am the chief after all. But tonight I will drink and sing. Lampe makes you sing better than the Al Mayel and sleep sounder than a reverted Talan. You want some? We have discounts for new customers. Are you a chief or a salesman? My role is to sell more Lampe than I consume. Bida's economy depends on it. I'm looking to acquire a shipment of Lampe. Lampe, good. Can you help me? I don't deal with the Zorkins. I'm the marketing guy. Talk to Marzo if you want to make a purchase. About bond bars. Look, I am in the process of rejuvenating my essence, and words use energy. Talk to Ozak about bond bars. He's not called a bond bar boy because of his Tuan Ha. Later, Chief. Farewell. Hey there. Have you come to Torga for healing? I'm gonna shut down the invaders' bases one by one. Mm. By bases, I figure you mean their drilling stations. To get to the drilling stations, you need to dodge the Garanders, so good luck with that. Can you tell me who you are again? Most certainly. I am Torga, Shamaza Bida. How would you describe a bond bar? That's a funny question. It reminds me of the fairy tale about this little shamaz that visits a moon and... Well, I, I don't remember the details, but at some point someone asks him, Draw me a bond bar. And, uh... Well, I, mean, I forget how it ends. Still have the scroll somewhere. Borrowed it from Procriana's library before the invasion. It's called the Little Shamaz. Are the invaders giving Bida a hard time? The hardest time? They're the reason why the Garandars have crawled up from the planet's depths and terrorized these lands. If only those giant worms had a taste for metal instead of Talan flesh. If you want to find the invaders, start with their three drilling stations surrounding Bida. Get rid of the drilling, and you should get rid of Bida's Garandar problem. Do you feel safe in Bida? In Bida, yes. Garanders don't attack the village. Outside of Bida is a different story. I suffer from Garandophobia, you know. What's Garandophobia? The fear of being eaten by a Garandar. What makes you think a Garandar is going to eat you? It almost did. I barely escaped with my life. The Garandars can smell my presence. To them, I'm as tasty as a bonbar. Smell your presence, huh? What are you doing? Your clothes. What are they made of? Well, they're weaved from our finest. But... That's it. I'm wearing bonbar wool. And I sleep in a blanket made from the same wool. Of course they smell me. Garandors eat bonbars like candy. Peace out, Torga. Peace out, peace in. <laughs> peace all around.
kid. Uh, newsflash, I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. But if you see me as a kid, you probably have a problem with your eyes. Let's test your ears now. The name's Mirko. So, what's my name? Um, Mirko? Bingo! It's just the eyes, then. Now, on with the mandatory speech. Welcome to the brewery. What brings you to Bida? Do you know an old Talan named Kureg? I remember him. He used to work at the Dano Library in Progriana. He's still there. He's got plans to rebuild the Dano Library, but he's missing a lot of scrolls. Oh, wow. Really? I actually have one of his scrolls. Fay Fun Homemade Fireworks Explained. Ooh, the late fees on this must be killer. Can you give this back to him? Don't tell him I took it. What are the invaders drilling for? Well, I have a theory, but it's too dangerous for me to even go near the drilling stations to confirm it. So, you know, maybe we'll just never know because this village isn't interested in knowledge. It's interested in Lampe. Do you know what Lampe does to your brain? It's like I'm helping my dad brew an anti-knowledge potion. Say I would be interested in verifying your theory. Should I put my ass on the line and go out there? Your ass? Why? No, I don't want you to put your ass anywhere. But if you're half as curious as I am, you could look inside one of their drill pits and maybe bring me whatever you find. And why would I do that? My theory, dude. I'm smart. I want to do something with my life, but I can't do much with this broom in my hand. If you help me prove it, I promise you'll have something to use against the invaders. You're a fighter. I can tell. So what's your theory? I don't want to blow your mind quite yet. If you find anything interesting in the drill pits, I would be thrilled to examine it. It's up to you. What do you know about Garandars? Well, there's the obvious. Huge worms. Extremely dangerous, too. But... And the less obvious part, please? They're like me. They're misunderstood. They're not coming to the surface to eat us. They're just trying to get away from the underground drilling. It's hurting their little worm ears. Well, huge worm ears. Actually, I'm not sure how big their ears are. They haven't attacked the village? No, and I found out why. There's a very small life form in our water supply that's toxic to Garondars, but harmless to you or me. Well, I don't know about you. We should test that later. How did you find that out? Dude, I told you. I'm the only Talan in Bida besides Storga who went to Procreana University. I've got a brain. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. <laughs> I only like cocky when I'm the smartest guy in the room. Not liking it now. What can you tell me about the invaders? Well, they don't mess with our village, which is a plus. I like being alive and all. But they want something underneath us, in the ground. And their drillings messing up the Garandar's orientation. Garandar's around Bida are the opposite of a plus. What are you up to? Well, you see, I should be at Procreana University right now, studying the scrolls, living that canoe life. You know how it goes. But the invaders dropped bombs on my campus, so I'm here, sweeping floors for my dad. That's what you call a major bummer. You're gonna use the Daoka, now that it's back on? The university is closed. Half of the Dano library is burnt to cinders. Where am I gonna go? Besides, my father wants me to waste my life away in this boring brewery. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Nice place. 
You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess my next word should be welcome to Vida. Name's Marzo. You here to drink our planet-renowned lampe? <sighs> Shouldn't drink when I'm on the job. Kicking invader ass takes a bit of focus. Whoa, invader ass, okay. Why'd you come here to kick that? Maybe you want to build your strength first. Heard some bond bars or whatever. Save us from extinction. That's what your yods told me to do. So, I'm guessing that means getting rid of the invaders. One bullet at a time. And that's what I got. Bullets and time. If you're here to start a crusade, friend, I won't stop you. Just keep my boy Miracle out of it. He'd be the first one to sign up. But I need him here. How are you dealing with the invaders? Their damn drilling stations are agitating the Garandars. That's a big problem. Hard to get my shipments when the delivery people keep getting eaten or smashed up. I have to keep up with my delivery schedule, but it's getting harder and harder. Tell me about Mirko. My son. Super smart. But he has to work a little bit more on his enthusiasm for the family business. I need that boy here. He wants to study, but there's no school in Beta. What's a bond bar? It's this village's main source of meat, and a near endangered species with those Garandars around. You should talk to Ozak. He's the last Bombard boy left in Beta. All oh, the others are marinating in some Garandar's belly. You don't have much love for the Garandars, huh? You didn't run into any of those goddamn worms on your way here? Damn. Maybe they don't like you. I should hire you to escort my next shipment. Just how dangerous are they? Compared to what? The Nekar Plague? Playing with Puga to run your crotch? They're as dangerous as danger can be, you fool. Garon does are the type of beast you want to keep underground. But those drilling stations make them dizzy, and now they're coming up to the surface eating bond bars, talons, and whatever else they can stuff down their gullets. You're tough. I like that. I got one batch ready now. Can you help escort it to Sapa? Fella named Zala boarded these barrels of Lampe hundreds of cycles ago, but I can't find anyone brave enough to make the delivery. You got me a brave. I'm your man. Okay, perfect then. Are you ready to go? Said. Hey there, you talking to my Tuan Ha? No, look. No, I. Look, Ozak, I have an urgent delivery to make. Can you clear the way? I'm trying. But something's getting these bombards real agitated. I can't help you there. It's your job, not mine. Go on. You heard the Talan. Let's move this way. Let the left pay pass. Come on. Not that way. This way. Don't turn around now. Listen to me. Oh, I don't have all moves. Move out of the way. Dude, can you at least do something to help me here? Ah! Ozak, the stomping! Make it stop now! I, I can't. That's what bombards do. How would you ask a... Oh, oh no! Garandar! Is... is it gone?
Hey, Marzo. About that convoy. You had one job. Protect the convoy, protect the lampe. What the sort happened? The giant worm happened. What am I supposed to do? Have you seen the size of that thing? I don't know what you did, but you managed to attract the Alpha Garandar. It's never been seen around these parts before. Now I gotta start the brewing process from scratch. God damn! I messed up the shipment. I get it. Let me help in some other way. I won't mop the floor or clean the toilets, but... I already got my son doing that. Don't need you messing up his routine. You can help me gather a few ingredients for the next batch. Do that, and we're square. Right. Tell me what you need. Mirko has the list. Talk to him, and he'll give you the details. But bring every ingredient straight to me. They'll probably use them for some science experiment. I can't afford that. Tell me about Zalab. He's the Shamaz of Sapa. Quite a character. He's got a little group called the Ventilope Club. I hope Zalab understands the delays and will still pay the whole Zorkin's amount. With the current economy, I can't offer a discount. Hey, at least no one got hurt. Oh, I got hurt, friend. That was my biggest shipment this cycle, and the damn Alpha Garandar drank it all. Uh, she didn't even drink it. She spit everything out. And that's the saddest part. The Alpha Garandar, as you call it, ate a crazy amount of bomb bars. Ozak must be mad as hell. We both lost a fortune in that accident. I heard Ozak's Twanha took a hike, too. Poor bomb bar boy. See you next moon. Chief Huron. Yes? Garandars hate the taste of Lampe. How about that? Good for us. But they discovered the taste of Bonbar meat and love it more and more. Ozak is losing his herd. He should bring that herd back to Beda. Garandars don't surface in the village. I'm busy here. Maybe you can help Ozak. Quit the maybes, you know I can. Sorry about that giant Lampe puddle. I mean, Lampe Lake or whatever. I blame the Alpha Garandar. Have you seen the size of it? Immense. We must defeat this foul and probably very drunk creature considering the amount of Lampe it swallowed. It's good advice. Let's organize a Worm Anonymous meeting as a trap. And as soon as it shows its ugly head, boom. Huh? <laughs> but I digress. Back to Lampe. Is there any left? Ask Marzo. He keeps the scrolls in order. Later, Chief. Farewell. do this. Mirko, do that. Mirko, come here. Mirko... Oh, hey! How are you? I told your dad I'd help with Lampe ingredients. You have some kind of list for me? Hmm, let me see. What are we missing? We are running out of more ags. The Tvonha drool levels are pretty low. And we could use more pistols? Where can I find pistols? You can't miss them. Go to the large root on the hill... You have to open its flowers and catch the pistols inside real quick before they close again. This is new. I have to ask about the Twanha drool. Really? It's the sticky stuff that drips from the dumb animal's mouth. Mm, it's more about how to collect it. <laughs> it's, it's not like you have to use your bare hands. Oh, good. You know, for a second there, I thought... Use these containers instead. Attach them to the mouth of the Tvonha, and don't come back until it's completely full. Kartak can help you with that. Where can I find more eggs? You can only find more eggs in the village of Emiya. It's a special fruit. Adds a touch of luxury to an otherwise cheap beverage. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me.
Hey, Kartak. You again. Mirko gave me these containers to collect the drool of the Twanhas. It's easy. Look. Ugh. Okay. Okay, beast, don't mess with me. This is gross. This is gross. Pick the wrong target, bird. Ugh, that's not good.
upgrade coming up. on the egg. No! Oh, Yacht, I'm ready to revert, but save my baby! Watch out! No! Look, it's hatching. Come on, baby, you can do it! Come on! No, hang on. Just one last push, please. Yes! Oh my God, yes! That's my baby! You can do this! Where are you going? Stay here! Come to Mama! Look at that. So happy to be free from its shell. Thanks for your help, Kurag. I did it! I made a major discovery! Another scroll for you, Kurag. Ah, oh, yes. This one will be the centerpiece of our collection. In return, I give you a page of Asior's research. Now, there's more scrolls out there, and I'm not getting any younger. Go! I don't want to keep you. You did it, Doc. How does it feel? It's the most important day of my life, Ulukai. I'm so excited to finally meet her. Yeah, I remember that feeling. I have a daughter too, you know. The invaders' drones are buzzing around your girl like angry bees. I feared this would happen. Each sting she endures will be a blow to her growth. Can you destroy those drone patrols and keep my daughter safe? Is that a rhetorical question? Your Galenta looks like she's getting bigger by the minute. Not big enough. All this stress has made her sad. I can see it in her eyes. Lucky her. Sadness makes me gain weight. But I can blame it all on a tub of ice cream. This is Adelpha, Ulukai. Here, growth is quickened by happiness. It's important we keep my daughter happy. What do you want me to do? Rub her belly? Take her for a walk? A walk? Yes, exactly! Can you walk her? Doc, I was joking. No, you are a genius! Taking her for a peaceful, relaxing stroll is just what she needs. Doc, nothing's peaceful and relaxing outside of Amiya. She won't be safe. Do you have any clue how to raise a baby Galenta? I don't need any. I feel it in my essence. A mother always knows what to do with her progeny. Oh boy. My baby needs time with her mother. She needs to eat and grow. How about you go hush-hush on the whole mother-baby thing? I mean, is that even legal around here? It's the will of the Yod, Zulukai. Do you want to be the father? Ah, uh, I, I already got a kid. And they sometimes say two is one too many, and I have all that fighting to do. Wouldn't be home much to provide and all. Know what I mean? It's okay, my friend. You did enough, and the Yods are grateful. It only takes one parent to make things right. I will be a good mother. Go be a good father to your own child, my friend. 
Getting there. Hopefully. Please, walk her. Bring her happiness. Help her grow. Let's keep it moving. Okay, let's do this. So. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. No invaders showing up yet. So far, so good. This thing is a giant target in the sky. We have to get rid of it. Hey, the miracle of birth is a wonderful thing. Show a little optimism. I know us Talans don't see reversion as a horrible thing, and I'll accept mine when it comes. But for now, I pray for the Yards to take this monster away. Anywhere. It's a big world. That's all for now. Bye.
Fancy weapon module. Cool. Killer birds, just what I need. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. Thanks, Moore. Tell Doc he can come back when he runs out of Zorkins. Or Dignity. Whichever comes first. So that's right. Do you 
meet again, Dolly Pot. That's more than welcome. Hi there.
Can I have a minute? Of course. Space left. It's a disaster. Maybe we should scare it away. Shoot at it or something. Shoot it? What's going on? Ask Azan. Makes me sick just to talk about it. There's a problem with the Galenta, sir. Describe problem. The Galenta is eating all the Morax. Every single one of them. It uses its trunk to suck them all in. Leaving the treetops clean with nothing left to harvest. Damn it. What's Doc saying about all the- Help! Someone help me! Asen! Protector! You're hurt! Who did this to you? I... We have to... The others! All reverted! The invaders! We came across a patrol! They're coming! Azan, I need your team to cover the treetops. Yes, sir! More. Make sure everyone takes cover inside. Now!
That's what I call a disaster. It happened exactly as I foretold. Doc, you imbecile! You have brought this on us! That's so. I don't want to hear more excuses! You are not welcome in Emiya! I sentence you to exile! Wait! Doc is not responsible for the attack! You are! I call for the election! How dare you! I am your chief! A true chief would never lead a patrol of reverting machines to our village! I have a witness who saw you, Hatzo! Traitor! You are banished from here! I will stay and become the new chief of Emiya! Ah! Instead of protecting your village against the invaders, you shot at the Galenta to scare it away. I saw it with my own eyes. Ulukai, where is my daughter? I don't see her anywhere. Oh my yards. Did the invaders... Did Calm they... down, Doc. I'm sure she's fine. Leave them to their political quarrel. Let's split up and find her. All these Morags end up here. Wait here. <laughs> here you are. Doc, I found her. She's just. Galanta, let's go.
Okay, let's do this. I did scare the Galenter away, to protect her. Oh, cut the Zort, Moor. You saw an opportunity to get rid of her and save your precious Morags, so you took it. Maybe, but at least I didn't put the whole village at risk to get rid of the odd damn creature. That's what you did. Amir is in danger as long as you lead it. Now let's have the citizens decide who should be the chief. Traitor. Traitor yourself. Hey, why don't you two cut it out? While you're wasting your saliva blaming each other, someone actually found a solution to your problem. How are you still here? You are Emir's problem. We were perfectly fine before you showed up. I banish you. You have no right, Hatzo. The election is not over. Let him speak. I want to hear about what... Huh? Look! The monster is back! There's someone on her back. It looks like someone's riding her. Doc? Look! It's Doc! Doc is riding the Galenta! Whoa. Now, be a good girl. Show them what you can do. I wouldn't stay there if I were you! What is... Oh, by the yacht. This is so disgusting. Beautiful. Well done, girl. Well done. Now let's swipe more and more axe for the harvest. Go! These Morags are perfectly intact. The Galenta was not eating the Morags. Oh, she was storing them. And Doc found a plant that you guys can use to have the Galenta... Um, return them. Doc saved the harvest! The Galenta saved Amiya! Vote for Doc! Doc is our new chief! Vote for Doc! <laughs> Vote for... Wait, what? What did you just say? I'm sorry, Doc. Yeah. You were right, and I was wrong. I will accept whatever punishment my leader gives me. What you did was wrong, Mor. But to err is to learn. I accept your apologies, my friend. I'm happy you didn't hurt my baby. Speaking of hurting, enjoy your new title while it lasts, idiot. There will be more attacks. More Talans will bleed. When they realize what a fool you are and beg me to fix your mess, I will be here. No, you won't. Hatso. As the new leader of Emiya, I, Doc, son of Casimir and mother of the Galenta, sentence you to exile. You will leave Emiya never to return. May the Yards have mercy on you. Now go, and don't look back. You are making a terrible mistake. The Yards haven't spoken their last word yet. Don't come crying to me when the invaders wreak their vengeance upon you. Doc, leader of Amiya, I salute you. I could never have expected this. If my father Cosmere could see me now. This all happened thanks to you, Ulukai. 
Is the Galenda in any kind of trouble? It looks fine to me. Look again. She is in pain, Ulukai. Can't you hear it? She cries all moon long. I'm her mother, and I don't know how to help her. You have to do something. What do you want me to do? Please don't ask for a bedtime story. I don't know any of those. Those damned Kemenai are attacking her. They've been circling the village, lured in by the stench of our ventilopes. Azan knows how to handle a few more wings. Be cool. <sighs> I will not be cool. Azan can keep the Kemenai away from the ventilopes, but he cannot shoot anywhere around my daughter. The Kemenai are smart, so they stick to her back like parasites and feed on her. Ugh. Ripping her flesh apart, bite after bite, and I can only stand here watching. Azan is not skilled enough. He would miss the target and hurt my baby even more. Okay, okay, let me handle this. Your girl is taking care of the harvest all by herself? Not bad. I told you to keep the faith, Ulukai. The will of the Yods is finally revealed. Amiya prospers. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the champagne quite yet. Invaders could come back at you with everything they got. End your worries, Ulukai. Azan is training more protectors. Morag harvesting is back on track. Amiya is growing stronger than it ever was. They have enough firepower to raise this place to the ground. Stay sharp, Doc. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amiya is looking good. Nice job, Doc. The village is good, but the villagers are despairing. Are you kidding me? What do they have to complain about? You guys are safe. Harvest is harvesting, no climbers falling from the treetops anymore, and Zorkins for everyone. I mean, tie a few hammocks to those trees, and Amiya wouldn't be far from my idea of paradise. They're children, Ulukai. They miss their children. The young Talans who went north for work have probably been captured by the invaders. I believe they are now slaves in the Helidium mines of Bissan. I want them free, back where they belong, back to their families. The same families who called you a fool not so long ago? To lead Amiya, I must leave my past behind. These families are my family. It's my duty to help them. The village won't survive another attack if I'm not around. I know. I cannot ask you to stay here. I'll ask Azan to train more protectors. Azan's bow can't do much against the invaders, I'm afraid. What are you suggesting, my friend? I don't know. Maybe the Dalatai Guardians can help secure the village if they have access to proper weapons. You're the leader now. It's your call. I am not a coward like Hatso. We will fight these invaders with whatever we have. My adventure continues. Be good. Yacht speed, Ulukai. <laughs> What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. I have a bad feeling about Hatso. Is he a sore loser? He chose exile, not out of dignity, but out of fear. He knows the invaders will return here with force. But I have known Hatso for many moons. He'll be back with a vengeance. What about you? No hard feelings? You wanted to become a chief. Ah. All I ever wanted was respect for my social class. Doc comes from the treetops, just like I did. He gave me new responsibilities. He has all my support. New responsibilities? Doc has tasked me with the breeding of Quartz, the vomiting plant. My people have started to grow it in the treetops so that Galenta has easy access to it. However, there are complications. What's the problem? Quart lasts for many cycles, but it only grows during the rainy season. If we want to accelerate its development now, we need more water. I don't remember the last time it rained in this dimension, so what's plan B? Azan captured a ventilope and tried to teach it to suck water from the lakes and spray it on the plants. But ventilopes are wild, and Azan is no tamer. He kept threatening the animal with his bow, 
I wouldn't have fared any better. Yeah, well, the Venelope's gone now. The Zahn shut it, and it blew away. Can't you get an expert to tame the damn birds? To tame a Venelope, you need one. Many moons of practice. And two, a Venelope. Venelopes are very rare in the meal. The Zahn only caught one by mistake. He was aiming at something else completely. When I was a kid, I taught our parrot to imitate the sound of the doorbell. It drove my mom nuts. That's the limit of my bird training skills, though. You know where I can find an expert? Sap has been quite successful at training their venelopes to fish. The tamer there could teach them how to water our plants. Zorkins won't be an issue if you can strike us a deal with Sap. Here. When could I ever say no to the beach? I'll find someone. Maybe they rent surfboards over there. The Zorkins I gave you are not for leisure time. Can't a man get one single day off? Jeez. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Should have everything he needs to brew Lampe now. Uh uh. Carrying too much already. Is, but it looks useful. Spiders. You 
picked the wrong target first. Love the seaside. One guy, Sapa's Daoka, is still inactive. If you're looking for its core, my Dolotai guardians have discovered its location. The invader's outpost near the beach. Good scouting, Liaz. I can see the coordinates on the map. Thank you. How's the tide today? The what? Well, aren't you a fisherman? We call ourselves Fisher Talans. We fish for Senecta. My name is Baram, and you are? Call me Cutter Slade. Good to meet you, Baram. Do you happen to own any scrolls? I used to borrow them from the Dano Library before Procreana was attacked. A rich source of information, but they're rare now. There's this librarian, Kurag. He's rebuilding the library. If you have a library scroll, I should probably return it to him. But of course, here it is. The old Talan and the Seneca. A fishing manual. Is fishing Sapa's main thing? Yes, it is. We've been living in isolation since the invasion started, and we fish to survive. Seneca's tastes like roasted sword, but we have to do what we have to do. In a way, we have everything we need here. Or almost everything. Almost? I heard Gunair is missing. Sapa can't survive too long without a tamer. When is the last time you saw Yunair? It's been too long. I don't know what he's doing. We need more fishing ventilopes to take over from the ones that are hurt or resting. I used to go fishing with my uncle. Can I see the types of rods you guys are using? What do you mean? Fishing rods? I mean, you must be using them to... Oh, you mean fishing paddles? Nope. Pretty sure paddles are for paddling. I don't know what your uncle taught you about fishing, but you got it all wrong. <laughs> Look, here's how it's done. Beautiful around here. Enjoying Sapa? Just remember that the beaches are closed until further notice. That's okay. I'll work on my tan later then. Thanks. Your fishing technique is original. But too slow. Sometimes you have to hit so hard to stun a Zenecta that it rocks the boat upside down. Fishing for Zenecta is much more dangerous than catching the smaller fish that we used to. No matter how many scrolls I read, I can't solve this problem. Maybe I could use my jetpack to skim across the sea and stun the Senectus. That should speed up the task. Do you know where to find me? Hi there. If you're looking for Zalip, you found him. But the big question is, why? Why do you want to see me? Are you bringing some lampe? Lampe? You mean like alcohol? If alcohol is a drink that makes you feel lighter, then yes. Trust me, I could use a drink too, Zalip. And I'm as dry as you are. 
My name's Slade. Cutter Slade. And you are? Bored. Getting bored. But you can call me the Beast Healer. They call me that because I, uh, you know, Zaleb heals beasts. I'll stick with Zaleb, if you don't mind. Can you tell me where I can find you, Nair? Can you tell me where I can find your balls? They seem to be missing. My... Okay, I will assume this is a translation issue. I'm looking for the Beast Tamer. I'll be out of your hair as soon as I find him. Out of my hair? Does it look like I have hair? I don't know where Yunair is, and I don't care. Happy? It's a lovely village you have here. Reeks a bit of fish, but hey, who wouldn't kill for an afternoon at the beach, right? What kind of monster would kill for a beach? It sounds more like a compliment in my language. Some things get lost in translation. You think of Sapa, you think of the beach, the sea, I get it. But Sapa is also the soil, plants, beasts, the air we breathe, all connected into one fragile ecosystem, a mother to us all. If you bring war to Sapa and start killing for beaches, you'll have a problem with me, understand? I'll add it to my list. The odds got me solving problems left and right. Ah. You're just like Tanakh and Baram and all the other Fisher Talons. They don't care about the ecosystem. All they care about is how the Senectas are having their Oka stock. But their reproduction cycle is only the peaking part of the Reesburg. The Reesburg? It's an expression. It means that there is a part you see and much more to it that you don't see. Right. Go on. They need to focus on the big picture, which is... Everything is connected. Take Tanakh, for example. He's all worked up about catching Gamors when it's Vantelopes he should be focusing on. What's wrong with the Vantelopes? Nothing wrong with the Vantelopes, you dumb Gorgor. It's us that's the problem. And them, the damn invaders shooting down those poor beasts left and right. How can I heal a Ventilope with a hole where its face used to be, huh? Can you tell me that? Look, I got nothing against Ventilopes. Or you. The Ventilopes catch Senectas. Senectas give Sapa life. The Sacred Mother provides. Our fragile ecosystem thrives. Yeah? Hmm. Intelligent creatures. Yeah. You see the power of the Ventilope. Need to go long distances? Simply hop on a Ventilope's back. Need to chase away hungry Gamors? The Ventilope is your beast. Ventilopes! The village seems pretty vulnerable without them. These hands can only heal so many. Without Ventilopes, I tell you, there is no Sapa. How can I activate the Daoka? As soon as that thing is back on, other Shamazes will be barging in through the portal, busting my balls with their spiritual this and spiritual that. I'll take a rain check. You know, the Daoka could be a good way to get you Lampe. All the Lampe you want, I bet. You said you were missing the sweet taste of it. Lampe is spoiled by Daoka travel. Everybody knows that. But I could use the Daoka to travel to Bida and have a drink there. Now that's an idea. All right, stranger. If you activate Bida's Daoka as well as our own... We can become friends, you and I. The invaders keep the core of Sapa's Daoka in their base. It's the one closest to us. Thanks, Alp. I will see you soon. Chief of the village? You? You look like a world traveler. An action-oriented fellow. My name is Tanak, and I am the leader of Sapa. Can I ask you something? I'm an open book. Shoot. I don't need a book, but shooting? Yes, shooting is exactly what I'm looking for. How much for the gun? Sorry, Tanak. It's not for sale. Sorry. Let me clarify. 
I need the hand attached to the gun. Your hand, pulling the trigger. I'll pay you. I've never tasted Synecta before. You like it? Do I have any other choice? Those nasty carnivorous fish have become our main source of food. Mainly because they ate all the other fish. Something to do with the temperature of our waters. But Am explains it better than I do. Talk to him if you want to know more. What's your name? I am Tanak, leader of Sapa. What can you tell me about Zalab? Oh, you want to sit and chat with the chief, huh? Discuss the personal life of every single one of my people while sipping on lampe and snacking on grilled senegda? Fine, but only after you deal with our gamma problem, please. The things you do for barbecue. What's so special about this little settlement you have here? It's beyond special. This little settlement is the gateway to the seas of Adelpha. It's a community of fine, upstanding fisher talent and... Oh, who am I fooling? The community dwindles by the moon, our economy tanked once the invaders closed the Daoka, and the only fish left are Senegtas. How can I turn the Daoka back on? Portals are powered by old energy cores, free to land technology, and the invaders confiscated them all. So we're kind of stuck here. Anyone who tries to retrieve the core gets reverted by the invaders, including my dear, dear brother. So we just stop thinking about it. They must be keeping it in one of their bases. There you go, action man. Get that brain working. I've forbidden the Talans from going near the closest base, but if you, uh, if you want to steal back the power core and power the Daoka, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be happy. See you later, Tanakh. Yup.
Gamor's a dead meat. There's a lot of red meat, actually. But I figured you guys are more into fish, so... That's some fantastic and disgusting news. Good shooting, stranger. This buys our village a little time. You mean these beasts are coming back? What's your long-term strategy, Chief? I don't plan on camping around. Ventilopes can chase the Gamors away. We just need to tame more Ventilopes. And by we, I mean our beast tamer. What's the relationship between Unair and Zalop? Well, have you heard about the Ventilope Club? Ventilope Club? VC for short. They're a group of Talan who want to preserve the local Ventilope population. The creatures are dying out, you see. The club is comprised of our Shema Zaleb and our missing beast tamer, Unair. Guess you can't really call two Talan a group. You're more like a duo, right? What's Zaleb saying about Unair's disappearance? Zaleb is what you call a royal pain in the ass. I've tried to ask him about Unair, about the conversation they had the last moon Unair was seen. But all Zaleb kept babbling about was Sapa's ecosystem and how the Ventilopes need a new tamer. Strange Shamas, that Zaleb. Sounds like your Shamas knows something about Unair's disappearance. I can go talk to him. Tell him you're interested in the VC. Maybe he'll like that. Or maybe he'll throw a bowl of lampe in your face. You never know with Zaleb. The guy is moody. Yeah, sounds like a real charmer. What do you think about the invaders? What do I think? Well, they reverted my brother and deactivated our Taoka. So, not their biggest fan. But <laughs> if you want a good, hateful tirade against the invaders, or anyone in fact, you should see Zaleb. I'll come back later. thing, Zalib. Hanging in there? Hanging? Not every Aga Kaman expression translates into Agazork, you know. How can I join the Ventilope Club? You? You would like to join the VC? Why? Ah, uh, because I... I love Ventilopes. You do? Yep, I can't live without them. How much do you love them exactly? We don't accept perverts. Whoa, whoa, nothing like that. Look, Zal, just tell me where I signed to join your special club. I want to talk to you about Unair. He's VC2, right? Yeah. I feel responsible for what happened to him. He was just following my lead. Okay, club brother. Us club members have to stick together. Tell me what happened. I can help. Did the Gamors get him? No. I already told Tanak. Gamors don't want anything to do with Talans. They're just after the Senectus. Yunaya knows better than to provoke them. So where is he? Well, I asked Yunaya to teach the Ventilopes how to avoid the invaders and their weapons. He told me he could do it, but first he needed to scout the nearby invaders' base. Some reconnaissance to help him think. Damn it! If they got to him, he's probably gone. He's alive. I can feel it. You can feel it? How does that work? Um, it's a Shamaz thing. Besides, his hazardess would be haunting me otherwise. And just like that, he's gone.
flock of killer birds, just what I need. They're coming.
Are you you, Nair? Maybe. Who wants to know? <laughs> Relax, buddy. I'm VC, just like you. I'm here to save you. Solib sent you. You betcha. Come on, get out of here and run to your village, now. Lock of killer birds, just what I need. Oh my god! It's you, Nair! Where have you been? You got me worried, brother! I was on the lookout for feathers when... Is it okay to discuss VC business in front of Baram? It doesn't matter! We're just happy you're safe! The invaders caught me and threw me in one of their prison cells. No one hurt me, but... Someone hurt them. Who are you talking about? Well, they don't hurt. Exactly. They're machines, you know. Thank you for helping, my friend. The Ventilope Club is in your debt. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Unless you can teach your Ventilopes to drop bombs on these goddamn bases, I'll take a rain check on your offer. Did you say bombs? I know a little bit about explosives. That could actually work. Are you serious? I could arrange Ventilope Riders to drop anything from the sky. It's not a problem if... Uh, Yunair, uh, how about you get some rest now? Uh, you must be exhausted by your little adventure. Um, yes, Salad. You're right. Now hold on a sec. 
With your explosive know-how and his taming skills, we can wreak some serious havoc from the sky. It's a stupid plan that would only end up with more ventilopes getting shot at. Zalib, why don't you let me talk to the stranger? I don't like this. Let's go, Zalib. I'll debrief you about my recon mission in private. What are you doing in my house? No one taught you how to knock? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no door, so, uh, uh... This is a nice vest you're making here. It's... It's a work in progress, and I don't want anyone to judge before it's finished. Yeah, I can see how it'll make you stand out, even from up there. We have motorcycle club vests where I'm from. They're made of leather, though. This one has more style with the, uh, feathers and all. I still need a few of them to complete the prototype. This one's for Zalib, and it's taking a lot more feathers than expected. <laughs> Zalib is a big Talan. I'm sure he'll love it. You wanted to see me for a reason? How are you feeling? Much better after a big bowl of fried Senecta. The invaders almost starved me to reversion. Do you know what they wanted from you? No. They kept questioning me, but I couldn't understand their language. Good thing you showed up. The village of Amiya needs your help. Me? Why? Could you tame some ventilopes and teach them how to water the treetops of Amiya using the nearby lakes? I could if we had enough ventilopes. But they keep getting shot flying about the invaders' facilities. Where can we find new ones? The trick is not to find them, but to let them find us. Oh, really? Hey, Ventilopes, we're here! See? It's not working, you know, here. Have you started taming new Ventilopes? I wish I could. Gamors killed my one female Ventilope while I was locked up, and females are the key to everything. Without her attracting male Ventilopes to the village, I have nothing to work with. Go get yourself a new female, then. Hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. It took me many moons and a great deal of pain to tame just one. Female ventilopes are the most stubborn animals I know. And with all those nasty knackbees around, it's very dangerous to bring one into the pen. Can you share your methods with a fellow VC member? I'm curious. Anything for the VC, brother. Female ventilopes crave a certain type of larvae. Knackbee larvae is found in the trees around Sapa. Once I spot a female, I start by smoking the knackbee larvae out of the tree to attract female. While she's busy feeding on it, I proceed to the next tree and the next, creating a trail that lures her all the way to the enclosure. This method takes a lot of patience and time. We'll need something quicker. I'm not the most patient guy, so I think we need to adjust your technique. Then you'll be saving my life a second time. Without ventilopes, the Fisher Talans are out of work, and the Gamors turn their appetites to Talan. About those bombs... You should talk to Baram about that. He knows more than I do. I'll teach the Ventilopes how to carry the bombs, but it'll be up to the riders to drop them. You mentioned Nakbees. Anything I should know about them? Nakbees are big flying insects living around Sapa. They're quite dangerous, and their stinger has reverted more than one Talan in this region. They are especially hostile when they feel their larvae is in danger. Big deadly insects. What's coming next to Delphi's Godzilla? See ya.
way to go. Smell a nice upgrade coming up. Our birdie's singing her love song in the enclosure. At least I think she is. I'm more of a metalhead myself. You have a head of metal. Like the invaders. No, I mean, <laughs> forget it. Got the female ventilo for you. Bless the yachts. Thank you. I better get ready. Males are probably circling the village as we speak. The ventilo will bring life back to Sapa. What does it take to tame one of those giant cuckoos? It's all in the moves. I'm so glad I took those dance lessons in Kizar as a young Talan. Everything peachy with a female? I don't know what you mean, but she is already producing ventilope oil. That was fast. The village of Amiya needs your help. Now they're growing a special plant called Quart high in the treetops and can use some ventilopes to water them. They're willing to pay. I can teach the ventilopes to carry water from the lakes around Emiya, then drop their load on the plants. But your Zorkins are useless in Zappa. Everyone trades goods here. So what do you want for it? I once tamed this very clever ventilope that used to be so good at collecting rare feathers for me. She would bring them to me from the regions around Zappa, going as far as Emiya, and even Bida sometimes. What happened to your flying friend? The invader shot at her. She got scared, flew away. She's still collecting beautiful feathers, but she's not bringing them here anymore. She drops them in her new nest. It's the one at the top of the tallest tree I have ever seen. 
I call it the Feather Tree. I'll get your feathers and trade them for tamed vandalopes for Amiya. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. What can you tell me about vandalope oil? The females produce it. During mating season, male ventilopes smell it on the females from far away and they come running, or flying, actually. Have a look inside ventilope nests or in the pen where the female is active. You'll find some there. Is it easy to spot a ventilope nest? Yes, they're visible. And you'll certainly find some around Sapa. But if it's ventilope oil you're after, you can also check my pen when a female is inside. We're in the middle of mating season. You might be in luck. See ya. Chasing me.
Hey, you not here? Hey, you. Ah, look at these colorful feathers. Is that what you were looking for? Beautiful. Some of these are rare. Nice find, thank you. They're worth a tamed ventilope for Emiya. Don't hesitate to bring more of these beauties if you need more ventilopes. Thanks, Yunair. Much appreciated. I'll tell them the ventilopes are coming then. See ya. Here they come. Brought the whole battalion, huh?
Can I call you Bar? The name's Bram. Does anyone call you Cut? I kind of like Cut, but no, you're right. You and I are contain more envelopes and teach them how to be dive bombers, but I'm still missing the actual bombs. You said you had an idea about that. Back in the moons, before my paddle invention, I had this idea we could fish with explosives. Don't tell me it wasn't a mind-blowing success. It was a reverting disaster. But the same bombs could do a lot of damage when thrown at the enemy instead of fish. Where can we get some? Bomb-making ingredients are not easy to come by, but I got my samples from the miners in Desan. I'll go to Desan and ask around. Anybody I should reach out to once I'm there? I don't know if he's still alive, because I haven't seen him since the invaders took over Desan. But a Talan named Brom was the one who sold me the explosives at the time. Brom, I got it. He was an engineer like myself. Mining was his obsession, and fishing was mine. But we spoke the same language. He could be a slave now. It's terrible what the invaders have made of Desan. As soon as we can turn some of your Vendelope riders into bomber pilots, we'll get payback. I can't wait. Where can I find Vendelope oil? Hmm, good question. I'm more of a fish oil expert. Did you know fish oil is perfect for protecting your skin against moon rays during the high season? But it doesn't smell great. It scares the females away during Olka stock. Not answering my question. Oh, sorry. Fintelo females secrete the oil during reproduction, but that's the extent of my knowledge. Yunair could tell you more about it. Remember what we spoke about. Now go! Marceau, got you some more eggs. Nice. Very nice. I think your son could use a little dad time. Mirko is fine. Some Talons would revert to get to spend their quality time in a brewery. What more could he hope for? Hey, I don't want to overstep my bounds here, but just talk to him more. Or, no, better yet. Listen, okay? Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, Lampe's not gonna brew itself. Bye. So long, stranger. Hey, partner. Two male Talans living together are partners you and I just got acquainted. Right. I also prefer we keep things at the business level. I'm not the one who started hitting on you. You're gonna be proud of me, Chief. After a ton of struggle and a few near-death encounters, I helped Marzo brew a fresh batch of Lampe. Helping Marzo is Mirko's job. If you're looking to help, you can split my chief duties. Do you want to take mornings? I'll stick to afternoons if you don't mind. Uh, no thank you. Later, Chief. Farewell. Cargo. 
Plaza. Thanos Orkins. Howdy, cowboy. Not sure what a cow is, mister, but I know bombars, and I'm a bombar boy. Ozak is my name. Hey, Ozak. I'm Cutter Slade. What do you do with the bombars? Walk them around the pastures, feed them so they grow fat and suitable for market. A good-sized bombar gives you a ton of meat, ton of wool. You can turn their horns into, I don't know... Horn-based stuff, like drinking horns? Everything's good on the bomb bar. I'd eat their brain, if only they had one. <laughs> My father used to tell me the same thing. Seems you're doing just fine the way you are. I'm not doing fine without Scoot. My bomb bars are scattered everywhere, and with all the Garandars around, I'm afraid I'd lose them for good. Tell me about Scoot. Scoot's the Twanha I ride, or the Twanha I used to ride. <laughs> he was a wild breed. Took me moons to tame that bastard. He was my best friend, too. Not the best listener, but, you know, I'm not either. Ah, uh, well, sorry for your loss. Oh, he ain't met with the odds just yet. He ran away. So much for being best friends, huh? Yod damn Garandar. Scoot got spooked and took off. I'm telling you, Scoot was like the Bombar Whisperer. I think I heard enough about Scoot. I'm speaking the truth. When I'm riding Scoot, the Bombar respect me. They're easy to hurt. But without Scoot, they don't give two zorts about poor old Ozak. If you find Scoot out there, mister, can you bring him back to me? I'll make it worth your while. Call him by his name. Go like this. Scoot, come here. Why would Scoot listen to me? Take this gui. It's a cloth doused with the scent of Scoot's mother. Scoot loves his gui even more than he loves Hote. Put the cloth under his snout and he'll listen to you. What are you up to? I'm pushing a herd of bomb bars that way. Then later, I push it back this way. Circle of life. This particular herd of bombars are the most stubborn creatures I ever met. After Scoot. You got a problem with your herd? You can call it a communication breakdown. I tell Scoot what to do, and then Scoot tells the bombars. Otherwise, they don't listen to me. How hard can it be? They're just... bombars. It's always a hustle to herd them back to the pen. Scoot is a good assistant, but I wouldn't say no to a couple of helping hands like yours. Especially with the Garandars lurking on my herd. Less bombars outside of the pen means less Garandars attacking our perimeter. All right. All I have to do is lead them back to the pen, then? It ain't that easy, mister. You'll see. It's better than most places, I guess, but I lost a lot of friends recently to the Garandars. Are you scared of the invaders? Can't be scared of what I've never seen. Lampe put me to sleep one night. They came in, broke the Daoka, and they were out when I woke up. You ever get a good look at the drilling stations? <laughs> never gone near them. Too far. My place is here with the bomb bars. Anyway, Mirko at the brewery, he said the Twanhas can't stomach long-distance trips because, well... There is a reason that I forgot. What do you know about Garandars? I know I hate those sons of Zorts. They are my nemesis. Giant worms that live in the ground and gobbled up my fellow Bombar boys like they were candy. They even tried to eat Scoot. But they spit him back out. No one likes the taste of Twanhaws. So long, cowboy. Don't know what that is, but y'all bless you, buddy.
Jazz, you there? I hear you. Is everything all right? You ever had to herd bomb bars? <laughs> Females do not concern themselves with the herding of bomb bars. They are too busy running the planet. Figured as much. My former Navy unit could see me now, they'd have a good laugh. As long as the bomb bars stay safe in their pen, the Garondars won't attack. It's important work, Ulakai. Adding this to my resume then. Talk later, Lias. Back in the pen, big guy. in the pen, big guy. Bombar boy thing is exhausting. Phew, I got the bombars in the pen. You're good at this. Can you ride a Twan Ha? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if I can. I don't want to. Okay. For a second there, I thought you'd make a great Bombar boy. Yeah, I'd rather eat my gun, but thanks, pal. Nothing wrong with eating your gun, buddy, but it might hurt on the way out. Bombar boys don't carry weapons, though, so, heck, even eating it, you'd still qualify for the job. So long, cowboy. Don't know what that is, but y'all bless you, buddy.
Scoot, that thing's coming for you. Get out of the way, Scoot! Underground creatures can't get me out here. Why don't you move this way? No, not that way. Listen to your buddy Ozak. Hey, where are you going? Come and... Oh, ouch. What? Who's there? Scoot? Is that you? Scoot! Come here, boy! I'm so happy to see you! Howdy, Ozak. How the what? You talking to me? Are you happy Scoot's back? Ooh, yes! I sure missed my partner. Now I'm back to herding the Bombars like a good Bombar boy should. Thank you. Happy to help, Ozak. Bye, Ozak. Hey, Kartak. You again. Did you sell Scoot to Ozak? I did. One moon, the sneaky animal was eating mustache of Hody. So he chased it away. Ozak heard me scream, don't touch those, Scoot. And he thought I was calling the Twan Ha, Scoot. He fell in love with that beast on the spot. Tried to explain to him the word came from an old Aga Common expression I heard once, but. This was too much information for a Bonbar boy's brain. He still called it Scoot. That's funny. The Twan is confused when Ozark calls its name. It can react impulsively. Made the Bonbar boy fall on his ass more than once. Torga became very busy healing Ozak every couple of moons. See you next moon.
Oh, come on!
Looking to carry more stuff? I could do something about it. this white stone in the drill pits. It's light as a feather and it emits a familiar glow. What do you think? Oh, wow, yes, yes! This must be it! Oh, I keep telling people there's white halidium on this continent, but no one believes me. But this is proof. My anti-gravity theory is accurate. You're anti-what now? Gravity is an advanced concept. I could try to teach you, but you wouldn't understand. I know what gravity is. Don't ask me for the formula, though. Forgot everything they taught me in high school. And high school, actually. All right, all right. So stay with me. I'm going to use big words. Garondars live so deep underground that the pressure of the Earth would crush them flat. But they don't get crushed. Why? Because they emit an anti-gravity field. I'm not sure how they generate it, but it has to do with eating these rocks, white halidium. That's what the invaders are drilling for. They want to harness its power. How do you know all that? I read a ton of scrolls. You know, you, you, you said if I helped prove your theory, we'd have the power to fight the invaders. I hope you don't want me to eat this rock. No, although that would be pretty hilarious. This leads me to my other theory, which is you can train a Garondar to attack invaders instead of Bonbars. Training Garondars? I'm listening. I have conducted experiments with Tvonhas. You know, the one where you hold a hottie in front of them and they start salivating? Pavlov would be proud. Go on. Garondars are no different. If you manage to trigger a reflex, they won't salivate, but they should show up at the precise location of the stimuli. Hold on. Why would I summon a Garandar that wants to eat me? Once trained, you won't have to fight it. I will calibrate the beacon so the Garandar doesn't surface, but comes close enough so that you can benefit from its anti-gravity field in combat. If you train more than one Garandar the same way, it will only make the effect stronger. This might actually work. What do you need to make this happen? I already mapped out everything in a scroll. See? We could use fey fruits to create a vibration, okay? And that vibration will attract the Garondar. The scent of meat, say, Gamor meat, will make it surface. If we shoot white halidium directly into the Garondar's mouth when it surfaces, it's like a reward. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm no pitcher. There's no way I could throw a rock into the mouth of a moving Garondar. But you know how to shoot a gun, right? We just need to manufacture a training beacon that contains the necessary ingredients. Looks like you have everything figured out. I'm in. I'm wreaking serious havoc on the drilling stations. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, if you clear all three stations, I can send my guy to collect the white halidium. He's too scared to travel right now. Freaking bottom dars are everywhere. There must be a way to avoid them. I mean, some people here have left the village and come back in one piece. Mm, you have a point. Even Torga was traveling lately. He fixed Ozak's broken leg right out there in the fields. That's surprising considering his garondophobia and all. Garondophobia? Funny word. That's not funny. Torga was petrified. Maybe you should talk to him and understand how he overcame it. I would go myself, but... My father needs the toilet cleaned ASAP. He's expecting a big buyer, he said. Not sure if I should believe him or not, but... Hey, he's the Talon of the house, so I clean where he wants me to clean. Yeah, I feel ya. Where can I find fey fruits? They grow on the fey tree southeast of Beda, but I can handle that. Just focus on the two other components. It'll be faster if we split the work, like we're on a team. Cool, right? 
Take it easy, kid. I'm not a kid, but whatever. Torga, can I have a word? Can you have a word? Uh, to hold in your hand? It's a figure of... <laughs> Forget it. Mirko said you're not suffering from garandophobia anymore. Oh, yachts, no. This is old news. Really? What made you change your mind? Well, 50% was courage. I feel much braver now. And the other half? Lampe. I found my confidence in a barrel of Lampe. In a pool of Lampe, I should say. <laughs> That's a lot of drinking to find the courage to travel. Oh, yes. Many, many, many drinks. <laughs> I became fully confident, but no longer could walk in a straight line. I stumbled and fell straight into the pool of Lampe left after the Alpha Garandor accident. I climbed out of the pond completely soaked, and then... It happened. What happened? I started to feel like I was floating. I told myself, Torga... You're not floating. You are drunk. Your feet are on the ground. Look. So I looked. And I was not on the ground. I was trapped in the anti-gravity field of a Garandar who burst through the ground and was towering above me. Wow, really? How did you survive? I believe that Lampe saved me. Garandars love the smell of bonbars, but hate the smell of Lampe. And that extends to anything or anyone that touches it. Hmm, interesting theory. It's more than a theory. I'm bathing in that pond every moon, and it truly works. No Garandor will come near me. <laughs> I suggest you convince Ozak to try it with a bond bar so you can see I'm right. Peace out, Torka. Peace out, peace in. <laughs> peace all around. <laughs> to jump. Marzo, what's up? Did you tell my son to go on some kind of adventure? Whoa, hold on. Mirko just went to collect some fruit. We're working on something. Some fruit? He's my son. And more importantly, my assistant. Not your goddamn assistant, mine. He's supposed to be working for me. Did he tell you where he was going? I think he mentioned a fey tree. I used to go there when I was young, but things have changed. It's crawling with gamors now. I have to go get him. <sighs> Wait, this is my fault. You stay here. I'll get him back. Can you still brew Lampe without Mirko? Not really. I need his help. Then maybe hire someone else? Someone who would actually enjoy working in the brewery? This is a family business, and Mirko... Is my only son. I couldn't risk using the comm link. They may be listening. Who are you talking about? Speak, Dalatai Guardian. We have spotted a massive convoy en route with reinforcements. Oh no. The invaders are regrouping for an attack on Emiya. We have to evacuate the village. We don't have time. I'll intercept the convoy before it reaches their base. But how? The Galenta. With your permission, Chief. I could take her. And maybe Yods be with you both, Ulukai.
coordinates of a new facility. The quantum field is. Now's not the best time, soldier. Your friends are on their way to eradicate a Talan village. Let me check the log. Jesus, that transport ship's got hundreds of armed infantry units. What are you going to do? Improvise. Did you say hundreds? You don't have to fight the troops. A transport ship can be sabotaged from the outside if you have a way to board it. Oh, I got one big flying way indeed. Slayed out. I'm 
You don't see many Talans packing heat around here. Nice bow. Thank you. I am Azan, protector of Emiya. Who are you? Cutter Slade, aka the Ulakai, or so I'm told. This place seems peaceful enough. Get much protecting done? Well, you never know when a Kaminai will strike. When it does, I'll be ready for it. The Ventilopes are watering the treetops from now on. Please don't shoot at them. That's a good thing. Escorting the Galenta to her feeding ground was a dangerous task. If she can eat here, she shouldn't leave the village anymore. On my way. See you, Azan. Please accept this Daramon as a symbol of our gratitude. Tell the Almayel that Amiya stands with the Talans of Adelpha, united as one nation in the eyes and ears of the Yards. Thank you, Doc. I'm gonna head up to Kizar with this. I should visit Kizar and bring Amiya's Daramon to the Almayel. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. How's our new irrigation plan working out? It's work. The Venelopes are taking water from the lakes and dropping it on the plants. Some people below are still getting surprise showers, but it's considered good luck. <laughs> I saw his hand get drenched. He needs it. He's one smelly tomorrow. I don't remember the last time I had such a good laugh. You know what? I don't think I've showered since 1999, but it's probably my memory playing tricks on me. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Getting hot in there. Eventually, you're gonna run out of excuses, General. Ulakai, are you there? Yes, Lias. You sound worried. I know you are busy with the Almayel, but the next time you visit Kizar, could you please check on my daughter? Her name is Ishana. I haven't seen her in so many cycles. I miss her. I worry about her. Yeah, of course. I'll find her. I miss her as much as I miss her father, Jan. He reverted during the assault against the invaders. All the male Dolotai did. They were our beloved partners. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. I just wish the Almayel would have trusted his warning instead of chasing the Dolotai guardians out of Kizar. Jan would still be by my side. I'll send your love to her for sure. Thank you, Ulakai. I appreciate what you are doing for me. Don't mention it. Slate out.
You have returned. Daramon is the word the Yards gave the Talan people to express our unity. Sending a human to gather them has a symbolic meaning. I've been telling you, I am playing for your team. But what I'm eventually after is the home run, remember? The Yards have spoken. Akastok will be. Talk to Nefeim. She is expecting you. That beast just... Gotcha. Excuse me, miss. Bless the message. I've been waiting for you. Wait no more. I'm Nefaim, main festival planner for the Akastok Extravaganza. The Elmael told me you'd be willing to help. You know, she said you were going to be really weird looking, but... I don't know, with some berry blush on your cheeks and some highlights, you might not actually be a lost cause. Uh, thank you? What do I need to know about Okastok? Male and female Talons only come together once per cycle in an amazing festival called Okastok. We skipped the last cycles because of, you know, invaders. So everyone in Adelpha is really excited. Except for me. I'm under a lot of pressure to make this event absolutely perfect. Males and females only come together once a year? That must be quite a celebration. Celebrating a small period of harmony. You know, Milea? Once a cycle, males and females put aside their differences and come together to, you know, do something amazing. What kind of food do you need? The best kind? I can order most of the food myself, but it would be so helpful if you could get the Morags. We need loads of them. You can get them in Amiya. Morags. Okay. Got it. Okay, imagine I'm Oka Stock's bartender. What would I need to refill the bar? The bar? Is that like a male thing? What? No, I... Someone really has to invent the concept of a bar on this planet. Drinks. What do you need to refresh the guests, Nefaim? Something that offers a kick, like lampe. The best lampe is brewed in the village of Bida. Go there and ask for Marzo. I think he's going to be really excited about the return of Akastok. Him and Saren, they have a long history. I totally see those two together. Is there a problem with the flowers? If by problem you mean there are no flowers left, then yes, there is one big problem. Okay. I'm not a gardener, so good luck with that. The spear shrouds Kizar with a veil of endless night. We don't get much moonlight here, and this is precisely what flowers need to grow. So no flowers then. It's pity, but as I said before... Yes, flowers, silly. We call them milioras, and they all mysteriously disappeared, but they can grow back. And if you nourish them with pure water from the sacred fountains, Meliorats grow faster than any other plant on Adelpha. All right, Lady Luck. Watering flowers is not the most manly thing for a guy like me to do. I'm sure you could put me and my weapons to better use. What are you talking about? You speak as if flowers were a female hobby? How old are you to refer to such dusty stereotypes? I'm too busy here, mister, and I was told you would help. Not that you would only help with manly tasks, whatever that means. The sacred fountains are dirty? Ugh, 
those filthy beasts, the Makari. I told the children again and again, just because it's the color of morag juice doesn't make it morag juice. Saren forbids the children to drink it, but kids will be kids. I'm no shamas, but I'm pretty sure that's what's causing their stomach aches. What else would it be? These fountains might get their water from one source, right? You know where the source might be? Excellent question. I have no idea. The Almayel probably knows where the source is. You don't like the Makari too much. I already told Saren. With Akastok almost here, we can't have any Makari running around. They go crazy when they smell a male talan around the children. Can you remind her to deal with it? She knows what to do. I'll talk to her. See if I can help. Thank you, message. You can call me Cutter. Why would I do that? Kids need music lessons, huh? I'm not sure if I qualify. I played drums once in a heavy metal band in high school. Vicious Slade and the Devil Dorks. I, I wasn't one of the dorks. I, anyway, I, I didn't know how to play drums, really. But we were so loud, no one noticed. Have no fear, message. Saren can do the music lessons. If she gathers enough kids to sit still. Saren's a wonderful teacher, but she's getting a bit old. Chasing kids around all day can get exhausting. Right. I'll talk to her. Marzo should send the Lampe over as soon as he can restock. I hope this won't take too long. We can't delay Okastok forever. If there's someone who wishes Okastok would happen today, it's Marzo. I trust him to go as fast as he can, but I'll see if I can speed things up a little bit. See you, Nephilim. May the Yods be with you. You have returned. I'm looking for the source of the sacred fountains. The answer lies underwater. Find the flooded cave, find the source. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. The place where we met. What is it? You mean the Ganda Temple? On this side of Adalpha, you'll find one temple for each of the four essences. They're the oldest structures on the planet, and the Talans didn't build them. Who did that? No one really knows. We believe the ancients left them behind, just like the Daokas. Daokas and temples shared the same architecture. And they are connected to the Yod's realm in ways we don't fully comprehend. So who does comprehend, then? Essences have a strong presence in the temples. Talans from all over Adelpha used to visit them before the creation of Palana. Anatok was the first master of ceremonies who built Palana way before my cycles. He told his contemporary Darusham keepers that he had found a way to contact the ancients. It is said that soon after he made this claim, he disappeared one moon, and never returned. These scrolls were lost with the destruction 
of the Dano Library in Procriana. Did you get a chance to read the scrolls before they got lost? No, but Zokrim told Yan what the scrolls said, and Yan told me. So one moon, I hope I can tell my own daughter. Dolotai Guardians are the protectors of Adelpha, which means we are also the guardians of its oldest legends and traditions. since setting foot here. And that's not normal, is it? I mean, you tell us eat and drink, right? The foundation of Tala Cuisine used to be Reese, and it still is for many poor people, because it's so cheap to cultivate. You will find many Reese fields between Pita and Emiya. The people of Emiya will tell you the taste of Reese doesn't compare to Morag's, and I must agree with them. In Zappa, they prefer to eat Zenecta. But that's because they don't have access to anything other than fish, which is still more than Disan has. They used to import food from other regions, but haven't been able to since the Daokas went down. What about drinks? I drink water, but don't tell anyone in Bida. They only drink Lampe over there. Now, if you are talking about the thirst for knowledge, Procriana used to be the place. While Palana is more about drinking the spiritual words of our Master of Ceremonies, no matter how bitter they taste these moons. Okay, well, I don't know what the odds did to me, but I don't feel the need to put anything into me, so nothing comes out of me, which is quite convenient, because I find that... We tell us have a seven sense that filters out too much unnecessary information, Ulakai. Um, sure. Got it. This is gonna hurt.
deadly perfume. Wow, what's wrong with you? 
Did someone beat you up? What? No. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that was your normal face. I'm Ashana. I'm Cutter Slade, friend of your mom. Seriously? Has she sent you to pick me up? I'm ready to go, now. Whoa, slow down, Firefly. That ain't the plan, but I'm working on getting your mom back here to visit you. I don't want her to visit. I want to leave and fight with the... Sorry. I speak too much when I'm excited. Saren told me it's because my parents are both Fae to lawns. Yeah, look, you'll discuss all that with your mom, okay? I'm not the best when it comes to the parenting stuff. Does your belly hurt too? Sometimes, but I don't complain. The other kids whine about every little thing. I'm stronger than them. Oh, I see. Any idea where this pain is coming from? Do I look like a Shamaz? How should I know? Grow, my beautiful Meliorats. Grow tall and... Huh? No, Makati and the flowers, out! I see you hiding there. Don't make me come and... Oh, I'm sorry, Nephaim. Eating Meliorats? Did you fall on your head? No wonder the children are getting sick. She said it's the only way to become a super warrior with superpowers. Who told you such nonsense? Ishana! Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Don't look at her. What's the problem? This young lady is the mastermind behind the stomach cramps. She told the other children to consume the sacred Meliorats. Why in the yards would anyone do that? My father... He needs me to be powerful when I grow up. Melito rats have power. How else should I do it? I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. You're grounded. You want to have power? Take this and leave your friends. You are all grounded. Now you water the Meliorats. But I don't want to. This is so boring. Ishana? Leave me alone. Look, flowers aren't for eating, okay? This is why the kids are feeling sick, isn't it? Don't eat flowers, Ashana. Don't scream, Ashana. Don't punch the Shamaz in the nards, Ashana. How am I supposed to become a Dolatai guardian if you and Saren don't let me complete my training? This is what you're doing? Training? Why? You're just a kid. My father wants me to fight the invaders and finish what he started. By eating flowers? Come on. Super flowers! Isn't that how you get superpowers? By eating super things! My father keeps telling me to eat my veggies. And last time I checked, flowers are plants. So why am I super grounded again? Eat your veg- No, 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 look. What Yan is trying to tell you is to be a good kid, not a fighter. You gotta play, learn new stuff, eat healthy food, and enjoy innocence while it lasts. Playing is not fun. I always end up being grounded because the kids are whining about their bleeding nose or whatever. That's not playing, that's fighting. You gotta learn how to play, young lady. Oh yeah? Then show me. Okay, well, let me talk to Nefaim and see if we can figure out a way to do your chores and have fun at the same time. So, Ishana, do you remember your mother? Only in my dreams. She left a long time ago. Do you miss her? I do. And I miss my father, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought you never met your dad before he... Before he got... Reverted? I'll tell you a secret. My father's not reverted yet. I'm meeting with him all the time. Meeting him? In your dreams? No. Here. Have you noticed it's always nighttime in Kizar? Hazarduses visit at night. My father's Hazardus is here, in Kizar. Yan's Hazardus, like his spirit? Where is it now? He comes when Punch is asleep. Punch is my Makari. She freaks out when my father's around. What does your father want? He teaches me about the rebellion, 
and the ways of the Dolatai Guardians. I'll grow up to become the strongest Dolatai Guardian who ever lived and make my father proud. I think your mother would also be proud. I'm not allowed to ask about her. I don't even know her name. Her name is Liaz, and she is a tough one. Just like her daughter, it seems. Liaz. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'm already in trouble. Hello there. You must be the message. I heard you were coming. The Yards really talk to you, huh? Something like that. By the way, the name's not Message, it's Cutter. Cutter Slade. My two Sorkins is that you should stick with Message. It flows better. I'm Seren. How can I help you today? Nephim told me you needed help with the kids, so... Here I am. <laughs> Great. The little bastards are gonna eat you alive. It's our custom for the children to ring the bells of Nilia during Okastok. That keeps them busy while the adults are... also busy. Know what I mean? But Okastok got delayed, then the kids got sick, and... Enough said. They aren't ready. I'm thinking about music lessons, but these little ankle biters butchering sacred melodies can really make your ears bleed. So... How about you teach them? Okay, teach the children. I can do this. I'm a military operative. They're little kids. How much trouble can they be? <laughs> On second thought, take the gun. We only need four volunteers. Good luck! Anything else I should know about the Makari? Yeah. Before Okastoke can start, you've got to help me put the Makari back in their cages. Why? Makari are extremely possessive of the kids they protect. Now there's gonna be plenty of fathers arriving for Okastok, and they're gonna wanna spend some quality time with their kids, and that's gonna piss the Makari off. They can get aggressive, so that's why you need to put them in the cages. By myself? I'm here to help you with caging them, remember? I'm a mentor. I'll teach you how. That's how we work together, you see? So, are you ready to do this? You're teaching all those kids by yourself? I call it mentoring. I do most of it. They also learn a lot from their Makari. The flashy creatures I've seen around? They teach the kids? Looks like I have to teach you what a mentor does. Listen, every Talan child is raised with a Makari. They're like guardians. They protect the kids, play with the kids, provide comfort, make sure the kids are getting enough sleep, Although, it's tough to figure out bedtime when it's always night in Kizar. But hey, where would we be without the spear protecting us, right? I guess the mothers take care of their kids too, right? Whoa, what backwards planet are you from? Female Talans are too busy running the planet. They don't have time to raise children. Did any kids suffer from stomach aches after the visit of the Shamaz? Yes, it happens frequently. At first, I thought this was just an excuse to skip class. But now I'm convinced that the pain is real, even though this curious disease is only affecting children so far. Any idea about what is causing that? I'm not sure. Sacred fountains, probably. The purity of their water is not what it used to be. They are not supplied with fresh water anymore, and this is something the Almayel should fix as soon as possible. All right, let's give it a shot. Ring the bells down. We need four kids to ring the bells and kick off Okastok. Already leaving? Be safe out there.
Hey, Shauna. How's it going? Meh. So, now that we solved the mystery of the stomach cramps, how about those music lessons? Come on, it'll be quick. Help me round up your friends. You like to play games, right? Let's make it a game, then. <sighs> okay, smartass. Which game are we playing? Tag. Me and my friends are fast. If you catch us, I'll convince them to volunteer for a music lesson with you, Ulukai. All right, you better start running then. All right. One, two, three, four. Don't peek! Cut or don't cheat, kid. Five, nine, eleven, fifteen, twenty! Here I come! Tag you. Tag you. Too easy, kid. Cheated. I won. Don't be a sore loser. We had a deal. All right, all right. We'll do what you say. Hi there. Got some questions. Yes? See you around. Come back anytime. Can I help you? Shut up, Let's see, Kideno. 
Assessing. All alien specimens restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. Restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. coming with me. All alien specimens restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. Assessing. Unidentified alien specimen caught. Contact HQ for proper analysis.
Blue stuff is good stuff. Nephim. How is the preparation going? I found the source of the fountains and cleared the path so fresh water could flow again. We're good. 
As long as you keep helping, you are amazing. But because of our little Makari problem, the water is still not completely pure. I mean, I wouldn't drink it, for example. Seriously. Could you please make sure the Makaris don't play in the fountains and put their, you know, their in the water? Problem already solved. All right. Will it also cleanse me of my sins? Um, does it have anything to do with filthy water? Well, there was this one time at the pool. I was just a kid back then, and... Uh... Time flies, message. Chop, chop. All right, all right. Cleansing song. You got it. On my way. Katamon song. See you, Nephim. May the yards be with you. You have returned. I found the source and did a little underwater work to clear the fountains, but Nephaim says it's not good enough. You must sing on top of that. She asked for a cleansing song. Damn it, I forgot the name. I guess you know what she means. Yes, the Kadamon song is one of purification. Listen to the words. Everything good? You look even more serious than usual. The Almayel's dissonance is a sign of Sankra. The songs of Melia are half sung for the first time in Talan history. What's wrong with your sister? She lost her voice or something? She is busy with other concerns. Till next time. Nephim. How is the preparation going? So look, I've changed my mind, and I will help you water the damn flowers after all. Oh no, you don't have to do that anymore. Ishana is grounded, and she will do it along with the other grounded children. That will teach them a lesson. We'll do it together. What do you say? Are you sure?
What's up? The new batch of Lampe is ready. Thanks for your help. I need a fresh batch of Lampe ASAP. It's for the Okastock Festival. Okastock? This one's on the house. I'll send a shipment right away. Yacht, we waited for this festival long enough. It's gonna be epic. Rock and roll, then. I'll let Nefim know the Lampe is coming. And send my best to Saren. I can't wait to see her again. Bye. So long, stranger. Now that's enough. Is there anybody there? Hello? It's me, Mirko. It's safe to come down now. Yes! Oh, Yacht, I owe you one. Okay, watch out when you climb down. Ow! Oh, I think I need a shamas. Let's get you back to the village. Did you get the stuff you came for? Yes, I have enough fey fruits for now. Let's go back to the brewery before my father freaks out. something with that. Oh, it's you. You want to keep the Garandars away from your bomb bars? Torga's got a theory so crazy it just might work. I don't do well with theories, mister. I'm a practical Talana. Then call it an experiment. Now listen, Garandars are allergic to Lampe, okay? So Torga's been taking Lampe baths to cure his Garandaphobia. Bless you. To cure his Garandaphobia. Bless you again. Ah, uh, Garandaphobia? You know what they say, third time's a charm. Right. Long story short, the Alpha Garandar vomited up a big pool of the stuff. If you soak your herd in the Lampe, they'll be safer from every killer worm from here to Kizar. You know, that sounds so crazy. It just might work. 
Ah, uh, that's my line. Hey, should we try this now?
tame ventilopes don't seem that user friendly. Are you doing me i'm not doing anything I, I swear the odds don't hurt me no one's hurting you i'm a friend of the talans ask anyone about nurkan they'll tell you i'm just an honest merchant who keeps to himself leave my shop please it's all i have left even my pride is gone i'm not gonna take your shop what is wrong with you i know who you are you're one of them them who? The invaders! You saw invaders who look like me? Like flesh and bone, not metal? After the attack on the city, they came out of their ships to make sure all the recreators were reverted. They were just like you. As I hid, I saw them execute dozens of my friends, even my business partner. Please, don't hurt me. My memory is Zord. I will forget your face as soon as you leave, I promise. Business partner? What's your business? Oh, I suppose you've never seen a recreator workshop. It's very, very different from this shop. This is my souvenir shop. You talk like someone who has something to hide. No, no, no. Nothing to hide. Look, I can offer you a good discount if you leave me alone. You won't find any recreators here. They're all gone. All but one, it seems. You're a recreator, aren't you? No! I... Fort! How did you know? <laughs> I worked undercover before. You could use some practice. Don't worry, I'm not with the invaders. I didn't know there were invaders on our side. And I didn't know there were recreators left alive. I can't wait to tell Leaz about this. I... I am the last of my kind. All my brothers, they collaborated with the Dolatai Guardians, and they all paid with their lives. I have heard of Leaz. But I don't want to make the same mistake, so please... I understand. And I'll keep your identity a secret. I promise. Thank you. I'll do whatever I can to help as long as I'm not exposed. What does a recreator do these days? I'm retired. I sometimes practice my craft on personal projects, but nothing that... No. I'm retired for good. I see. Ah, too bad. Could have used someone with real skills. To do what? Not that I would be able to help or anything, but... Just out of curiosity, I mean. What would you need a recreator for? Forget I even said anything. Enjoy your retirement. Wait! Why? Some people have to fight for the Talans, and time is running short. My best recreation days are behind me, but... Actually... I can still create all sorts of things. It's in my essence to do so. Do you have anything specific in mind? I mean, I need plans. I can bring you plans. Thanks, Nurkan. Keep a low profile, man. Hello, 
Kurag. I'm writing a fascinating scroll about the Galenta. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to shove it in Rifar's face and remember his reaction for the rest of my life. I am racking up them scrolls. Here. I'm sorry about your hacking cough. Could you please leave? No coughing in the library. Here's your page of Asio's research. Do you know any recreators? Most recreators have been reverted by the invaders. Their alliance with the Dolatai Guardians is the reason why Procreana is almost abandoned today. A couple of them might have survived, but don't expect them to brag about their craft. See you later. It's not that early. Yours are a real pain in the ouch. Do you have anything for me? Talk about a killer queen. Here you go. Queens neither kill nor revert anyone. Look at her. 
She is gorgeous. I want to improve the swarm, so keep those specimens coming. Such a lovely, lovely queen. I can't wait to stimulate her so she starts producing pheromones. You can't wait. Ugh. Damn it. Now I have this totally messed up image in my mind. What good are the pheromones? I have an idea. Nurikon could create some sort of Asior beacon. He'll know what to do. Let me draw you a basic plan of what I have in mind, and a list of necessary ingredients. Z-Dog Sap, Red Halidium, and those precious Asior Queen pheromones. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Yes. I'm in Procriana. What's your status? Flying to Zappa. My ventilope needs to be patched up, and Shema Zalib owes me. Okay, listen. Refar can control swarms of domesticated Asiors, and they are nasty. I know. They attacked me more than once. I need something to throw the beacon at the bad guys. You folks got any slingshots? Slingshots are for children, Ulukai. Have you been to the Ulukai Museum in town? I think I saw something there that could help. The Ulukai Museum? Seriously? I'll have a look then. Thanks. Slayed out. Hey, you the Shemaz around here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> hey, I know I look funny to you, but you look pretty funny to me. No, no, you, you look fine. Just fine. It's just that. <laughs> okay, this is leading nowhere. I'm out of here. No, no, wait. I am Yezo, the laughing Shamaz. I laugh so I can forget the pain. What pain? The pain of having my once bustling home of Procriana reduced to an empty ruin of loneliness and regret. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine, I guess. Can you be serious one second and heal me? <laughs> okay. Don't move. <laughs> what do you do here? Well, as Procriana's Shamaz, I used to heal all sorts of Talans. Even poor, badly burned wretches like yourself. I'm not burned, but good to know you're a healer. You mean, <clears throat> this is your real face? What's wrong with it? Is your real face? Now, now that's funny. <laughs> this place doesn't look so active. What happened? The invaders arrived in their big metal ships, dropped bombs from the sky, killed many Talans. What was once the center of wisdom for all of Adelva is now. Well, look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a real laugh riot. Why so serious? And save me. Say that again? Procreon is crawling with a little. Uh, what do you call him? Oh, the Psy. They infested the capital after most of the Talans evacuated. Psy just want a quiet place to live in peace. Well, Psy eat Asiers. Did you know that? We don't know much about Psy, even though they're probably the oldest life forms on Adelpha. I guess living in peace also helps them live longer. If they were persecuted, they would fight or revert, just like the rest of us. Okay, sensitive topic. I gotta go now. Slate out.
Excellent. Fly swatter. Do you have anything for me? One more queen, coming up. You really enjoy this, don't you? Sadly, I'm running out of space to keep more Asiur queens. How about I take this one, and you find yourself a new hobby? See you, Rifar.
Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Do you have anything for me? I've been carrying these larvae around. Can't say I'll miss them. Thank you. Don't hesitate to bring more. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! Here's the plan that Refar gave me. Hmm. Interesting. A plan for an Asir beacon. I could create this for you, but you'd have to bring me the essential parts. I'm on it. Could you help me with beacons? Not really. Recreators used to craft beacons, but I don't see how you could activate them. So they'd be useless. What's the issue? Beacons are spiritual offerings. They must be recreated using the right components and precise instructions on how to combine them. But they can only be activated when in contact with hazardous or, say, hazardous inhabited material. You mean haunted objects? More like sacred? But yes, a good example would be this engraved rock you may have heard of. I think it's located near Emiya. Anyway, it's too big to carry, so kind of useless. Then I'm out of luck. Unless you are a friend of Mar at the Ulakai Museum, which is impossible since Mar has no friends except the Ulakai. And I'm pretty sure that even the tale of their so-called friendship is pretty doubtful. Wait a minute. So Mar can shoot activated beacons? Oh, yards no. Mar can't shoot anything except maybe his foot. But he is in possession of Oru's weapon. A rudimentary device, but infused with Oru's hazardous since the mighty Gorgor reverted him. Mar has it exhibited in his museum, and I'm pretty sure this was not Oru's purpose in life. I see. Help me craft powerful beacons and leave their activation to me. Let me see what you got. I've been busy! Get enough of that stuff. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Let me see what you got. I've been busy.
Now that one's original. I could use that. Not a real gun. A toy made by the Ulukai as a present to Mar, in case Mar would have children, so he could teach them how to fight. But you have no children, right? So... Can I have it? No! Toy was a present. It belongs to the museum. I'll buy it. Come on. Mar could use extra orchids for the rent. Is it human tradition to sell a present? Of course. As soon as somebody gives me a useless gift, boom, I sell it. All right, then. You can have the toy. Visitors are saying that Tale of the Urukai is a children's story. They said this toy proved it because it's not a real gun. Procliana, is still a small hive of talents, but you have revived our hope to restore the buzzy capital of knowledge it once was. This Deruman is our humble contribution to the Talan Greater Union. I will hand it to the Almael on your behalf. Um, no, pun intended, of course. Procriana's Daramon belongs with the Almael. I need to go to Kizar. Clear, mystery man. I deactivated the quantum fence around one of the protective facilities. You should be able to access it now. Why are you helping me? Now's not the time to explain. I need to find the codes for the rest of the bases. Listen, I gotta get back to our dimension. My daughter needs me. How did you get to this world? Uh, through the giant interdimensional portal orbiting the planet. How did you end up here? Uh, you wouldn't believe me. Look, help me reach the orbit. 
personal transport units are hard to come by, but I'll see what I can do. Meanwhile, I sent the coordinates of the base to your map. Signing off. I owe you one, soldier. Thanks. later on. These two hands don't look so happy. There must be a way to activate Palana's master Daoka Ulakai. Even though the pilgrims are not allowed to use it, it's still a useful way to access the village. Can you raid the outpost I marked on your map? It's located near you. Raiding outposts is what I do. You can count on me, Elias. Are you the leader of this place? I am Rumbar, chief of Palana. And you are? Wait a minute. Did you just say your name is Rumbar? Son of Tequilabar. Yes. <laughs> I love you guys. Place is pretty quiet. What are you doing all day? The Darshans are closed, but a few pilgrims like you are still arriving. I listen to their tales and keep track of the Hazardesses they encounter during their long journeys. Hazardesses are like spirits, right? Or souls? Are there a lot of them out there? Unfortunately, yes. I locate the Hazardesses and send my people to guide them back to Palana, in the hope our Daurshams will open once again. Have you met any tormented Hazardesses yourself? How can I help the Hazardesses I come across? If a Hazardess is lost, it only takes some Hazadav to guide it to a Darsham or an Essen Shrine. However, some are stuck at a location, and it will take more to solve their life goal. Every case is different, so you will have to find out for yourself. Hazadav. Sounds important. What is it? It's a sacred incense that burns in between worlds. We use it to guide lost Hazardesses to a Darasham, or to an Essence Shrine. Our Master of Ceremonies, Hirax, can make it, so speak to him if you need some. Do you think your town has what it takes to rise up and fight the invaders? Like the Dolatai Guardians did. No. Their Hazardesses are scattered across the planet, waiting for a reversion that may never come. Sorry to hear that. It's a disgraceful end for Talan. I don't wish it on my worst enemies. I hope we won't all end that way, separated from this world, unable to return our essence to the odds. Talans don't fear reversion, but this is different. This is eternal damnation. What is this place about? Palana is the ancient word for pilgrim. The town is built on the roots of the Essence Vine, which makes it a sacred destination for every Talan who is done with his life. We only got grapevines where I'm from. I would give a lot for a glass of wine right now. Most pilgrims who are visiting Palana have lost their way. Some have lost their mind. You seem to be the latter. Maybe you should have your head checked or speak with Hirax 
and see if he can make sense of what you're saying. I'm interested in the essence, Vine. Hirax could tell you more about it. He is the elected caretaker of the Vine, and the only Talan I know who's connected to all four essences. You must be busy. Next time, then. Sorry to disturb you. May I have a word? Turn back, Pilgrim. You came all the way to this yacht's forsaken place for nothing. Woke up on the wrong toes, huh? I just want to talk. You bet your tiny head you want to talk. I'm Herax, Master of Ceremonies. Pilgrims used to line up to hear my sermons. Now, Palana's an empty shell of its former glory. Hazadov. Yeah, sounds familiar. What is it? It's incense with the scent only Hazadesses can smell. Drags them to wherever you have to guide them. So it's bait. Okay. Can I get some? I saw them making it when the Daoka went down. Why attract more Hazadesses to Palana when there's no Darashams to pass through? Can you make some now? You're persistent, huh? I can't make Hazadov without some Meliorats which are sacred flowers found in Kizar. If I had those and some sap from Z-Dogs, then maybe I could whip something up. I don't see anyone queuing here. Where are the pilgrims? Probably waiting for someone to fix our Daoka. Or is it already fixed? Not my concern. Pilgrimage is supposed to be a long journey on foot. What are the pilgrims seeking here? Probably what you're seeking. Answers. I used to have them all. But those were better moons. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. I hear you used to be more inspired here, Axe. What happened to you? You only become a master of ceremonies after a life of pilgrimage around Adelpha, collecting stories and wisdom from all over the world. It's a sharing process that enriches my four essences. Four essences? I thought every Talan is only supposed to have one. Yes, that is the law of the Yards, but once every life cycle, a male Talan is born with four essences and raised by the Almayel to become the next master of ceremonies. It's an important responsibility to be a good caretaker and a beacon of wisdom for my people. I lost most of it after the invasion. There are all kinds of ways to be inspired. Can't you read a scroll or something? Inspiration comes from hearing the last words of a Talan who's decided to revert, or understanding the purpose of a Hazardess's life. With our villagers isolated and the Darishans closed, the weight of failure is too great. At least there's no invaders in town. But so many Hazardesses, all unable to join with the Yards, and turning the essence vine dry. The invaders are reverting a lot of our people to impose their dominion. And yet, in such violent times, where reverting ceremonies are needed every moon, my last ritual was performed thousands of moons ago. I am useless. You seem perfectly fit. Start getting things done. Get to work, my man. Or you got less brains than a Zork-flavored bowl of rest. Can't you see? The Darashams are closed! Legions of tormented hazardesses are stuck in between worlds. I have nowhere to guide them. I couldn't save the essence vine. I failed in the eyes of our yards. So while other Talans here are the keepers of the Darashams, you are the keeper of the essence vine? More of a caretaker, and not a good one. The origin of its roots are under your feet. With the devoted care of the Master of Ceremonies, that's me, the vine is meant to stretch as far as the Talan can measure. 
That's how it used to be. Back in the moons. But judging by the long face, you don't get a kick from your gardening job anymore. Without reverted essences, the vine suffers. It is now shrunk to its most critical bastion. I don't know if I have what it takes to heal its core. I feel I don't... I know I don't. The essence vine needs a new caretaker. Someone who has the strength to revive its immense power. About that power, could it be used as a weapon against the invaders? You could, if the balance was restored and enough essences were reverted through the four Darishams, the vine would be our strongest attack against the oppressors. But, but what? The Darishams are out of order. Another disaster we can blame the invaders for. So how do we fix them? Speak to the Darisham keepers. They should point you in the right direction. Bye, Hirax. Bye yourself. Hi there. I'm Cutter Slade. Welcome, strong and confident pilgrim. I'm Kor, the Shamas of Palana, and keeper of the Kar Dalrosham. I'm collecting scrolls for Procriana's librarian, Kurak. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procriana. Maybe the one you're reading is one of them. Ah, oh, yes, Kurag. Not the most open minded fellow. Yes, I borrowed it from the library, actually. Ninety shades of car. Great. Can I give it back to him? Well, the late fees on this must be tremendous. Where can I find the car, Darasham? Like the air it represents, the car Darasham has always been invisible. But alas... The invasion has now made the Darosham non-existent. How can you tell the difference? Look down at the bottom of the cliff over there. You'll see poor Hazardesses tormented by their tragic fate. They were once proud Talans who decided to revert without knowing the difference between what is eternal and what is no more. I'm here to prevent more Talans from jumping over the cliff until the Ka Darosham is restored, and I can be its keeper again. Why don't you restore the Darosham? To do that, I would need to travel to the Ka Temple and retrieve the Ka Codex, which I can't. But even if I did, it wouldn't be enough. Meaning you got a bigger rock in your shoe? Let me hear it. What an odd combination of words. I'm referring to the smoke coming out of the invader's factory. It's so thick that it suffocates the car essence. Sometimes we can't even see the moons anymore. The imbalance not only affects the Darosham, I can feel my healing abilities regressing. Every Shamaz is concerned. I would shut down the factory myself if it wasn't so heavily defended. I guess picketing protesters won't do the trick, huh? The smoke may be clouding your reason, Pilgrim. You keep speaking in meaningless sentences that confuse and, dare I say, slightly tease me. Enough said. Show me the factory and let's get this over with. What's a codex? Once per cycle, the sacred codex is brought back to the Temple of Ka so its energy can be replenished by the yards. This energy, in turn, powers the Kardar Sham for a full cycle. So the Codex never made it back from the temple? After the Daro Shams closed, our chief, Rumba, ordered every Codex to be returned to their rightful temple so they could remain in the almighty protection of the yards. They haven't been seen in Talana since. What is this place about? What kind of pilgrim doesn't know about Palana? The special kind, I'm sure. But did you know that the town is built on the roots of the essence vine? 
This is why Talans are coming here to surrender their essence to the odds. Question is, where do I go from here? If you're seeking direction, I suggest you talk to Hirax, Palana's master of ceremonies. I warn you, he's not as charming as I am. The factory. How is it different from the other invader bases? It produces an obscene amount of smoke that not only destroys the land, but poisons the air. I'll show him how to quit smoking. What's wrong with Hirax? Poor Hirax. Even Ashanaz can't heal the wound inside him. Is it in his head? If you mean his mind is about to break, then yes. What happened to him? As the master of ceremonies, not being able to help the needy Talans and Hazardesses has taken a heavy toll on Hirax. He grows more depressed every moon, and I believe he feels responsible for some of the latest incidents. Incidents? What kind? You have to understand. Hirax was once such a beacon of light that pilgrims from all over Adelpha would seek his guidance. I'm here to help. Do you have anything for me? I could tell you the tale of a poor harvester from Emiya who was deeply in love with the widow of a Dolatai guardian. His name was Tuyol. Tuyol was still young, but if the widow rejected his love one more time, he pledged to revert to the Kardarusham, whether active or not. Sad tale. What happened to y'all? Hirax told this poor harvester that to seduce his love, he had to offer her frozen flowers from the highest mountain's peak. To y'all ran off at once, totally unprepared, and never returned. Now it is whispered that to y'all's hazardous is trapped on the mountain, and his anger is causing the terrible ice blizzard that has been reverting so many of our people. I'm always sad to see you go. Yes? Talk to me. I'm a little busy deciphering new symbols we found in the Elue Temple. They're fascinating. Speaking about the temples, the Talans didn't build them, right? The ancients must have used special techniques to raise the four temples. They didn't share their technology with us. How often are they used? There are no codex ceremonies anymore. It has been the only activity in the temple since Palana was built. The mountain village gathers the four essences in one unique location. And yet the Yods chose a temple to bring me back here. I wonder why. The Yods speak in mysterious ways, Ulukai. I have to go now. All right, I'm gonna go after the codex, so I'll have a closer look at the place. Adolfa surely needs his Darushams. Good luck. Leah's out. Oh! It's you! Can we talk about two y'all? Two y'all. Hmm. Romantic to a fault. I only wanted to help him. Poor two y'all. Show me where he is and let's see what I can do. See you later. Greg. I'm writing a fascinating scroll about the Galenta. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to shove it in Rifa's face and remember his reaction for the rest of my life. Another shot of straight-up wisdom. Back in the library. Fizz is dumb? 
I always thought he was, but he reverted before I could tell him to his face. Wisdom. Uh, the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. Well, I know a little more than you, but you get the picture. Here's another page of Asio's research. See you. It's not... Hazardous, you hear me? How's it going? Ah, good moon, pilgrim. My name is Unbak. What do you do here? Ah, <laughs> marvelous question. I've been asking myself that for moons now. Basically, I wait. You wait? I wait. One of these moons, my master Yala will revert, and I will succeed him as keeper of the Ganda Darushan. Until then, I'm just an apprentice, and a very patient one. What is this place? This is Palana. Our town is built on the roots of the Essence Vine, which makes it a sacred destination for every Talan wishing to revert with dignity. I heard it through the Essence Vine. That would make a great cover. Ah, that was a joke. It's okay, these are difficult times for everyone. If you came to Palana for guidance, you can talk to our Master of Ceremonies, Hirax, at your risk and peril. You want your boss gone, huh? Is Yellow a jerk? Ah, <laughs> no, we're all very fond of Yellow. You won't find a quieter Talan in all of Adelpha. I don't remember the last time anyone heard his voice. Okay, some beast ripped his throat out or something? Oh, no, 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 no. He started meditating a few cycles ago, and hasn't moved ever since. Not even a wiggle of a toe. Maybe I can make him move. Go easy on him. Yalo's bones are more fragile than the most ancient scrolls. Mr. Darisham Keeper, sir. Uh, do you hear me? Anyone in there? Yo, man. Uh, young people talk like that where I'm from. Yo, man was my great-great-grandfather. And he was still younger than Yolo when he crossed the Fey Darishan. 
I was checking on your boss, Yalo, and I think you're right. Disco is more active than this guy, and trust me, Disco is pretty dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Yolo has willingly entered a deep meditative state to save his strength for the moon of his reversion. Well, can't you give him a push into the Darosham? Just a little help with the final mile, you know? I can wait. I'm still young, and when the Darosham is finally restored, we'll see what happens. Where's this Skanda Darosham? And how do I get its magic back? The Ganda Darasham is in the sacred cave. But to experience its holy power, the Ganda essence must be restored. Seems I'm the best restorer you got. What should I do? The invaders are destroying our trees and stealing our wood. If they damage the root of the essence vine, Yod's almighty. We lose everything. Do they have a center of operations? We need to hit them where it hurts. Their extraction facility is nearby. I can show you the way. All right. After I smash their toothpick factory, you'll be back to sending hazardesses to the afterlife? Ah. <laughs> Not exactly. We would still need the Ganda Codex, a powerful artifact that connects the earthly location of the Darasham with the spiritual dimension of the Yards. The Ganda Codex? I'm afraid I need a crash course on that. Clearly, you are not a pilgrim. Once per cycle, the four codexes representing each of the four essences are brought back to their respective temples. There, a ritual is performed so the Yods can replenish the power of the Codex and it is returned to the Darasham for another cycle. Easy to understand, yes? No, but why isn't your codex in Polano? Rumbar's orders. He said a codex is safer in its temple, where the Yods can protect them instead of us. The base won't be polluting the soil for a while. Enjoy it while it lasts. Ah, I can feel it in my essence. Thank you for your bravery. You remind me of an old children's tale. Let me guess. The one featuring a fearless savior named Ulukai. Oh, no, 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 no. That one is too silly. I mean the one about the farmer who was never told to wash his feet. Go figure. But Herex ain't the cuddly type? He's seen better moons. A master of ceremonies in a time of no ceremonies is a master of none. If he starts telling you stories about the Umgan cave, be polite and nod, but don't go there. I'm not sure what the Umgan cave is. Umgan was the first keeper of the Ganda Darashan, hundreds of thousands of moons before my time. It is said that Umgan didn't revert in Palana, but in a cave that was named after him. Who's saying that? Hirax. He tells the tale to pilgrims who are seeking Ganda guidance. It is true that the Umgand cave is a sacred landmark, but... What are you trying to say? Every time Hirax tells the tale, he changes the location of the cave. Doing so, he sends those poor pilgrims on wild krakit chases. The latest one, a local fellow, hasn't been seen in a hundred moons. Show me where he was sent to and I'll take a look. How the Yods would I know? You'll have to ask Hirax for that. See you next moon!
you're up here, Axe. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Can you show me where the Umgan cave is? Very funny. Did Umbak tell you to ask about it? Look, I don't need the real location. I'll just go with the one you gave to that poor pilgrim that got lost. I'll show you where it is. Tell him I'm sorry, if he's still alive. Bye, here, Axe. Bye yourself.
Can we talk, my friend? Friend? You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me fill you in. My name is Agiton. I'm in charge of the Fae Darusham. Were you planning to end your life in flames today? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Not that you can, anyway. The Darusham is closed until further notice. Tell me about the Fae Darusham. The Fey Essence is the essence of hunters, Dolotai guardians, soldiers. Although no soldiers remain on Adelpha, this is the gateway through which their reverted essence can reach the Yods, or it used to be. The invaders have screwed with our reversion long enough. What are you going to do about it, Hothead? You should have seen me in my young moons. I would have thrown every last one of them into the volcano since they're so interested in it. Death by lava. Nice, but not my favorite. You're a fighter. Give me one of your weapons and we'll wipe them off at Delpha together. You and me. Whoa, slow down. Don't go breaking a hip on me. Ever since I was a child on Kizar, I've dreamed of being in an epic battle. I was about to join Croax's army, but the Almayel convinced everyone that war is wrong. But this, this is the right war. It should have been my war. And what do I do? Nothing. Yachtim nothing. Well, you don't have to fight on the battlefield to be part of the resistance. There are other ways to contribute. Alana is not powerless. I've heard Rumbar and Hirex discuss the secrets of the Essence Vine. It is our strongest asset. We have to use it as a weapon against the oppressor. How can you do that? Well, I'm not sure. They better share their secrets with me. They're afraid I'd unleash a firestorm. And they're right, I would. If only my Darosham was restored, it would strengthen my essence. Are you a friend of Hirax? Huh. <laughs> Hirax doesn't have friends. If the Ka Darosham was active, he'd be first in line for the leap. That sounds like a ray of sunshine. Don't listen to any of his guidance, Pilgrim. Unless you're desperate for a swim in a volcano. That happened before? Sadly, yes. Ask Hirax about Erebold. I don't want anything to do with his mess. What will it take to get your Darsham up and running? The invaders built a base inside our largest volcano, where they reroute the lava to forge their weapons. To bring harmony to the Fey Essence, their base must be destroyed. But the Yods are more patient than I am. Well, anything they build? I can unbuild. I didn't say unbuild. I said destroyed! I want them turned to ashes! I see your weapons, Pilgrim! The fire in your eyes! You can do this! Maybe. So if I destroy their volcano base, your Darasham can get back to business? Almost. There's one other piece to this puzzle. I will need the Codex from the Fey Temple. We'll need the Yods on our side, and the Codex contains that power. Where can I find the Fey Codex? Once per cycle, the Codex is brought back to the Fey Temple so the Darasham Keeper and the Master of Ceremonies can perform a ritual to recharge it. With enough spiritual energy, the Codex can power the Fey Darasham for a complete cycle. Why did you come back from the temple empty-handed? When the invaders attacked, our chief, Rumbar, ordered the four Codex to be returned to their temples. Now we can't get them back. You came at a bad time, Pilgrim. Business is slow, huh? Slow? Look at this place. Nothing's happening in Palana since these yachtdam invaders landed on our planet. The Yachts must hate me. Hey, don't take it personal. Why would they make me a Darosham keeper, then take away the Darosham? Why would they deny me an honorable fight against our oppressors? Are the invaders causing trouble in Polana? Not directly. I mean, if you don't snoop around their fortress, they won't shoot you. But, yachts above. I dream of showing up on their doorstep with enough firepower to blow them back to the stars. What is this place about? You don't know? Polana is a sacred destination for all those who want to shuffle off this mortal coil and return to the loving embrace of the Yods. 
The town is built on the roots of the essence vine. Did you come here to revert? Look at me. Do I look like a suicidal person to you? Hmm. I see. You're afraid of the final transformation. We get a lot of that. Talk to Hirax, the master of ceremonies. He will ease your confusion. On second thought, he might make it worse. This is Hirax we're talking about after all. Stay calm, Agaton. I'll stay wherever I want to stay. Okay, temper's just gone up a zillion degrees. Here they come. Does the name Tuyol ring a bell? Tuyol? He was in love with one of my Dolatai guardians. But she swore never to be close to a male again after her former lover reverted. Yeah, she turned me down and poor Tuyol is an asset. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm gonna help him revert. I have a present for your friend. Let her know I'm on my way to the camp. I will. Leah's out. This is, but it looks useful.
I'm sorry, miss. Uh, I'm here because of Tuyol. Remember him? Tuyol? I haven't heard that name in many cycles. And this is probably the last time you'll hear from him. He's gone, but not reverted yet. He would have wanted you to have this first. I... I have never seen such a beautiful thing. I thought Tuyol grew tired of me and forgot my existence. Tuyol was, uh, melting for you. Just like this flower here. Uh, I'm sorry if that sounds more cheesy than romantic. I, I was never very good at this. The odds will reunite our essences one moon. Until then, I will never forget his name. Cheer up here, Axe. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Did you happen to meet a pilgrim called Arabald? Arabald. Not a moon passes without him clouding my mind. I don't have the strength to explain what happened. I just need you to tell me where he is, here, Axe. Arabald needed to reconnect with his fey essence, so... I thought a volcano would be the ideal destination for his pilgrimage. That was a mistake. The invaders built this massive base in the crater. I, I should have remembered because someone told me cycles ago. Sending anybody into a volcano is always a bad idea here, Axe. Don't worry. I'll return Arabal before he turns medium rare. Poor two y'all didn't make it. But his hazard has taught me something. You only feel a cold wind blow while you try to hold on to the past. Thank you, Pilgrim. These words are inspiring. This moon will never end. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Hmm, another glowing flower.
You picked the wrong target, Bird. Another essence shrine. Bet there's something sweet inside. Do not keep Kamenai chasing me. to me.
attacking this. You picked the wrong target, Bird. Vertigo. Yikes. Talons can't travel to or from Desan without activating its master, Daoka. The invaders have hidden its core at the top of the village's main pillar. See if you can reach the outpost I'm marking on your map. Consider it done. It's laid out. But it's not done. Is it? It's a confusing figure of speech. I'll give you that. I'm Cutter Slade. Who are you? The name's Nadul. I'm the former chief of Desan. Who's the new chief? The invaders. This village is now an occupied state. Anyone who comes here must be stupid or asking to be reverted. Which one are you, stranger? 
Well, my ex would say stupid. This may sound crazy, but I've been sent by the Yods. I think. The Yods? They have abandoned us. Who's giving you orders? Not who, but what. The invaders are machines without essence. Their ever-present drones watch us from above and shoot us when we step out of line. You would think we could deliver enough Halidium to sate their appetite, but no. The more we provide, the more they demand. Not even our animals can escape the misery. Their damn toxic waste poisons our non-noms. The invaders are filthier than sewer rats. I'm not sure what you mean, but if you are referring to Damani, we don't have those filthy rodents in Disan. Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. For a toxic waste dump, your village looks pretty clean. The invaders dump all their waste at the foot of the northeast pillar. A steaming junkyard infested by vicious packs of krakits. I should get rid of this waste, but even with Daoka's back on, I would have a hard time finding any volunteer for early reverting. What's the problem with the Nom Noms? Save your questions for the other villagers, stranger. If they start to trust you, perhaps I will trust you as well. But you're their leader. Shouldn't he be working the other way around? Formal leader. In the sun, trust is even more precious than food. If you're sent by the Yods, prove it by helping us. Bring a little faith back to these forsaken lands. I could start by getting rid of the Krakens. Can you describe them to me? Can you describe fear? Only vaguely, and we never really met. Let me get rid of yours. You sound brave. Or brain damaged. Either way, a little toxic radiation shouldn't be a problem for you. If you clean up this mess, this sand will be in your debt. Destroy any toxic barrels you can find. <laughs> Hold on. How toxic is toxic? I don't want to glow in the dark. Or maybe I do. That'd be kind of cool. But seriously, what's in it for me? The invaders are throwing all kinds of useful things in their trash. Help us steal these treasures and we'll share them with you. Well, it's not stealing if it comes from the trash. Rule number one on the mean streets of Cincinnati. I can't handle more drama right now. You mind keeping your personal tragedy to yourself? Right. Focus on the trash. What did you do in this village? The massive pillars we stand on are filled with different varieties of halidium, the most precious elements in Adelpha. We used to mine the pillars and extracted the halidium for our own benefit. Doesn't look like the mining stopped. We are now slaves, mining for the invader's profit. We're too starved and weak to offer any resistance. I don't know about you, but I'm always grumpy on an empty stomach. How could we enhance the mood around this place? It's too late. We're as good as reverted. Thanks for your time, Chief. I'm gonna have a look around. Carmelia, brave one. Weaz, you hear me? What is it? The people of Dasan are in trouble. Yes, they're the most isolated village since the Daokas went down. And the invaders are using them to mine the pillars. Their cruelty makes me sick. All people here are suspicious of strangers. I need a way to gain their trust. Any ideas? The chief is a good talon. I think the others look up to him. Do what he says, and you should be fine. But he wants me to talk to the other talons. Then talk to them. I'm sure they report back to him. Desan follows a certain code. You need to play by their rules. All right, I'll try to mingle then. Slate out. Can we talk? I could use a friend right now. My friends bring me food. You got something to eat? Ah, uh, I don't, sorry. We ain't friends then, not beat it. Nadul is nice. What do you mean, nice? 
eating a duel is nice. What? No, I would never do that. It's okay. I know some people in Disan who are hungry enough to eat in a duel. Are you serious? Hunger shouldn't turn them into cannibals. Relax, it's just Nadu. I've eaten worse things. But I like Nadu. You're a weirdo. Stay frosty. In the summer? How? Too much already. Easy left now. Yay. Hard right coming up. Oh, left again. Oh, slow. Now continue straight. Oh boy, what is this one doing? Wow, smells funny in here. What's up with you? I'm not here. Uh, okay, I see you though. My body's here, but my mind's cruising the metaverse. And we are happy. Did you smoke something? Oh, just plants. I wouldn't be a good alchemist if I didn't get silly on my own supply. <laughs> I'm Draud. What's up? What's wrong with the Nom Noms this time? They got shot, man. Talons have shamazes. But these poor creatures don't have Zork, so they just die. There must be a cure. Can't you come up with something? No, uh, I wouldn't know where to start. But I heard rumors about a nut job, some kind of beast whisperer who fixes animals. I, I forget which village he's in. Since no one in Dasan's been able to solve this, you might want to try your luck with him. Zanat mentioned him a couple times. Maybe he could tip you off. Should I bring the vet here once I find him? Not sure what a vet is, but no tourist would last more than a moon working those pillars. If you bring me the recipe of a cure and its ingredients, I could certainly whip something up for you. I'll even test it on myself first. I love new experiences. <laughs> I spoke with Nadul. Whoa, T. I want the same thing you're taking. What? You're not making any sense right now. Says the guy who spoke with dirt. <laughs> respect, my friend. Talk about respect. That's your leader you're talking about. Whoa, whoa, now that's intense. Even for me. All right, whatever. Dasan seems like a tough place to start a greenhouse. Pretty rocky around here. It's true. I had to diversify my business. I mix my plants with, uh, Stones, oil, and nom nom mucus to create bombs and, um, other products. I'm also brewing my own variety of black lampe. I call it, uh, guar lampe. You might have heard about it. How strong is this guar lampe drink? Ooh, very strong. It'll flip you on your back. Lampe to the max. It won't fix your crushed foot or broken arm but it will make your stomach as strong as ancient steel, which is a pretty good side effect in a town with no food. After a few shots of Guadalampe, you're able to eat pretty much anything and survive. Bandage broth, rotten crocket steaks, oil dessert, or my all-time favorite, dirt souffle in a work pants sauce. It sounds disgusting. What does it taste like? Well, that's the second side effect. Guadalampe makes your taste buds disappear. Hmm, you don't taste anything at all. And don't get me started on the third side effect. Ooh, yacht, damn. 
Let me guess, a massive hangover? <laughs> You're funny, dude. You know how Talons have 11 senses, but they can't use their 11th sense until they lose one of their other 10, right? One sense goes away, and boom! It is immediately replaced with the next one in line. Ah, uh, no. What's this 11th sense called? It's a pretty new find. Couldn't come up with a consensus name yet. We call it 11 for now. It's like feeling the nature of things around you. You start to know stuff you didn't know existed, like where these things are, their exact place in the universe. Like, after a few shots of Guadalampe, miners start locating the helidium hidden in the pillars with their minds. Hmm. It's deep, man. Wow, that stuff must be pretty popular around here. I'm surprised that you're not brewing it every day. I'll have to soon. Ever since the invaders took our Shamaz, this town's drinking more Guadalampe than ever before. You won't feel the pain if you drink enough, I guess. I ran out of ingredients. I need to restock fast. What do you need to brew fresh Guadalampe? I'm sorry, but no matter how blazed I am, I'm not going to share my secret recipe with anyone. Why do you want to brew it? I'm thinking about drinking it myself. I could use some of the side effects. Also, I haven't had a real drink in ages. Uh, no offense, dude. You're not a Talon. Who knows what Guadalampe could do to your senses. I don't want you to go blind so you gain something lame, like the ability to talk backwards or something. Don't drink it unless you absolutely need to. Well, Drowd, you can either run out of booze as the revolution grinds to a halt, or you trust me to help. What do you say? Oh, might as well trust you then. If you get me some Lampe, some Dark H, and the blessing from the LOA Darsham Keeper, I'll brew a new batch. Cool? Where can I grab some Lampe? Not in Dasan, that's for sure. The village of Bida has the most famous Lampe. They deliver planet-wide, if you can place an order. Which I can't, because I'm a slave and I'm stuck here. How much does it cost? I guess that depends. Does the brewery in Bida still exist? I haven't heard from those guys in a while. You should talk to Marzo over there. What about Dark Halidium? Relax, dude. You're spending too much time with Bra. Dark H is an essential ingredient in alchemy. I use it in almost everything I create. So don't hesitate to bring more. Oh, boy. A Darsham Keeper? Why do you need a blessing to brew a drink? Oh, dude, Warlampe is addictive. Talons can get hooked to it just like that. Abuse it too much and you get reverted. A Darsham Keeper has the power to bless every fresh barrel of Warlampe and remove their lethal effects. Something to do with the LOA essence? Don't ask. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd heard the craziest this place has to offer. Do you have anyone in particular in mind? Go to Palana and ask for, uh, what's his name? Ude. If we're lucky, he's still the L.O.A. Darsham keeper down there. He knows the drill. Leaving already? storage.
Look at that view. Move it, Blade. They're coming. Oh, come on! Good to go. Run as fast as you can. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fast. I used to be a racer in Desan. I won the Silver Cup at the Nam Nam event back in the moons. All right, champ. I'll see you on the tracks then. What's up, pal? You must be taking me for somebody else. My name is Brom, not pal. You're right. I'm being too familiar. The name is Cutter Slade. Cutting what now? Why are the invaders taking prisoners? Hard to tell. Maybe they want to scare us into working harder. They keep the prisoners alive. I know that. How do you know that? Look, every second I talk to you, I'm not working. And if the drones see me not working, you're gonna talk to my hazardous next time. Why do you work for the invaders? What choice I got? Don't know how many alien invasions you got in your neck of the woods, stranger. But this one sucks, okay? Every talent here is forced to collect the smaller crystals that they can't dig with their monster machines. Try to run, you get reverted. Try to fight, you get reverted. Or worse, made their prisoner for a while until you get reverted. You know anything about making bombs? Now that's a peculiar question. Yeah, I messed around with explosives before the invasion, carving out mining tunnels on one of the pillars. 
but the tunnel was threatening the integrity of the structure, so our former chief canceled the project. Your former chief? You mean Nadul? Nadul? <laughs> what a funny thing to say. You messing with me? So, drones are terrorizing Dasan. Sure. You can call it terrorizing. You'd be terrorized, too, if you saw what they did to my friends. I could shoot a few down if it helps. Be my guest. Those damn drones are shooting at the Talan and the Nom Noms without any discrimination. I don't even know how McCann could still... Okay. Enough said. I have to get back to work. What do you do here? What do I do? Well, I studied mine engineering in Procriana and rose through the ranks to become the head of quarry operations here in Desan. But now, I work the pillars for Helidium, so the invaders don't shoot me. Fun. Do you know Nadul? Uh, kind of. Why? So can we talk? About... Yeah, you like Nadul? Not really, no. You got some gross thoughts in your head, funny one. Can we move on? Um, okay. Baram from Sapa told me we should talk. Sorry, stranger, I haven't set three toes in Sapa. Don't know no Baram. Uh, you're Brom, right? Baram said you studied engineering together in Procriana. You got the wrong Brom. Now if you excuse me, I gotta get back to work. See ya. I'm standing right here. Of course you see me. Yo! Okay, that sounded the opposite of cool. I don't have the patience to learn new words today. Sorry, friend. What is it this time? The freaking drones. They shot at the Nom Noms. Some of them are in critical condition. God damn it! <laughs> no disrespect, but Nom Noms are kind of weaklings, aren't they? They're my bread and butter. That's what they are. I don't know if you had a look around, but there is no bread and no butter in Dasan. Soon there won't be any nom-noms, either. All right, I'll blast any drone I can find, then. No! The most urgent thing is to find a way to heal the nom-noms. Can you ask around the village for any kind of cure? I can't do it. I owe Zorkins to basically everyone here. Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. What do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? You can't organize a race without a Shamans and healthy Nom Noms. I'm looking for a guy who used to run races here in Dasan. Did a little gambling on the side. Ring a bell? Depends. Who wants to know? <laughs> well, I do. You do? I don't know you, stranger. Maybe Makan took a long walk off a tall pillar. Maybe he's my second cousin, twice removed. I didn't mention his name. So you were Makan. I didn't say I was. Maybe I only heard of him, just like you did. Stay frosty. In the summer? How?
Nadul. You're talking to me? I don't see any other Nadul here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're funny. And strange. By strange, I assume you mean mysterious with roguish good looks. No. More like funny in a strange way. Which is good. We don't have a lot of fun in this, son. It's refreshing. The villagers agree, so let's talk. So, what's bugging your non-noms? Non-noms are born under the sea with a small amount of levitating gas inside them. As they grow, the gas gland grows, allowing them to rise out of the sea and float into the sky. When they get old, they go up, up until they disappear into the moons. I read a scroll once explaining how non-noms process elements from their environment to produce the levitating gas. That's a lot of precise information there, Chief. Are you saying the toxic air in the junkyard is poisoning the nom-noms? Yes. The junkyard is killing them slowly. The waste must be cleaned and someone has to get rid of the toxic barrels down there. But it's infested with krakeets, so there's only so much I can do. Why do you care so much about nom-noms anyway? Nom-noms were part of something that defined the spirit of this village. If you want to know more, go find Makan and ask him. I can help you with your little recycling issue, but I'll need you to scratch my back too, Chief. Massages were never my thing. You wouldn't like the rugged fingers of a miner on your back, trust me. We'll share whatever treasure we... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll take a scrap or two, but I mean, can you use your authority to make your people trust me? They need to know we're fighting on the same team. There are many ways for a stranger to become popular in this, son. Ask Makan about the nom, nom races. Way to blow off my question, Nadul. I was asking you. Oh, and one more thing. This is very important. Tell Makan that Gamak sent you. Huh? Who is Gamak? I am. I gave you a fake name until I could trust you. Nadul is not even a Talan name. It's what you dig out of your ears with your longest nail. You got me going around town talking about Irgunk? This is not over, Chief. Just tell Makan you spoke with Gamak, okay? Say the phrase, Kamilia Makan. He'll open up to you. What's up with the Nanoms? Some of them got shut up so badly, they can't be used for Zort. Yo damned invaders are so cruel. Why don't they let those poor animals be? Can you patch them up? Me? Are you serious? How would I do that? There's gotta be someone who can fix them, right? Maybe Draud could come up with some kind of cure. One time, we all got worms eating rotten morax, and Draud made a cream to rub on our... Whoa, TMI, Nadul. I'll go talk to him. TMI? Is that what you call the worms in your... TMI means too much information. I got it. I'll talk to Draud. What do you use Halidium for? For a lot of things. Talans haven't discovered all the uses of Halidium yet, and maybe they never will. It is said that the ancients left Adelpha without a complete knowledge of Helidium, and they occupied this planet much longer than we have. That must be the reason why the invaders are occupying your planet, too. They're after Helidium's secret powers. Some are known. Helidium can hurt, it can heal, it can make your life a dream or a nightmare. Talk to Brom. He is our Helidium expert. Say to him the words, Carmelia Brom. He'll understand. So about that scroll you read, the Nom Nom scroll, did that happen to come from the Dano Library in Procreana? I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kureg. <laughs> Guy can't hear a thing. It did come from Procreana, but... Look, I'm only collecting them so good old Kureg can rebuild the library. I borrowed it moons ago. I'm well aware of the late fees, and I can imagine it's not raining Zorkins in Dasan, so I'm not gonna squeeze you, Nadul. Relax. Okay. If you help me clean the junkyard, I'll return part of the scroll. Part of the scroll? Why not the whole scroll? I only have that part left. I ate the other part. That's how hungry we are around here. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that'll do. So long, Nadul. <laughs> It's still funny.
Stormy Brom. And to you, friend. Nadul told me to say that. What does it mean? <laughs> That's a good one. Baram told me you know a thing or two about bombs. Well, I can slap together a jar and a detonation system, but a bomb would still need explosive powder. Explosive powder just happens to be one of Drahud's recipes. So you should probably ask him. Tell him you spoke to both Gamak and myself, and we trust you. Or better yet, just greet him with the phrase, Carmelia Drought. He's part of the revolution. Why do the invaders take prisoners? They must be using him for something. I was one of them, but I didn't stay long enough to figure out why they were keeping me alive. It seems the drones can't see the difference between one Talan and the other. Heck, they even shoot the non nons Well, I just had to change my clothes to avoid being caught again. Did you communicate with the invaders? I tried to, but I couldn't figure out their language. They sound like Twanhas copulating in a mud pit. You never forget that sound. If you got out, others can too. Well, not without a little help. But we can't give any because if we show a hint of rebellion, poof. Reverted by drone fire. It's too risky. That being said, I see you're carrying some fancy weaponry. You could serve the revolution and free our people. That would make you the ultimate badass. How do you know I'm not the ultimate badass already? I sure as hell am busy enough. If every prisoner memorizes the plan of his outpost, we could easily steal from the bases later on. I could lead the operation, and we'd share our loot with you. If you work with us, that is. Oh, wow. Tolan Ops, that's got some heft. Okay, I'm in. I can use some of the halidium they're keeping, plus some other goodies. Release the prisoners, and we have a deal. There's a cell in every outpost around the sand. We'll send them back to loot the bases for you as part of the Talan Ops. Nadul, I mean Gamak, seems to care a lot about Nom Noms. Do you know why? Gamak and Makan used to make a lot of Zorkins together. Makan was organizing Nom Nom races, and Gamak was one of his first champions. Now the Nom Noms are sick, and the races can't happen. No race, no fun, no reward. It's a big hit for both of them, and for Desan's morale in general. Anything I should know about Draud? Draud burned his brain out on experimental substances. Don't worry if he seems a bit loopy. He's one of the finest alchemists on Adelpha, and one of Okastok's official suppliers. Okastok? Sounds like Woodstock. Not that I've ever been there. Is Woodstock a sexy festival? Because Draud's a real doctor of love. So you're some kind of rebel, and working for the invaders is your cover? Sure is. They're not suspecting a thing. We keep delivering the H to their bases, but each time we remember the doors, the storage rooms, waiting for the right time to strike back. The invaders caught me once, though. What did you do? I was in the middle of sabotaging one of their drones. Not a fun time. I thought they were going to revert me. They threw me in one of their cells instead. What can your Talan Ops do for me? Nothing yet. They need to drink Guadalampe and Drahud's barrels are dry. What do you mean? Guadalampe gives us a bit of a, what do you call it? Eleventh sense. Sensing the exact location of the loot is the best way to operate. Drahud can explain this better than I can, but here's what you'll get from me. Our eleventh sense is how I've managed to optimize the work in Desan. You feel the kind of Helygium you're looking for, and just go right for it. Boom. Talans usually have ten senses? Of course. How many do you got? Me? The same. The same. Why would I have less senses than you guys? <laughs> uh, the drone patrol's a problem. Uh, there are a bunch of armored killers in the sky. Yeah, I think they're a problem. Take them down if you can. It will help our revolution. 
How do you feel about the invaders taking over Dasan? How do I feel? I feel we need to fight these bastards before they revert us all. I know a way to do it. What's that? Stealth. I know how to sneak into their bases without getting caught. I even mapped some of their outposts in my head. They stole everything from us. We can do the same to them without being noticed. Isn't stealing from the invaders dangerous? Not if we're properly organized. It won't happen in one moon. We are committed. Who's we? More than half the population of Desan are rebels, waiting for the right time to strike. And you're talking to their leader. Have you been stealing anything? My Talan ops are on it, but there's been setbacks. Oh, you you do know Baram from Sapa, don't you? Of course I do. How's old Baram doing? Busy with Sapa's uprising. He's got a great plan, using ventilopes to drop bombs from the sky. Only thing he's missing is the bombs. Hmm. Does sound like a great plan. I think our village has everything you need to manufacture bombs. And you never thought about using bombs against your oppressors? What would we do with them? Kick the explosive jars at the invaders like we're playing foot rock? At least Sapa has the ventilopes, so we could coordinate with them. For a price. How much are we talking about? Too early to tell. Don't want to put the carriage before the Twanha. First, let's see if we can make a bomb without blowing ourselves up. Thanks, Brom. I'm heading out. I'll be here if you need me. giant bong! Definitely not the trip I signed up for. Tell me the original idea, then. I was trying a new recipe with uh, Tick and Meptar, and, uh, sword. That stuff is so unstable. Look at all that smoke! I couldn't see a thing. A thick smoke screen. That's it. Drought, could you do this again? Or no, even better. Could you create some kind of smoking projectile? What's the point? The smoke doesn't get you high, bro. Brahms Talan Ops could use smoking grenades to create a diversion. No one would see their little robbery operation. Carmelade, Raoud. And to you, my friend. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. Hey, Droud. You still need me for anything? I'm still waiting for that lampe I sent you out for. Right. Coming up. You told me you had a plan to make those smoke grenades I told you about. Yeah, yeah, smoke grenades. Uh, I, I, I got most of the necessary ingredients, but I still need ticking meptar. I need it fresh. And it doesn't stay fresh very long. Can you get some? Oh, and Bugats. The more Bugats you can find, the better. You mentioned ticking Meptar. What is that? It's a vegetable, growing at the top of the northeast pillar. Once it's cut, ticking Meptar loses its nutrients very fast, so you have to glide your way back here, bingo-bango, or you just end up with a useless plant. Where can I find these Bugats? They grow in a forest south of Emilia. These mushrooms are explosive, dude. Literally. <laughs> so tread softly when you get near them. 
You ever make explosive powder? You don't want to eat that. <laughs> I won't. Brom's making some bombshells to send to Sapa. He just needs something to fill him with. Okay, sure. Revolutions are cool, and the moons of the flowers revolution are way behind us. I'm down for something stronger. But to make the bombs go boom, I'll need boogots. What's a boogot? What's a boogot? The mushroom, dude. Come on. An O. Oh, I also need dark collidium. A lot of it. Ask Brom about the old dark age. He'll complain, but just tell him I need it. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, my latest creation is kicking in. <laughs> mm, I'm off my nips. Is my mouth still on my face? Oh, boy. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. <laughs> nah, no space left. Alien spiders. Not sure what it is exactly. Marzo. Mirko came back with faith fruits, which are extremely dangerous. You sure you guys know what you're doing? I'm putting all my trust in your son. He's the brains of the operation. Don't blow up anything, okay? The son's in desperate need of Lampe. Can you send some? No can do. If you send Lampe through a Daoka, it comes out the other end tasting like Twanha piss. I can't send a convoy of the pillars, either. Not by land. Does it really taste that bad? You ever licked a gua of a ventilope? This tastes worse. Not my thing, but I get the feeling it won't be an issue for the people of Dasan. The taste, I mean. Yad's a bulb. Is it that bad there? I heard rumors of slavery. Dasan is ten times worse off than Bida. 
Come on, Marzo. They're Talan, you're Talan. They need your help. I'll send whatever they need. Who should I talk to over there? That would be Draud. <laughs> oh, I know Draud. He's still selling blue hair. Maybe I'll ask him for a couple of crystals for the next Orchestock. Another son to help me run this brewery would be nice. Maybe a trade-off is possible. Well, I'm sure you two can work out an arrangement. So, can I count on you? I'm your Talon. Tell Draud it's coming. I'll have Mirko prepare a shipment soon. Mirko's no safer in Bida than anywhere else on this planet. You have to let him go so he can follow his own path. And become a recreator in Procreana? Are you insane? The invaders are hunting recreators for sport. There's no way I'm letting my son revert for some stupid dream. He could be a big help to the cause. What cause? My only cause is Lampe, and Mirko is a big help with making Lampe. Bye. So long, stranger. I've inhaled poison gas that smelled better than that plant. Do not need Kamenai chasing me. Yeah, this is gonna hurt.
Ooh, you're really gonna hate me now, circus bots. to blow up the greenhouse. <sighs> Brahm's a cool name. Where does it come from? From my parents? Where you think it comes from? The moons? Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, focus. How much you want for the bombs? Sapa doesn't have much to offer. They're suffering from the same invasion you are. A bomb for a fish. How does that sound for a trade? I could make that happen. Especially if you like Senecta. Senecta tastes like Zort. But my gourmet days are far behind me. We'd be happy with any food not coming from the junkyard. We have a deal then. We know the drone patrol's routines, so organizing transport through the Dahoka shouldn't be an issue. Should I send the first shipment now? I have to go. See you next moon! Slade, nice to meet you. 
I thought I had a funny name, but you beat me to it, Pilgrim. I'm Uday. Drow sent me. He needs you and Dasan to bless his barrels of Guarlambe. He told me his sauce could be lethal without your help. He's pretty worked up about it, and it's urgent. Ooh, a trip to the Pillars City. What a dream. Knock. <clears throat> anyway, let me grab my canteen and some water for the road. Okay. So you're coming? Gualampe is as good as Kraket poison if I don't steal Drow's barrels with an LOA ruin. Now imagine I take a pass and Palana gets overwhelmed with hundreds of Dasan hazardesses. His problem becomes my problem, you see? This is why I'm telling Hermos that Atalan should never postpone his chores. Remind me who Hermos is again? My assistant! Where is Hermos when you need him, huh? Always avoiding work. That's it. I'm taking his brother email with me this time. Let's do this. Are you spending a lot of time with Hirax? Not really. He's a bit of a drag. I've been avoiding him lately. You don't talk to him? How do you guys do your spiritual business then? Email? You met email. He was one of my apprentices, yes, but I had to let him go because I can't employ two assistants in the current economy, you know? <laughs> so I sent Ermos, my other apprentice, to talk. Let him deal with Herax's gloom and doom. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Ermos since he spoke to Herax a few moons ago. You didn't know he was missing? He could just be hiding somewhere to avoid his chores. Wouldn't be the first time. If you talk to Herax, Please ask him if he knows where Ermos is. I need my apprentice to keep an eye on the Darasham in case one of those urinating pilgrims shows up. What's your deal, Uday? I'm the keeper of the Eloe Darasham. If you're seeking to end your life, you're at the right place. At the wrong time. The Darasham is currently closed. What's the deal with this place? This is the town of Palana, built on the roots of the Essence Vine. All Talans who are ready to complete their lives make a pilgrimage to this sacred haven. Well, you would think they would want to revert at home in their bed watching TV or something. Never watch a TV, you fool! And don't bring any to your home either. You'd risk burning your eyes. You seem confused, pilgrim. You should seek the guidance of Herax, our master of ceremonies. What is the Eloe Darasham about? Ooh, a learner. Exciting. Well, some Talans visit Darashams when they have decided to complete their lives. Talans with the Eloe essence come here, to the Eloe Darasham, to revert back to the water from whence they came. But since the Darasham is closed, their hazardesses are trapped on Adelpha, unable to reach the yards, lost and tormented. Seems like the yards want me to fix your Darasham, so... What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You must have come across the lake over there. I can't count the number of pilgrims I've caught urinating in that lake for yards' sake. You travelers come here, drink a lot of our water, then run to the lake to... What the... Yeah, damn it! Okay, listen, I promise that I didn't... relieve myself in your lake, okay? Why don't you tell me what the problem really is? It's not just a lake! Hello? It's the Eloe Barasham. The sacred gateway connecting our physical world to the eternal realm of the Yards? The invaders are polluting it with their waste and degrading its essence. If I make them stop, will you chill? Yes, I'll chill. Two times, three times. You can find them at their putrid fortress behind the lake, but... But what? Talk to me, Uday. Even if you stop the polluting, the Eloe Codex would still be far from Palana. The Codex is the Darasham's power source. So I'll find this codex and bring it back to you. You good with that? By the yards, yes! It has enough spiritual energy to power the Eloid Darasham for a whole cycle. Why don't you have it now? 
After the Darashem went down, our chief Ramba ordered every codex to be returned to their temple. And there they stay, under the protection of the yards. Goodbye, Ude. Those cycles spent studying the art of sacred calligraphy in Procriana, and here I am, blessing dirty barrels of liquor. You're the best, Ude. Until next time. There won't be a next time, Draud. I'm busy in Palana, and I can't trust my assistant Ermos to handle the Darasham while I'm gone. This is a one-time thing. But I'll have more barrels of Guarlampe ready soon. I need your magic touch, dude. I knew you would say that. So, I brought a second assistant with me. Email here can stay in this arm. He'll bless your next batch, and the one after that. I taught him how to draw the sacred rune of Elloway. That's great. Come on, Email. Take a little sippy sip. I also taught him never to take a sippy sip. So, is it ready? Nadul is the only way to find out. Nadul? Ew. What do you mean, Nadul? Ew! What the hell, man? Gross. It tastes like perfect nothing. Guarlampe is served. Yikes. Guarlampe smells worse than regular Lampe. Easy with the jars, guys. We're almost done. Remember to load them slowly, one bomb at a time. What part of one bomb at a time didn't you understand? This will take all moon if we don't speed things- Ow. Ah! Bozort! Bozort! If the bomb hits the cart, we're all meeting with the yachts! Take cover! I got this. Trapping. A pico. And catch! Uh, that's impressive reflexes, Brom. And a legwork. First league. Fifteen cycles of foot rock payoff. I used to play defense. I want you on my team, champ. Now go. And be very cautious with the shipment. I hope the Ventilope Club and Zap know what it's doing.
okay, Baram. Thanks for the contact in Dasan. He came through. I'm glad he survived. How is Brom? He's holding up. Sends you his best. Yes? Best what? It's... Never mind. Are we moving forward with our plan? Yeah, but if we want more bombs, you'll have to start organizing Senecta shipments to feed Dasan. The miners are willing to trade. I'll ask the Fisher to lands to prepare something. Now, we need a targeting system for the bombs, but that's not your problem. Here's what you can help out with. We'll be much stronger if Unair tames more ventilopes. Give him a hand, will you? I'm with you. If you design the beacon, I can use Oru's gun to mark the bombing area so the ventilopes can spot it from the sky. Hmm. Filling Krakit glands with female ventilope oil could work. Adding green halidium to increase the beacon's radius wouldn't be half bad either. But I don't have the skills to assemble all that myself. I can draw a plan with a list of ingredients, but you have to find someone else who can help with the production. Good talking to you, Bram. Same here. Hey, Lias. I have plans. I also have plans. I'm sharing a meal with my ventilope tonight. Sounds romantic. And awkward. I mean, Baram gave me plans. Instructions on how to build a beacon to trigger ventilope bombings. I didn't know you could build such things, Ulukai. Yeah, well, I can't. I have to find someone to help me with that. You should try your luck in Procreana, then. I have to go. My ventilope is hungry. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! Look at this plan, Nurkan. All the way from Baram and Sapa. I need this to bomb our enemies. Can you build it? Let me see. A Ventolo beacon. Interesting. Very interesting. Combined with bombs. Is that what you said? Nice! I could build this, but you'd have to supply the necessary components. Deal? Deal. I'll get on it. Later, Nurkan. Later to you. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Later, Nurkan. Later. It's you! Have you seen Ermos? We were just having a casual conversation about how many stones I would pocket to sink my body to the bottom of the lake. Ermos has a thing with numbers. I don't remember him mentioning... Oh, no. 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 No! 
What is it? Ermos hadn't taken a bath in hundreds of moons because of the polluted Darosham. He told me how his essence was missing clean water, and I, I just mentioned the oasis without... Without what? The oasis used to be one of the most popular landmarks for LOA pilgrims, but that was before it got infested with Z-Dogs. Show me where the oasis is, and I'll get him back. This moon will never end. Good job, Hirax. Hazadab is all I need to guide the Hazadesses to the Darasham.
Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Let me see what you got. I've been busy. Alan. Unair is now safe and sound. I heard. Well played, stranger.
Staying true to my word, I hereby deem you an honorary prospect of the Ventolo Club. Prospect? Important topic number one. Now that the Ventolo Club is attracting more members, we need to establish a hierarchy. A hierarchy for three members? Well, it's a start, damn it. I got dibs on president. Unair is volunteered to be secretary, and you will be our prospect until you earn your place. <laughs> Whatever floats your boats, Alan. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon. This Daruman combines the sweet blessings of the sky and the bitter salt of the sea. A fragile gift that holds a greater power. I would only trust it in the hands of our worthiest ambassador. I'm honored, Salad. I'll bring this to Kizar myself. Sapa's Daramon can break easy. Should deliver it to Kizar ASAP. It's me again. So it is. The same message, unchanged. May the Yods favor your quest for our sake. You have returned. Let me get this straight. To save you from extinction, the Yods want me to put on some kind of Woodstock festival? Celebrating Akastok will allow males and females to unite, and only through unity can we survive this invasion. Ask Nefaim how you can help with the preparations. Like what? Choose the bands? Design the poster? The Almayel has half spoken. I guess not. Let's talk to Saren, then. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. You have returned. More and more Talans are about to join their essence in the biggest Akasok Adelpha has ever seen. The Yods must be pleased.
Hi there. Mirko, do this. Mirko, do... Are you gonna make the Garandar beacon? Uh, no. You have the gun to shoot the beacon, so that's good. But we need the skills of an expert maker. A recreator. They all got reverted during the Prokuriana attack, but I heard rumors of survivors. Take these plans. If you find a recreator, you'll need the plans to create the beacon. Once you get it, come back to me and we'll figure out... Let's train a Garandar. It's go time, dude! Hand me a beacon and I'll show you how to do this. Yeah, I don't have one. Uh, come back when you do! What is this, amateur... I found the last recreator. Not the bravest guy, but he's got skills. What? That's amazing! Does he need an assistant? I don't know. Marzo needs you here, right? Yeah, but, I mean... <sighs> Forget it. Look, when everything's said and done, I'm sure Nurkan will be delighted to have a brain like yours around his workshop. It's just not the right time. <sighs> you sound like my dad. The son of a brewer becomes a brewer. Who will teach your son to become a brewer? Blah, blah, blah. I heard it a thousand... See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. I'm here. I'm sending you new coordinates. You want to reach this location as I got a lot on my plate, soldier. What's this about? I don't know, but the general himself is en route. Whatever my people found in that town, it must be important. All right, I'll have a look. Stay clear of any Alpha officer. Jack Burham wants you alive. I'm a Navy SEAL trained in advanced surveillance and stealth techniques. No one is catching me alive, nor dead. Slate out. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir! Check this out, Nurkan. A guy in Bida named Mirko gave me this plan. Ah, yes. It looks like... a plan for a Garandar beacon. Intriguing. I could create this for you, but you would have to supply the essential parts. I'll get to it then. Let me see what you got. I've been busy! Slay to Liaz. I'm in Bida, and I got news. Yes, Ulukai? My friend Mirko here came up with a device that can unleash Garandars on our enemies. Very impressive. But Mirko, you say? Never heard of him. Who is he? He's the son of Marzo. Young. Smart as a whip. A brewer's son with those kinds of skills. Interesting. Yeah. The, uh, the kid wanted to become a recreator before shit hit the fan. He's pretty good. You should meet him sometime. in Procriana. Yod Elwe truly guided their hands. Procriana, huh? Home of the recreators. I gotta go, Liaz. Slate out. Walk with the Yods, Ulakai.
We found more of these, but none of them are functional. Another rebel trying to copy our weapons. Embarrassing. We have to eliminate this savage before he gets it right. He's got to be here somewhere. Jack Borum. Search the perimeter! Okay, well, that's my cue to get Don't out. Don't move! Really? How did you spawn right behind me? Caught an intruder! Hey, Jack. We gotta stop meeting like this. I... I don't understand. How many of you are here? Tired of offing me, ah. Huh? No matter how many times you try, I'm gonna get my daughter back. I will never stop. Shoot him! You already fooled me once. Twice. No more. Camilla, talk to me. Goddamn piece of junk isn't working. You know where my little girl is? Forget about her. This will be over soon, Slade. Not until I say so, coward. Guardians told me of the battle in Procriana. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, invaders were here again. They think someone in Procriana is manufacturing weapons, or rather, trying to copy theirs. Impossible. The recreators were exterminated. Every last one. I wouldn't be so sure. You have to investigate further, Ulukai. 
Someone in Procreana must know something. You're right, but let's not discuss this topic on the comm link. They may be listening. Just lay down. Hi there. I got a beacon ready for our little experiment. Really? Are you ready to train a Garandar now? It worked! This should do the trick and attract a Garandar for the training. Whoa. What was that? That is the craft, my friend. Recreator stuff. I was learning from old scrolls, though. I could use some updated instructions. Oh, way to go, Marco. You got skills. Thank you. The device is basic, but it should work. Let's see if I can train a Garandar with the beacon Mirko built for me. Prices around. Prove it.
a reminder that fear should never hinder collaboration between all Yod's creations. May this Daroman speak for the people of Bida. We stand with the Almayel and the Talans of Adelpha. Uh, thanks, Siron. I'll bring it to her. Don't want to be running around with Bida's Daroman in my pocket. Should give it to the Almayel now. Could you let this happen? We need to resume extraction at once. Assuming we have enough drilling experts available, the repairs will still take weeks, General. What kind of sorcery is this? Leave. HQ's reporting giant creatures under our feet. They could surface any moment. It looks like the General's starting to feel the pain I'm bringing to his game. Keep on pushing, Slade. You have returned. Your presence in Kizar never goes unnoticed. Have you brought a Daroman with you? to make the WFA go boom. Me like... Me like a lot. Slate, it's me. <laughs> Who else could it be? You said we were not exactly friends, but you're the longest human relationship I've had. <laughs> Forever? Stop talking. Damn it. I gotta go. Hey, are you all right? I'm not trying to get in your business, but be there? Answer me. New coordinates. Where are you leading me this time? Fine. Ghost me. I don't care. I got other friends. Maybe a friend and me can even scope out this place together. They're coming for me!
picked a heck of a dangerous spot. Oh, thank the yachts. I'm Ermos from Balana. Hirak sent me here for a bath to rejuvenate my LOA essence. He almost sent me to my reversion. Well, danger averted. You can bathe as much as you want now. You know, being stuck here made me realize something. Life is a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. And if I have to choose between rejuvenating my essence or my body, I choose my body. Yes, Ulukai? Have a look at your map. Want to meet at these new coordinates? Why? Do you reason? How about discovering something new? Sharing an experience. It's called, uh, bonding between friends. I'm busy tracking an invader convoy right now. Maybe next time. Sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, next time's fine. Can you at least tell me something about these coordinates? That looks like Mazam's cabin. Mazam is an old hermit. Isolated from the villages. I hope he's not in danger. Could you check on him, Ulakai? I'll pay him a visit. It's laid out. Don't be scared. I just want to show you something. Messe agakamon utu, merim ate maya jonoyo, ate xawata. I don't understand you, but maybe you have seen this man. Looks like I'm Adelpha's most wanted. Hey, Mizum. Welcome back. The invaders were here? One of them, yes. Looking just like you, only better. Right. What did that invader want? The invaders are looking for you. I saw the, I think the correct Agakamon word is picture. And yes, it looked just like you. So what did you say? Oh, I'm old. I keep rehashing old stories to kill time, you know? Do you want to hear the one about the Sangradam? A fascinating puzzle, that. Somehow I do remember that one, yes. Why this and not the rest? Anyway. Did you answer the invaders' questions about me or not? Oh, don't worry. I didn't reveal the most important thing. What is that? The second piece of the picture puzzle. I know where it is. The picture puzzle? You lost me. No, I didn't. You're right here in front of me, silly. And you are one piece of the picture that I saw. The second piece I saw as well. It's in the Uluka Museum in Prokriana. The two pieces of the picture puzzle form one. Thanks, Mizum. I will meditate on that. See you next time. No problem. <laughs> That's a prize, all right.
It's you! Hermos is back, safe and sound. He learned a valuable lesson, too. Life is like a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. His words resonate with me. Thank you. Bye, Hirax. Bye yourself. doing here? Herrick sent me on a pilgrimage to find the legendary Umgand cave, and I found myself trapped. But this is definitely the Umgand cave. Oh, well, how do you know? You see the hazardous right there? Uh-huh. What about it? That's Umgand. He was a poor pilgrim who got lost here, just like me.
thank you for helping us. May the odds be with you. This is gonna hurt.
your sauna for today, my friend. You want to get out of here? Yods, yes. My name is Arabol, a humble pilgrim seeking beauty in this world. Herak sent me to the volcano thinking I would enjoy it. I didn't. However, my fey essence learned a valuable lesson. If your heart is a volcano, don't expect flowers to bloom there. Your poetry really warms my heart. Fire away. What you got for me, soldier? I took another fence down. Hope that helps. Understood. Thanks. Slay down. in my pocket.
upwards. You're up here, Axe. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Arabold is safe. He learned something out of all of this. If your heart is a volcano, don't expect flowers to bloom there. Very inspiring lesson indeed. I think I came across Umgan himself, or at least his Hazardess. Would that make any sense to you? It's impossible. Omgant reverted hundreds of thousands of cycles before my time. I found the location of the Umgant cave. You know that pilgrim you misguided? He found the place where Umgant's Hazardous was lost for all those years. All thanks to you. This is such an inspiring discovery. Thank you, pilgrim. Bye, Hirax. By yourself. Shamaz Kor, good to see you. Just how good? Tell me. Um, like normal good. Of course. How silly of me. Sorry. My mind is stuck on this scroll that I've read for the tenth time. Here's your codex. Watch out. It's blowing hard in there. I thought I would never see it again. I feel its energy boosting my essence. Thank you, Pilgrim. This will help me to restore the Khan Arosham. Goodbye, Kor. Until the next moon. Security. 
He suspects a mole and I have to be careful. Wait, almost there and... Yes! I made it. You made what? Neutralized another quantum fence. Tough one. Marking the location on the map now. Need to continue this discussion later. I gotta get out of here fast. Signing off. Okay, they all want to play.
Move it, Slade. They're coming. Play. Need that. through this.
word of the sauna. Must be the Fey Temple. I hope I won't have to lava swim my way to the Codex. Dear your car, we stand united to guide our elder through his time of reversion. 
May his essence please your realm, like it blessed ours, from this cycle to eternity. Kadarsham is back. At least this one offers a nice view. Got the Codex. Happy to hand this hot potato over to you. Fey essence can be intense, especially when the Codex is at full capacity. Let me take it from here. You served the Fey essence well today, Pilgrim. I think I did what you asked. Is your Darashem active now? Ah, I feel my essence boiling again. The Darosham is once again ready to welcome Talans and Hazadesses. I could have achieved this without you, but you didn't want to lend me one of your precious weapons. Is that what happened? The invaders built themselves a nice sauna in that volcano. Too bad I had to shut it down. The lava flows once again. The Yods will remember what you did, but you remember this too. The fight has only begun! One step at a time, my hot-tempered friend. One step at a time. I guess we're done, then. He was born from fire, and he returns to fire, seeking fusion with his Yod. Bless his essence, O mighty Yod Fay, so the cycles in his life may count for his eternal reversion. Fade Arisham is ready to send you to your final resting place.
activate second mechanical lock to open the door.
anybody see that? Is this the Codex you're looking for? Yes! The Alloway Codex! And it's fully charged. This is amazing. Thank you. Don't mention it. So, do you wish to revert now? I understand if you're not sure. You should speak to Herax before you take such an important decision. You know, I get this weird feeling that I've reverted a few times since I've been on your planet. We all have. That's the idea, Pilgrim. Is your Darashem working? Yes, thank you! You can feel it through the essence vine. The LOA is more balanced. I'm looking forward to welcoming Elder Talans and Hazardesses who are seeking passage. If you cross their path, please let them know that the LOA Darasham is open again. Or even better, lead them here. Where will I find them? Ah, they are all around us. It's a big world. Rumbar is keeping track of the ones he hears about. Talk to him. I'll leave you to your work now. Something tells me pretty soon you're gonna be under the water. Those tin cans won't be polluting your lake anymore. May they rust in peace. Thank you! The lake is already recovering. Bless the yards! Is there anything better than blue halidium clear water? Um, have you tried 30-year-old scotch? My Darashem's water is much older than that. Everything seems to work now with the LOA Darashem. You got your job back. And I am eternally grateful to you. Now it's up to us to keep the LOA essence balanced. Can I get you anything to drink? Goodbye, Uday. Bless his essence, almighty Yod LOA. So the cycles in his life will count for his eternal reversion. Eloy Darashem is back on track. Who wants to meet their maker?
rest of Delpha.
Yo, man. Uh, young people. Yo, man was my great, great... I found the Gonda Codex. Will it restart the Darosham? Only Yalo and Hirax can know for sure. Have you peeked inside? Yeah, it was glowing with this green energy. A very good sign. I will let Hirax know. Thank you so much for your service. Well, Umbak, your Vader's base is down. You got your Codex back. Think it's time to take Yalo's place as the Darasham Keeper? Wait until he hears the good news. Come with me. The roots of the Essence Vine should be safe now that the extraction is on hold. The invaders have stopped. This is a miracle. That and a bit of a fight, but it's done. The invaders are going to be busy with repairs for a while. Marvelous. Yala will be so excited about the news. Even more excited than he is now, you mean? Wild. Take it easy, Umbak. <laughs> easy. Yes. Very good. Yod Gunda. Welcome this proud Talon to your realm. Let his essence return to where it originated. For that's the cycle of eternal reversion. It's open house day at the Gonda Darsham. Who wants a one-way ticket to eternity? Having the time of my life. That is one healthy essence, Vine Hirax. You must be happy. I am happy, and slowly getting my inspiration back. The essence vine is such a splendor to contemplate. The splendor doesn't hurt the bad guys, does it? I beg your pardon? I kind of hope the vine would be a weapon against the invaders. And at the end of the day, it's just a vine? Not so fast, Pilgrim. If we take good care of the essence vine, it will provide special seeds. Seeding the essence vine during battle can be extremely powerful and unleash a horde of vengeful hazardesses against your enemies. Nice. I'm getting a Jack and the Beanstalk vibe here. Camilla used to love that story. If the vine continues to grow, I can collect its seeds. But you have to talk to someone else, say, a recreator, and come up with something that works in battle. I'll find someone. What should I tell him? Let me write it down for you. See you later. We asked? Herrick's actually turned out to be a help. I'm psyched. How did that happen? Did you ingest Hoti paste? What? No, but Herrick gave me instructions to build a very useful type of beacon. Isn't that sick? You should see a Shamaz if you feel sick, Ulukai. I meant it in a good way. These beacons control the essence vine. I can't manufacture them myself, though. I've seen all kind of beacons around Nurkan's shop in Prokriana. Maybe talk to him. And stop feeding on haughty paste. It's food for Tuan Haas, and it makes you delirious. Hey, Kor. You can ask for my healing touch if you're hurt. You don't have to worry about that factory anymore, Kor. The chimneys spat their last puff of smoke. Yes. Yes. I feel it now. It is a fantastic moon to praise the balance of the essence. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'd understand if you want to take your clothes off, Pilgrim. Be free. All right, all right. Enjoy the clean mountain air. You already seem a little high on it. Well, Kor, you got your Darasham back. Congratulations. 
waiting for the first leaps of faith in so many cycles. Bless you, beautiful and muscular pilgrim. Ah, uh, okay. Glad to help. See you later, Cor. I look forward to it. Chief, can we talk? Is there a problem? What does it take to run a town like this? Thanks to you, the Darshans are open and we are expecting a flood of Elder Talans and Hazarduses to pour through our gates. It is my role to keep track of them all, so we can be sure that the reversion process runs smoothly. Oh, that's it? So you're more of a glorified bookkeeper. We have a system, and I am the chief. If I do my job right, the system runs smoothly, and Talans end their lives with dignity. Unfortunately, it has become more and more difficult to do my job since the invasion. On my way. So am I. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! Take a look at these notes. I got them from Herax and Polana. They're incomplete, though. Can you help me? Hmm. Instructions for building some kind of essence vine beacon. What the yards is that? Based on essence vine seeds, so this part is pretty clear, but okay. I can see what this is supposed to do, but I would need two more parts to make it work as described here. Essence vine seeds, you said? Yes. They grow on the vine itself, at the center of the flower. Easy to collect, then. What else do you need? You'll have to trust me on this. Bring me Kamenai talons. It's a bit of an effort to get them, but they should work if combined with red, no, green helidium. Essence vine seeds, Kamenai talons, and green helidium. This is gonna be something quite unique. As a recreator, you manufactured weapons for the Dalatai Guardians, right? How did that work? After the Ulakai left Adelpha, the Recreator Guild ordered all its members to regroup in Procriana to work on old weapons left by Feyran and the dismantled army of Croax. It was an ambitious project, and we all knew the risks. We could recreate most of the weapons, but only Talans with the Fey Essence, such as the Dolatai Guardians, could shoot them. And it wasn't enough. The invaders have more sophisticated weaponry. The Dolatai Guardians alone were no match for them. Their guns could barely scratch their metal. They should have waited, thought of a better plan. But Jan was so determined. Would you be able to modify the invaders' weapons for Talan? Any Talan. No matter their essence. It would be a challenge. But this is what recreators do. And this is what Hume would have wanted. So yes. Okay, look. I have an idea. But we're gonna need backup. Did anyone follow you here? I came alone as instructed. Why did you want me here, Ulukai? To show you this. The invaders are machines. I already know that. Yes, they are, but there's more. I found a recreator, the last of his kind, and he agreed to recreate invaders' weapons for the Dalatai Guardians, enough of them to level with these robotic monsters. Yods above. 
This is a big moon for the Talons. I know, but we'll both have to work for it, so I'm gonna need you to gather up more parts like this one. All you have to do is pick the bases clean after me. I'll leave plenty of these behind. Who is the recreator? Look, I can't tell you yet, but he gave me secret coordinates for the deliveries. He'll take it from there. I trust your judgment. I will brief my people now. The wind of battle is turning. Well done, Urukai. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir! So, this used to be your partner? Hewn. Yes. His hazardous is here to encourage me. Hewn threw everything he had into the battle against the invaders. He won't find peace in reverse until I finish the fight for him. All by yourself? Hewn is asking a lot. You'll need more than encouragement, Nurkan. Isn't that why you're here? Together we can help Yoon achieve his destiny and finally revert. I believe in you, Ulakai. And so does Yoon. His hazardous speaks to me. Looks like your partner is proud of what you did. I couldn't have done it without you, Ulakai. Thank you. Hyun can finally revert. He was born to fight the invaders and free Adelpha. Sadly, his time came before he could accomplish his destiny. I am humbled he trusted me enough to do this on his behalf. His hazardous has waited long enough to return to the odds. So, what about you, Nurkan? What do you mean? You must have your own purpose in life, too. So what is it? I... I first thought the Yards wanted me to recreate again. But it's more than that. I believe my life goal is to restart the Guild of Recreators and train young Talans to become the next generation of crafters. That's a respectable goal, Nurkan. I wish you the best. Hi, Nurkan. Have a soup? Let me see what you got. I've been busy. That's more than welcome. As you brought inspiration back to Palana, I trust you to bring this precious Deramon to Kizar. Palana has faith in one united Yab's nation. Thanks for this, Herox. I'll pass a message to the Almael. Herox wants me to bring Palana's Deramon to the Almael. Sounds like a good idea. Cheer up here, Axe. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Can we make the Essence Vine stronger? Yes. More Elder Talons and Hazardesses guided to the Darashams will give more power to the Vine. Anything else? You can also influence the growth of the root, but that's it. Could the Essence Vine grow faster and produce more seeds? Perhaps. If you collect any wisdom during your journey, share it with me. It will make me a better caretaker and accelerate the growth of the vine. Not sure how I can collect wisdom, but I guess I'll recognize it when I see it. You can start by repairing the mistakes of my past. I'm ashamed to admit I've misled a few pilgrims on their journey. Making sure they're safe will help me do my job better. The Darisham keepers know the stories. Talk to them. So, if I write your wrongs, you'll take better care of the vine. Got it. Be more careful with your advice, okay? With the hope you have brought to Palana, I already feel less confused. Thank you. See you later.
Kai, do you have time to answer a question? Surely, yes. I'm an open book. Isn't it strange you found these calm links in an invader's base? The invaders don't seem to communicate with any form of spoken language. Why would they need that sort of device? Ah, uh, yeah, you got a point there. Maybe their leaders use them. They're hiding behind their soldiers, I don't know. Maybe. Thank you for your time, Ulukai. Lia's out. Damn. I don't feel good lying to her. I need to find the right time to break the news to Lia's. I'm sure she knows I'm different than the monsters who torture her people. Can I have a word? The Almayel hears you. May the Yods favor your quest for our sake. They're coming. Okay, they all want to play.
Yes, now this will help. scared of heights.
You can leave now. I'm not going anywhere until the Yacht send me a sign. Look, I'm your sign, okay? Ask the Almael if you don't believe me. The Almael sends you? Uh, too bad. The food was so good here, but thank you. This is gonna hurt. Sad to enjoy this moment, but I'll do as you say. Can't let this blue helium just sit here.
friend. May the gods bless you. for me. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. How did you end up here? With a group of former harvesters who traveled from Mamiya to seek work in the sun. We found a lot of work with no pay, so I got angry and the invaders threw me in jail.
free to go. Is Brom sending you? We're friends, yes. Go. Carmelia, stranger. Thank you. How's the bomb making going? Good news. We did it. Now is the right time to discuss the price of these mean babies. Are nom noms part of your revolution plan? I don't use nom noms. I suffer from vertigo. But the Talan Ops do. Are the Talan Ops fully operational now? Quarlampe is only useful to access some of the loot, like purple helidium. Hmm. What about the rest of the goods? I'm still working on it. The green and red H are kept in containers that are heavily guarded. No window between patrol rotations. So it's too dangerous for my people to enter the storage rooms without a proper diversion. Proper diversion, huh? Okay. We'll come up with something. Thanks. I'll be back. I'll be here. Malaya, Makan. And to you, my friend. Can you tell me more about the races? Yeah. Racing the Nom Noms? Tell me about it. I made a lot of Zorkins off those races. If we could ever get the races going again, it would raise the spirits of this town, give us the strength to kick the invaders out. I'm always on the lookout for new talent. I guess your pool is a bit limited with the isolation and all. You got that right, pal. Also, Nom Nom races need a full-time Shamaz on hand, which is the reason why I can't organize a race without Sanat. Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. I brought the Shamaz back to heal the racers. What else do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? Healthy Nom Noms. I'm still after the cure for the Nom Noms. Have you asked Zanat? He can help you for sure. See you, Makan. Until next time! Good to see you, Nadul. How's life? If I was a poet, I would describe life as a long, blistered trail of broken fingernails and stomach cramps. Well, I'm a simple talan, so I would simply say that it sucks. And there goes the light mood. Did you hear the good news? Your village is gonna be feasting on fried Senecta very soon. Yes, I heard. That is good news, although I'll still need the Guaralampe. I remember Senecta's bitter taste all too well. How come? I was born and raised in Sapa. Really? What are you doing here? I was just a youth when the invaders stormed Sapa, my former village. They turned the place into a bloodbath, slaughtering fisher talans left and right. My brother sent me to protect the Daoka portal, but I did not want to be reverted. So you jumped through it? Yes. Seconds after, it went down. Moons went by and I hid here, ashamed of what I did. No matter how many brothers I meet in Tisan, I miss my real brother. Tanak. He is a great leader himself. I became chief here, hoping he would be proud of me one moon. Wait a minute. You're Tanak's brother. He believes you got reverted in the attack. You know of Tanak? I'm relieved he's alive. 
Maybe one moon will meet again. But I'm running out of moons. Oh, well, don't wait too long. It's never too late to fix family issues until it's too late. I can relate, trust me. Will you organize the bomb shipments? Yes, I will. Have a nice one. I don't remember nice. How's it going, Drowd? Not good. I'm still missing some ingredients. Is that the stuff you need? Uh, that's Meptar, all right. Well done. You can bring me more if you get the chance. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. my arm anymore. Sanat, please help me. Hey, don't cut in line. I saw you. I was here oh, first. Oh, Back to work. I'm missing one toe. I can't play foot rock anymore. Oh, hey, it hurts. Uh, ah! That rock came out of nowhere. Is there a hole in my head? Next. Well done, Zanat. Who are you? I'm Zanat, Shamas of Desan. I'm looking for a way to heal the wounded Nom Noms. You have any tips for that? I can heal a Talan. I can heal you. But my essence is useless with animals. Sorry. I mean, there could be someone who could help, but... But what? He may be the worst Shamas in all of Adelpha. His name is Zalab, and you will find him in Sapa. He has a special dedication to animals. Wait a minute. You want to be back in your cell? No. Yard, no. Well, now that you mention it, it wasn't so bad there. What do you mean? You were a prisoner, locked up against your own will. Yes. But the food, it was so good. Really? Well, how would robots know how to cook? They don't eat. I don't know. I didn't see them bring it, but every couple of moons I would wake up in my cell and there would be a lunchbox in the corner. Someone else must have put it there. Not a robot. Who then? We don't have that kind of food in Desan. It was so tasty and different from anything I have ever eaten before. Let's call it a mystery for now. Even if I have a little idea. I have to go. What's up, Zalab? Happy, healthy vantalopes flying around Sapa. It is the season of love. Good to see a smile on that grumpy face. Ah, memorize it. It won't last. Say I would have to heal a bunch of Nom Noms. What would I need? There are no Nom Noms in Sapa. Is Zanat sending you? It doesn't matter who sends me. Nom Noms are sick in Dasan. Do you have a cure? So... 
Zanat is done mocking me now that he needs something from me. I want to be clear, I'm doing this for the nom-noms, okay? Not for any hypocrite shamaz who comes asking for favors after undermining what I do for the last 2,000 moons. Zalan, please. I don't have anything to do with your quarrels. I just want to help the nom-noms. Fine. Let me write it down for you. Please, give it to someone who actually knows what he's doing, not Zanat. They should have all the ingredients in the sun. Except for the black algae. Pick it up here and bring it with you. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon. your Shamaz back. That's amazing. Although I lost a bet with Brom, I didn't think you'd survive. So much trust. It warms a man's heart. See you, Makan. Until next time! the right seaweed. All looks the same to me. <sighs> Look who it is. Who? Where? Calm down, it's just us. Cutter Slade and Nadul. Have you met with Zanat? Yes. He took care of my blisters. I can race again. You're... Okay. Won't the invaders have something to say about these races? As far as they're concerned, we're busy working all moon long. It just takes a bit of acting every time a patrol is around. Brahm's optimized solution is buying us a lot of time. <laughs> Clever. I'm out of here. Show me the goods, my friend. I smell good business between us! How does it feel to be back home, Zanat? It's... it's my village. People usually feel good in their home, don't they? You tell me. You don't seem too psyched. Well, with Makan's races, the mining accidents, the drone reprisals, and those goddamn foot rock injuries, a lot of Talans got hurt during my absence. I got my work cut out for me. At least in prison I could rest and eat real food. Mmm, real food. I brought this special algae from Sapa. Zalad told me I can use it as some kind of patch to cure animal wounds or diseases. 
The patch has to but stay on for a couple of moons. But how are you going to do that? Nom noms never land on the ground. Even if you reach them in midair, I don't think the patches would stay in place for two moons straight. I'm afraid it's not going to work. Zalab and his exotic ideas. I'm sorry. Damn it. I can make him eat it. But I'm not even sure if they Talk have mouths. to Drahud. I'm sure he can come up with something. I need help. Can you heal me? This I can do. Just breathe and let me do the rest. I have to go. Relax. How's it going? I'm fine. But the Nom Noms, not so much. They're getting shot at. What kind of monster shoots a Nom Nom? Every conflict has collateral damage. The lack of healthy Nom Noms hurts my operations. Maybe you could talk to Draud or Zanat to see if they can come up with a cure. Tell me how you've managed to free so much time for the miners. Ah, Gamak told you about that. It's genius, really. We only dig where the Helidium is, and we know exactly where to find it, so no useless work. We make every miner's pickaxe count. Saves a lot of time, and the production doesn't go down. The invaders don't notice a thing. How is that possible? The Talanops, my friend. The Talanops. I'll show myself out. Thanks for the chat. Good moon to you, stranger. Don't get your head blown off. How's it going, Draud? Not good. I'm still missing some ingredients. Can you help me with this healing algae? I'm not sure how to use it on the Nom Noms. Well, can they smoke it? I don't think the Nom Noms can smoke anything, Draud. Oh, right. Nom Noms. Got it. I, I can make concentrated drops out of the algae, but you'll be the one giving it to them. Nom Nom skin is like a porous membrane, so pouring the fluid on their back should do it. How much time do you need? I can do this right away. Wait here. are not screwing around.
you're sick. They've been dumping all the junk here. soldier. Slate out.
that's a view. Nom Nom's packing some juice. Can I join the next race? If you feel ready, sure. It's a free world. 
actually is not a free world. But any racer is welcome as long as he has something to bet. Are you ready for the bronze cup? The Nom Noms are fine now. I took care of them with a little help from my friends. Damn right they're fine. Just took one for a test flight. I'm back in business, baby. Whoa! Can I have a practice run for the Bronze Cup? Don't get too prepared. Accidents are part of the show. I'm ready to try my luck at the Bronze Cup. That's what I'm talking about, champ. Looking for some fame in the Nom Nom game. I like that. The Bronze Cup is a small event for locals, but it's a great start. Hello, Talons. Welcome to the Nom Nom race. Moon has come to bet on your favorite races. I, Makan, won't make you rich. But I swear on my essence that you will be entertained! Today's challengers are competing against our current bronze champion. You may remember the glories of his past. He's now facing the future with a new name. Make some noise for... Nadu! Ha-ha! <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. It's good to be back. Stuff is good stuff.
The fist of the revolution, made of flawless halidium. Give this Daramon to the Almayel, and let her know that the San is free to join the Talon Alliance thanks to you. Oh, I didn't do this alone, but you can count on me, Brom. Gotta show Dasan's Daramon to the Almayel ASAP. Are you the officer in charge here? Who wants to know? There have been several incidents in this sector with stock reported missing. The general has me on inspection duty. <laughs> I'm an Alpha Commander, ma'am. Nothing goes unnoticed on my watch. Be that as it may, this still has to get done, Mr. Alpha. Alpha 79, ma'am. Elite Division. Well, someone's getting demoted to scrubbing division. <laughs> I like her. That Talan ops are killing it. Way to go, Brom. Ulakai, I just received notice that the latest batch of weapon parts has been delivered. Now would be a good time to go see the Recreator. Finally. Your people did a great job on this one. I'll get back to you as soon as the weapons are ready. Slate out. You have returned. May the Yods favor your quest for our sake. They're coming. Okay, they all want to play.
Alpha 55, are you on site? Jesus. I've never seen something like this. The drone's video feed is lagging, Alpha 55. Proceed with vocal description, over. Something's degraded the exo-armor. I say, some kind of extremely corrosive acid? Can you collect a sample from the scene, Alpha 55? Negative. The substance is still active and consuming the troops' exos as I speak. Stay put, Alpha 55. We're sending a team to remove the exos for lab analysis. Uh, guys? Something's wrong. Massive alien insects are... surrounding me! Oh, God. Uh, get away! Get away from me! No! I can't help you. 
Alpha 24 to Alpha 55. Please come in. Respond, Alpha 55. Ouch. That's one stingy way to go. Why don't you take the painless route back to your world, guys? What's up, Moore? Find any new... No one is... Someone in Kizar asked me to provide the island with enough more axe for the next Oka stock. Can you help? Oka stock? It's been a while. But when Kizar calls, we shall listen. Go to the treetops and harvest what you need. Oka stock is good news and a sign that things are slowly getting back to normal. I don't see anything normal about it, but I am just a visitor. Of course. It could also be a giant slaughter of all our males and females at the same place. Not to mention the children. The end of the Talan race. Hopefully the spear will protect us all while we're on the island. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Joke's on you, General. There's plenty more where those came from. Hi, Nefame. How is the preparation going? I've spoken with Marzo and Bida. The Lampe is coming. Wonderful. Is Marzo attending Akastok? He would miss it for the world. Yikes. Then maybe I didn't order enough Lampe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, Saren is the one who should be the most bothered by the news, not me. Thank you for your help. Are we good with the drinks? Not exactly. Now, could you be a cute little ventilope and ask the Almayel to sing the Gaiat song? It will infuse love energy into the drinks. Thank you. Um, okay. See you, Nephilim. May the yards be with you. <sighs> Should be enough more eggs for Oka stock. Hi. 
I can see her. Come back. The Almayel hears you. So I found Lampe for the big fest, but I'm told it needs some of your power to make it all, you know. If you mean that the drink must be infused with the Gaiyat song, then yes, the Almayel must sing. A love song? Right. Take it away then. The Almayel. I. I can't. Not inspired, huh? Well, happens to the best of us. The dissonance of the message. It brought too much Sankra to the Almayel's voice. Are you capable of love, human? Am I capable of... What kind of question is that? Yeah, you know, I'm capable. All the ladies say I'm extremely capable. There was this one time... Huh. What the heck? It's all blurry and... I can't remember. You have reverted without most memories from your previous life. And I don't want them all back, but at least... some? To compose a Gaiyat song, I need to hold a memory that touches feelings, but I can't. Sankra is cloaking my mind. I need that memory to come from you. So you need a memory from me that's, like, heartfelt? Okay, well, uh... Heartfelt. Camilla. Seven years old. Braces. Big smile, but I'm... Damn. I'm, I'm losing the memory. I can't hold on to it. it. Feels like a door slamming in my face. Can you help me unlock it? Use the Daoka and come back with an echo from your past. There must be one waiting for you. Go. I have to go now. For now, the yards are waiting. What do you mean? Like, a gift? Yeah. My friend's daddy always brings her a present when he goes on a trip because he loves her. But that's all right. You don't have to. Camilla, you know I love you. With or without gifts. Right, baby girl? I love you too, daddy. That's why I said you didn't have to. I know. Back with what you need, I think. I remember how it feels, too. I feel it. The memory is pure and touching. Can you use the way I feel about Camilla to compose the song? Yes, thank you. 
hear the Gaiyat song. all of a sudden what a beautiful voice she is very beautiful oh my I don't think any male has ever heard the Gaiyat song straight from the mouth of the Almayel are you alright? Yeah, I think so. That was something else. I feel a bit high right now. I have a little tune in mind reminding me that girls just want to have fun, so how fun was that? I never had such a good time while being grounded. I think your dad would agree. You were right. His hazardous is ready to leave now. Okay. He is there. He talks to me in my dreams. He wants something, but... It's so hard to remember when I wake up. Hey, Shano. How's it going? Meh. Yan wasn't here to make a warrior out of you. A father just wants his kid to be happy. Sorry you didn't have quality time with him when he was alive. That's okay. I'm happy that he finally will revert. Thank you, Ulukai. You want to learn how to ring the bells of Malaya? Uh, bite me with a Z-Dog's head on a stick instead. Saren's music lessons are so boring. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'm already in trouble. with the Yod Zian. Your heart is my armor. My heart is forever yours. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. Don't be sorry. Be happy. Yan's Hazardess has finally reverted. May his essence shine with the eternal flame of Yod Fei. Kids are all right. Hey, another one of my favorite playlists. Anyway, they're willing to ring the bells. All right, let's give it a shot. Bring the bells down. Oh no, the children would start messing around with them. We need to find another way. How about I shoot them instead? Shooting the bells? You're intense. I like that. Follow me.
Saren. What's going on? Whole lot of shaking going on. Uh, what did you just say? I, I don't know. I just thought it sounded good. Can you help me with the Gaiat song? I can show you how the bells of Melia work. Do you want to start a lesson? Thanks for the music lesson, Saren. Can you help me with the Katamon song? I can show you how the bells of Melia work. Do you want to start a lesson? Saren. Oh, it's you. Bless the yods. Let's talk again. Uh... Saren. Oh, it's you. Can you help me with the Gaiat song? I can show you how the bells of Melia work. Do you want to start a lesson?
I did everything Nephilim requested. Thanks to you, Akastok is just one calling away. Accept half of Kizar's Daromon, a token of the Almayel's gratitude. <sighs> wow. I mean, that was one hell of a touch. I mean, it feels like... Like, there's no word for this. Then let your essence listen. Can you hear it? I should collect the other half of the Almael's medallion if I want to put the Daramon together. Fame. How is the preparation going? Is that enough more eggs for you? I guess that will do if you don't eat any. Leave them for the guests. See you, Nephim. May the yods be with you. Talk? The Almayel sees you. Thanks for your time. Time doesn't mean anything for the Yards. Slade, hope I'm not interrupting. Fire away. What you got for me, soldier? I took another fence down. Hope that helps. You yeah, having doubts? I'm sure you've noticed that I'm wiping bases off the map with a little help from my friends. And that should convince your friends to leave this dimension and not come back. Sounds like a nice dream, but Jack won't call off the mission so easily. You may decide to leave before he does. Not my decision. I have a deal with the gods. Yeah, I know how it sounds, but saving the Talad should grant me a ticket back home so I can be with my daughter. Nothing surprises me anymore. So that's what you're fighting for. More than anything else. My little girl needs me, and I need her too. I've been apart too long. Right. Maybe I can help, but it's a bit of a stretch at this point. 
Sending new coordinates to your map. Good luck, Slate. Signing off. We're not supposed to be here without an escort, so what do you want to show me? I knew it. Look at the thermogrid. This wasn't here before. Don't touch it! <gasps> Are you all right? The plant... it spoke to me. That's impossible. What did you hear? Ulukai. Hey, these visions must be the Yod's way to tell me something. What do they mean? This frequency? What's the emergency? No emergency, but according to the map, looks like we're down to one last base that remains inaccessible. Any way you can help me with this one? I'm on it. Sorry. I've been busy with something else. You want to share a bit of this something else? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
great. I was saying, you want to share a bit of this something else? Not now. Soon. I marked the coordinates on your map. The fence should be gone by the time you get there. Take care, Commander. Thanks for everything. Hope to see you on the other side of this. Slate out.
out the whole battalion, huh?
That's it. No more drills. Have a look at my... And out upon anyone. Hey, Alan. We have to talk. I'm here. Liaz told me you have a loaded boat ready to go. Yeah. Give me the signal, and I'll have my people bring the boat to shore.
Hurry up! Bring the Helidium through the spear before the invaders spot us. But trust me, the Almayel will open the spear for us. You did good, Lias. Hold on. I can't believe I'm back in Kizar after all these cycles. Thank you, Ulakai. What is a Thai guardian doing in Kizar? Her exile is over. We need to band together and face the invaders as one race. United by the Yards. You did this. You brought Sankra to Kizar. I asked him to. The Thai guardians will be strong allies. Strong? Strength incites Sankra, and Sankra destroys Melia. Sankra can be controlled. Control is merely another step towards Sankra. You've served well, human. Take this half of Kizar's Daramon as a token of the Almayel's gratitude. seriously upset before. Mad? I... I am not mad. I, it feels like half of myself is constantly fighting the other half. Maybe you're turning into a human because, you know, that's how we feel all the time. It's... it's not funny. The dissonance has never been that intense between the... between me and... her! The separation is confusing. The violent nature of Sankra is consuming the foundations of the Melia between us. The Melia on which the whole of Talan society stands. By Melia, you are holding Kizar's Daramon, united once again. An impressive deed. You have gathered the trust of the Talan people and reconciled the Dolatai guardians with the Almayel. Praise the Yards, for you are truly a friend of Adelpha. And I'm glad this is gonna be over soon. The Yards have spoken. Do you feel them? They are listening. Kizar shall sing for the survival of Adelpha. Let Augustag begin!
I interrupting? Always. I'm joking. Hockestock is going well. I feel the joy of my people, even if it's only for a short while. I feel you. We all deserve a break. Where's Alma? She... she's somewhere. I don't know. We haven't spoken this moon. There's Sankra between us. Ah, Sankra. Always Sankra. Do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Ask away, but I might not answer. On this island, a lot of couples are forming, but you're here alone. I mean, there must be a man. I mean, a, a male. Or maybe a female that you're, I don't know, attracted to? Have you ever been in love, human? Whoa, I go personal or you go deep? You don't have to answer. No, I, I want to. I just... Uh, I don't have the answer. But you have a child. What happened between me and Wolf? Oh, Marion. It was a moment. It happened on a mission. We were drawn to each other, and that was great. But back home, uh, it's so hard sometimes to just communicate. We never really got a chance to be together, to really try us out as, like, a couple. You wanted to? She met someone else uh, before she even knew she was pregnant, and I'm not the type of guy who takes a day off to assemble a crib, so... Anyway, she's gone, and it feels like a rock in my gut. Pulling me down. This... Marion... Why do you call her Wolf? Well, that was her code name. On our first mission together. Supposed to keep things professional, you know? So it was not love. Well, I came to know her better on Adelpha. Wish I would have saved her, but I, I don't know how I felt. It's just the damned guilt again, clouding everything. We didn't have enough time, I guess. She is with Yod Ka now. I sense her essence through your words. You understand exactly how I'm feeling right now, don't you? Sit next to me. Let's feel her essence together. Yell, I have to say, you look very alluring. Akastak was a success. Kizar is buzzing with life energy. Thank you, Cutter. You got it. I had a good time, too. I really appreciated the moment we spent together during the festival. The extent of your knowledge just blew my mind. I feel even smaller in the universe now. But in a good way, you know. You are not small. Thanks. I, uh... Look. Life energy is good for everyone. It's great so many new couples form during Okastok, but the invaders are still here. And we gotta do something about it. You are right. Extinction is still looming over us. My offer still stands. I'm taking care of those bases. The Talans are also helping, and you can join us too. We can win together, Yell. Together. Together. With Akastok, you showed Kizar that you were a man of your word. You have the Almayel's blessing. I'm more than words, Yell. More than a message. I can feel it, Cutter. That ain't half spoken. 
Admit it. It feels good to reunite a mother with her kid. Liaz is a good person. Liaz is a child of Faye, and so is Ishana. They are both stubborn and rebellious, easily tempted by violence, prey to becoming domineering. Remember how Feyran used to rule this part of the world? The Fey essence has nothing to do with it. I remember Anthony Xu. He was a jealous and frustrated man who chose to rule by force. Luckily, his Feyran act ended when his palace collapsed. He has no legacy, and Liaz is nothing like him. Her Fey essence burns strong. She has the same rage as her father. You knew her father? A vicious warlord. His name was never revealed to Liaz for her own sake, but because of that difficult decision, she grew up missing a part of her identity, filling that void with adventure stories, just like her daughter, Ishana. The Almayel should have told Ishana about who Liaz was. My mistake is why Yan could manipulate them both. A warlord? I only remember one Talan who fits that description, and... No. It can't be. Croax. Even reverted, his fey essence is a lurking danger for the Talan race. I feel you. These memories should be buried forever. It's better if Liaz never knows about this. Till next time. Slade, I finally have good news. Yankees won the World Series? There is no World Series anymore. And, well, no Yankees. I've been through a lot today, but this hurts the most. Listen up. I located a personal transport. This is your ticket to the orbital portal, but... But? No, there's no but, my friend. The Yods kept their promise. I am going home. Yeah. There's something I should probably tell you, though. Save it for later. Just hit me with the coordinates. Your call, Commander. The personal transport's location should be popping up on your map. We'll talk later. Signing off. You just, uh, come on now? Um, yes. Right now. I just want to thank you for what you did for Ishana and myself. Oh, you deserve it, Liaz. Kids need their parents. Parents need their kids. As soon as our quest is over, I'll be back for her. Oh, you and I both, Liaz. I can't wait to hold Camilla in my arms. Soon. Slate out. I see new coordinates on the map. My guardians are not far from there, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? They spotted multiple invaders hidden around some kind of machine. If this is what you're after, it's obviously a trap. But don't worry, the Dolatai guardians are going to surprise them. We have powerful weapons now. Don't do anything recklessly, Az. Wait for me, I'm on my way. I'm not waiting, we're moving in. Hurry up, Ulukai, or you'll miss the battle. Liaz out. Liaz, no! God damn it. I better get that fast. I hope she knows what she's doing. Liaz, what happened? You inspired us, Ulukai. The Dolatai Guardians are celebrating their first victory against the oppressor. Every village helped us win. I told you to wait for me before using the weapons. Shooting guns is easy. It's like a second nature to me. Almost like it runs in my blood. Slade, your position's compromised. Get out of there now. Who was that? It's no one. We have to run, Liaz. Run? We are done running. The Yods have united the Talans behind you, Ulakai. We fight!
just insane. They just keep coming. Run! No! Don't do this. I'm human too. See? Drop your weapon. Slate, do as he says. Trust me, I'll protect you. You... you're one of them? Yes. I mean, no, no, I'm not. I'll, I'll explain. Commander Slade? It's... I've seen you. You don't even remember me. How about this? You gave it to me 20 years ago. Wait, what? Oh my god! Camilla? Nelapta! Nekukita me akor! You really speak their language. Baby girl, I can't believe I've been gone 20 freaking years. You haven't aged a single day. How's that possible? Uh, listen to me. It doesn't matter. Daddy's back for you. Just like I promised. The alien stole my necklace. We need to catch her. We're the aliens here, and that necklace is part of her religion. Do you have any idea of its value to me and the whole human race? Hey, relax. There's plenty of these glowing stones around. I'll, I'll get you another one. So you have access to the source of the quantum crystals? Quantum what? You mean halidium? That stone is the most powerful source of energy ever discovered by mankind. Not by mankind, by the Talans. And it was just a present, not a free pass to steal all of the Talans' resources. And you chose these Talans over your people? Your family? I tried to save everyone. And what did I get in return? Death penalty. You got my mother killed. Then half the population of Earth. That's why they executed you. Please don't listen to Jack's lies. Your heart knows the truth. I know it does. I'm your father. I missed you too, baby girl. And I'm sorry, Daddy. You're under arrest. No! Uh, Camilla, listen! I'm not armed. Please. I know you understand me. Camilla, um, tell the yes, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Raising an orphan by yourself can be tough, but so rewarding. Camilla graduated first of her class. Never missed a single one of my birthdays. Such a my good daughter! Girl. I need to talk to her! Your daughter. I adopted Camilla. 
comforted her and taught her everything she knows. What did you do? Look, I didn't kill Marion. Camilla is all I have left of her mother. We were about to get married. That mission, you and these miserable aliens ruined my life. What kind of general is willing to exterminate a whole race for his personal grudge? Good thing that Camilla doesn't have your genes. She sees a different way. That's why she put you in shackles. My day die your tour ne carafafur. And you learn their language, that's so sweet. And I need a translator. Yeah, I dream on, I'd rather die. Again. Help me interrogate the prisoners. And seize the source of quantum crystals. Or I start shooting their leaders one by one. We have a code magenta situation, sir. Camilla. What did Camilla do this time? She went after the aliens to negotiate, and... It's not clear what happened, sir, but... Spit it out! She went AWOL. HQ lost her signal. They think the aliens got her. Show me her last position on the thermal grid. Now. She was under your surveillance. I'm sorry, General. I saw Camilla going straight to Lias. Shit. I gotta get out of here. Commander Slade. My friend. It's you, is it? The voice in my ear. Commander Slade, I am Colonel Vernon, the Major that recruited you 20 years ago. Sending you to Adelpha was a suicide mission, and I'm sorry. Water under the bridge. Doesn't matter anymore. You're gonna bail me out. I don't have the code to your cell. Yes, you do. Shoot me. Have you lost your mind? We'll meet again. Trust me. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope you know what you're doing, soldier. Well, for the first time in moons, I think I do, my friend. <laughs> it worked. Now I just need to get out of here and find Camilla. It only makes you look weak. They say Daddy is a traitor. Then Mommy died because of him. Nothing hurts more than the truth, Camilla. I hate them. Hush now. It's okay. I'm here. I'm gonna talk to those boys. They're the ones who are gonna be sorry. Trust me. This can help a lot of people, Camilla. Don't you want to save the world? All right. You can have it. But only for a little bit, okay? I promise. My friends just want to have a quick look at it in their lab. The Vortex left humanity with almost no resources. So of course the WFA came after the Helidium. What have I done, Camilla? I triggered the invasion with that piece of Helidium I gave you. I had no idea. It's not too late. I gotta fix this. It's me. He's alone. Should I press the trigger? I don't know. I've never done this before. Trust me, pal. You don't want to start today. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You hurt the ass. No surrender. The Galenter is throwing Mordax at us again. Let's get out of here. Where's Doc? And what's with the makeup? Doc is gone. Since the humans took all the chiefs, we, on Sankras, are leading the uprising. United behind Lias, Talans will fight back! But not this moon. It's on Sankras. Oh boy. 
I got a bad feeling about this. More. How are things going? How do you think? Hatso's back in town. And if he was bad back then, he's worse now, since he joined this new group of Yards fanatics. Any news about Doc? No, but if the invaders wanted to revert Doc, they would have done it here, publicly, to scare us and make an example out of him. Instead, they captured him. He's alive. I feel it. Maybe Azan has more information about where they keep him. I was hiding him, so I don't know. How about Hatso? Does he know? He returned after Doc was gone. Tread carefully, Ulukai. The Zon Sankras are spreading their anti-human ideology throughout Amir. You are human too. Zon Sankras don't scare me. Losing a friend does. I'm gonna find Doc and bring him back to where he belongs. May the Yards guide you, Ulukai. And I'm not saying this as a Yards fanatic, but as a friend. I don't like the Zon Sankra's ideas, and they're spreading fast, even amidst my workers. Yeah. Watch your back and keep a low profile. We'll figure out a solution. You have any idea where Doc is? The invaders captured him, took him to one of their facilities. There was nothing we could do. Which facility? I can't locate it precisely. Ask Azan for directions. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Liaz, it's me. Do you copy? Talk to me, please. I'm sorry, Liaz. Please don't hurt my daughter. Slade to Colonel Vernon, do you read me? Slade! It's been weeks. I was eaten by remorse. Tell me about it. I'm sorry. Look, time works differently when I cross the other side. Any news from Camilla? The Talans still have her. But if you manage to make your rebellious friend talk, I can track her signal through the comm link. Understood. I'm just not sure Liaz is still my friend. I'll see what I can do. Slade out. What's up, Bowman? The name is Hassan, but you can also call me Protector. I need to find Doc and break him out. My Protectors have identified his position. I can show you where they are detaining him. Then what are you waiting for? Come on, Hassan. You can do better than this. The invaders had us surrounded. Doc didn't want a bloodbath, so he told us to stand down. He surrendered himself to save our lives. Such weakness. Unworthy of a leader. Weak? That's brave. Can't you see the difference? Whatever. Hatso is back in charge. We are now part of the Zonsankra Liberation Front. Next time the invaders come, we'll be prepared. I have sworn to smash every human who crosses my path. Ah, uh, I'm human. Oh, right. Well, you should probably leave before things start to get ugly around here. If the Galanta knows where Doc is, she's my best way to find him. On my way, then. Let's hunt come and night together sometime.
on target, Bird. You're all right? You can come out. My friend! I thought you'd never come back. <sighs> Story of my life. What happened My here? daughter. She saved me. I've been hiding here since. How is Amiya? Fanatics took over the village. The Zon Sankris. I heard Liaz is leading them. I miss the Dalatai guardians. 
This new order is far too radical. A danger to us all. The fight has to stop, Doc. Talans have a chance to negotiate peace with the humans. I may need you when the time comes. May the Yods be with you. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Are you serious, General? What I mean is, no one broke him out. I let the prisoner escape. He could lead us to my daughter. Are we still focusing on the source of quantum crystals under that island? Yes, they call it Kizar. I found an interpreter. It's a matter of hours before the prisoners tell me what I need to know. The Directorate should have received your psych eval. The disappearance of your daughter has taken a toll on your- I'm almost there. I'm sure you understand. I've been extremely busy with our latest breakthrough. I haven't had time to sit with the military psychologist yet. We're expecting more than your omelette strategy considering that the fate of humanity is at stake. As I said, I'm almost there. You mean we. We're almost there. Bore him out. Jack is dragging everyone into his personal revenge. I can't let this happen. WFA grabbed here on. See where they took him. Marzo, happy to see you're okay. I'm not okay. Leave us alone. Marzo, it's me. Relax. Your human friends came to the village and took here on away. I know. I'm going after him. I'll bring your leader back. I don't know if I'll still be around when you do. Yabdem's own sunkers have forbidden me to brew more larvae. They say I'm working against the Yard's will. What's Peter gonna become without Lampe? We'll find a solution. The solution is Lampe. You got any idea where the invaders took Huron? Don't you know? They're your people, after all. I am not on their side. The Zon Sankers are saying you're not on the Talon side either. Yeah, it sucks to be me right now. I don't know where Huron is. They probably took him to one of the nearby bases. You saw the invaders? The whole village saw them. Their leaders looked exactly like you. You don't have any more friends in this village. Not until you bring Huron back. If he hasn't been reverted yet, I'll find him. The invaders are raiding the villages. You should keep Mirko safe. I'm more afraid for his sanity than his safety. What do you mean? He has a brilliant mind. He's bored, frustrated. Frustration leads to temptation. What temptation? The Zon Sankers got to him. He started to seed ideas in his mind. Ideas of rebellion and war. I know he's smart. Want him on their side. You can't let that happen, Marzo. Talk to him. He'll understand. I'm his father. I'm probably the only Talon he doesn't listen to, but you're his friend. You talk to him. Bye. So long, stranger. Slate to burn. You read me? 
I'm here. Did you find Camilla? Not yet. I'm rescuing the Chiefs. Even with an interpreter, Jack won't get anything out of them. The lines are tough. The General is losing it. He won't hesitate to execute the prisoners if they don't talk. This is madness. What can we do? What Camilla wanted to do this whole time. Negotiate. You gotta reach out to Earth Command and ask for a truce. Truce? The Talans are attacking our outposts, holding our only negotiator captive. If that's not declaring war, I don't know what is. I know. There's gotta be a way out of this mess. I'll give it a shot. But Jack is breathing down my neck. I have zero visibility on the prisoners' locations. Keep me posted. I'll poke around the villages, see if I can find the other chiefs myself before it's too late. Slay it out. Hi there. We'll go do it. What about Marzo? He needs you here. Give me a break. He can't wait to raise a second kid to take care of his precious brewery. But he's not even allowed to brew Lampe anymore, so he might have to consider a different career. The Zahn Sankras won't let him brew? Hey, can we keep the conversation on me? I finally have friends who respect my choices. Mirko, the Zahn Sankras don't care about your choices. Or your freedom. They're on a warpath, and they're dragging you with them. Don't let that happen. You're a smart kid. I'm not a kid! And if I have to recreate weapons to prove it, so be it. What weapons? Nurkan would never agree to help the Zahn Sankras. Nurkan might be the last recreator of his generation, but there's a new generation coming. My LOA essence is strong, and there are others like me. The Zahn Sankras are looking for them as we speak. What if they find one? Or more? And they won't need me anymore, and I'll be trapped in the brewery forever. And I can't even brew anything. I'm asking you to wait until I speak with your father. You want to be a recreator? A real one? I think I have a plan. Do what you want. But I won't wait forever, human. Do you have any idea where Huron is? The humans grabbed him. They were asking him questions about the spear. Of course, Huron couldn't understand them because they were speaking Adakamon. I'm guessing they brought him to a nearby base to interrogate him more. I'll bring him back. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Recreators arming the Talons was a bad idea. I know it was my idea, but I made a mistake, and it was... Humans have enslaved us with powerful weapons. The same weapons that reverted Yon. Now we have them too. The Zon Sankras have more power than ever. Come on. No, don't... Don't be foolish, Lias. Let Camilla go. She shouldn't be part of this. She is the true Ulakai. She who holds the Zokrum amulet. The Yod shall save us from the tyranny of your people. The Ulakai will join our fight. Even if I must force her. Leia's out. No. Wait. This is not good. This is not good at all.
You smell like a barrel of rotten beer. The smell of Lampe. Here on, you're safe. Run as fast as you can back to Bida. Now! You're still alive? Not much longer. Sucker. Perfect timing. Lias! We've taken down a new outpost in the north. No casualties. Well done, Zonsankra. I want more Talans in Bida. I heard Hiron is back, and I don't want the chief to interfere with the shutdown of the brewery. But Lampe is important to the village. Are you afraid your orders will impact our recruitment here? Lampe clouds the mind. Our soldiers must stay focused if we're going to win this war. The purpose of a good soldier is to end wars, Liaz, not start them. Don't make the same mistake that I did or it's not gonna end well. We shouldn't be doing business out in the open. The Zan Sankras have eyes and ears everywhere. Are you holding up? The Zon Sankras have infiltrated the VC. Their fanatic ideas are spreading fast. I don't like where this is going. Can I still count on you and your riders for the bombing raids? I'm with you, Ulakai. But with our chief kidnapped, the floodgates have opened. We cannot stop this war, especially with the Zon Sankras out for blood. I'm trying to free Tanak. Do you know where he's being held? The humans took him to one of their facilities. It's not too far from here. Let me show you. I hope Tanakh is safe, and that he won't end up like his poor brother. Do you know where to find me? Wait! The rebels have... Zon Sankras. That's what they call themselves, Colonel. The Zon Sankras hijacked one of our convoys. Heavy casualties. They stole our weapons and quantum resources. Damn. They're gonna use those weapons against you. It won't be long before Jack calls for the heavy artillery. You mean there's a heavier artillery? Jeez. Have you reached out to Earth Command yet? I'm trying, but the Directorate only has a direct line to the General. No one else. I'll get back to you soon. Good luck. Slay it out. Zalab, did any members of the VC get hurt? This, this is on you. You brought your human friends to our village. Whoa, slow down. I'm on your side, Zalab. Then prove it. Help us free Tanakh. I'm gonna find Tanakh and bring him here. Do you know where the invaders took him? I hope it's not too late. If you want some advice, don't share your plans with the Zan Sankras. They want to install their own leader in Sapa. I don't think any chief would share their warmongering ideology, but... I'm not in Tanakh's head. I still hope he will return and get rid of these fanatics. Can you patch me up? Can you be more careful next time? All right, don't move. How is Yunair? I caught him spreading that Zan Sankra nonsense among other members. But he left the VC before I could kick him out. Yunair has always been easy to influence, but he is on a dark path now. Do you want his secretary position? Uh, no. I have a lot on my plate right now. Can't you eat it later? 
This is no time to feast, brother. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon.
knock.
Those quantum feds won't budge. Find me. No time to explain. Get back to Sapa. The people need their chief. But humans are everywhere. Zalb's VC is creating a diversion. You have to run. Now! Late, Colonel. No doubts we'll have more chances with a diplomat like you as a peace ambassador. Here, Axe. Any news of Rumbar? The invaders got him. I hear they're humans, just like you. I know it's complicated. Just don't let that or whatever the Zon Sankers are saying mess with your head, okay? I'm gonna find Rumbar and release him. Why would a human turn against his own kind? Well... At the end of the day, it's not your species, but the choices you make that turn you into who you want to be. Wise words. I want to be free, Pilgrim. The Zon Sunkras want to free the Talon race. It's the only choice for me. Okay, well, just stay put until I come back with the Chief. Bye, Hirax. Bye yourself. Shamaz Kor, good to see you. Just how good? Tell me. Um, like normal good. Of course. How silly of me. Sorry. My mind is stuck on this scroll that I've read for the tenth time. Not a fan of the makeup, Kor. Where's the love gone? Pilgrim, we cannot be seen together. You're human and I'm too long. Our love can never be. Glad to hear you say it. Listen, I need your help finding Rumbar. I'm gonna break him free. The Zon Sankras will never accept our union. And that's quite the tragedy. But I'm still on a mission here, Kor. I'll tell you where these monsters are keeping Rumbar. In memory of what we once were. Now go. And never look back. I'm always sad to see you go. Vortex 20 years ago. 
That's when the seven states that were still united after the dimensional rift reached the core of the Earth fell apart. I thought you remembered that. I only seem to remember. Sorry about that. So, I was saying, I only seem to remember the bad stuff. Anyway, I went behind Jack's back to see if the Directorate were amenable to a truce. Jack is obsessed with his personal grudge. Did this Directorate agree to negotiate? A peace conference will be possible as long as you manage to gather enough to land ambassadors. Easy. When and where is this happening? I'll get back to you with details. Jack knows nothing about this. He's still threatening to execute the Chiefs. I thought the most engaging peace gesture toward Liazan is on Sankras. I still got work to do then. Slate out.
say they don't care about drinking joints. They want to know how they can access Kizar. But it's not a drinking place. It's my name, you damn it. I don't even drink, you <laughs> idiot. I told you, Rambar, your name is confusing. At least to us humans it is. You asked Mar to interrogate the chiefs, but none of them know anything about how to break through the spear and enter Kiza. Mar, it's me, and I'm not with them. Me? Nice to meet you, me. I'm Mar. Humans all look the same to that imbecile. Well, I'm the human who is releasing you from jail, Rambar. All you have to do is follow the essence vine outside back to Polan. You don't want Mar to interrogate the prisoner anymore? No. Mar, I need you to head back to Procriana. Matter of fact, I'll tag along so I can refresh your memory along the way. You have memories of Mar? But Mar has never met you before. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. To protect you, Rumbar, and welcome to the Zon Sankras. The assault will be soon. When the time comes, I will call for your support, Chief. Is everything all right, Ulukai? You look confused. The vine. It showed me. All the legends about Adelpha, my father, and my mother. Everything you told me is true. Trust the visions, Camilla. Your mother was a hero, and I did all I could to save her. <sighs> Jack took Gamak somewhere. Someone in Dasan must have seen something. I should ask around. <sighs> you always were a fighter, Brom, but this is the wrong revolution. The revolution is over, human. We're gearing up for the next level. War. It doesn't have to go that way. Why don't we find a way to free Gamak first and see what he has to say about this? Gamak never was the true leader of Desan. You're a leader too, I know. But you guys formed a team. The Yards are our true leaders. They sent us a sign. They sent us the Zan Sankras. Together, we will bring the humans to their knees. I'm done working for their machines. If their leaders can bleed, they can be terminated. I need a lead to find where Gamak is detained. I've sent some of my Talan Ops after the human escort that took Gamak away. Only one of them has not returned. Let me indicate you where he went. Maybe Gamak is there. I'll show myself out. Thanks for the chat. Stop attacking humans. Vernon and I can negotiate a ceasefire with Earth Command. I know, Dad. That's 
been my plan all along. Let me handle this. Liaz is waking up. I have to leave. Slade out. She... She used my name. She's never used that name before. <sighs> okay, Icarus. Don't melt your wings off. Slade. Camilla spoke long enough on the comm link so I could locate her position. Awesome. I understand what she's doing, but she's my daughter. I can help her convince Liaz. I'm sending you the last known coordinates. Hurry. They could already be leaving this location. San Procriana. Same place Jack's headed for.
before he does or Lee has is in trouble. Stay down. One of Brahms Talan Ops. What are you doing so far from Dasan? I was tracking our chief unnoticed. I think he's in there. A duel. Hiding again, huh? For the last time, my name is Gamak. And I was not hiding. I was studying my next opportunity to escape. Well, here it is. Path to the sun is clear. Follow that guy, he will lead you back to your village. He's badly hurt. 
He needs the Shamas. Zanat is busy with Gomok. The chief barely made it to Disan alive. You seem bothered. He's free. Isn't that good news? The Zokram amulet is proof that you are the Ulukai. I don't know what your father is trying to prove to us. What if he's just trying to help? Liars don't help, Ulukai. They deceive. You need to pick a side. I have never fired a weapon and I never will. Listen to my daughter, Liaz. Camilla is wiser than I ever was. I shouldn't be doing this, but a Talon has to eat. Stuff is good stuff. Slade, Vernon to Slade. Come in. Colonel, ready to turn your underwear into a white flag? You always crack jokes in the worst situations. Ready to hear the conditions for the truce? Shoot. I mean, uh, don't shoot. Let's keep our focus on peace. In order to set up a peace conference, which can only happen on human ground. Ah, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Earth Command insists that both the Zon Sankra leader and Camilla are members of the Ambassador team. Ouch. That was the good news. There's even worse news? Jack's turned completely paranoid and plans to torture the last prisoner. Extreme torture. If Chief is treated like this, Liaz will snap for sure. She might use Camilla as leverage. Or worse. I can still save the prisoners. Slate out. No! How dare they be so disrespectful to Ma! Uh, Mar, are you okay? We're the only ones here. The Cypher tablet! It's gone! The old stone? Well, come on, it must be here somewhere. I'll help you look for it. Huh? Take it easy, Mar. It's not a thief, is it? Pancho? Hey, buddy. Why are you here all alone? Where's the Shana? Hey! Come back! Thief! Mar will fight you! Liaz. Slade to Liaz. I know you're listening. Answer me. Liaz, I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm doing everything I can to stop the madness I created, but you've got to throw me a line here. I am begging you. The Ulakai does not beg. But you were never the true Ulakai, were you? There's a way out of this. Humans and Talans have to compromise. Compromise? How many of my people have reverted compared to yours? Brothers, sisters... My beloved Yan, Sankra will end this conflict. There's something terrible about the Sankra Tablet. It is not what you think. You just want your daughter back. The Ulakai stays with me. She is my secret weapon. You have a daughter, too. Remember that. Let's meet at the temple where it all started. Camilla doesn't have to be there. Just listen to what I have to say, and then you can decide. Fine. The Ganda Temple. We'll talk. But the Ulukai won't be there. See? Compromise. Thank you, Liaz. Slate out. Colonel, 
Slade to Vernon. You there? God damn it, why are you ignoring me? I better hurry to the temple and talk to Liaz. I hope she listens to reason. That's the Sankar tablet that was stolen from Mars Museum. Why is it here? It's a puzzle. My mother wants me to keep busy with it until she comes back. It's very important I solve what she said. I think I got a part of it, but it's so hard. The opposite of fun. The tablet warns the Talans about the four essences shifting out of balance. Sankra will drown this world in chaos. Your mother needs to understand this happened to Earth before How and that- dare you feed your lies to my daughter? Lias, listen to me. I only listen to the Yods. Sankra is not the way of the Yods, Lias. Your anger will destroy everything. The tablet is no a more warning. Lies. You gotta be strong enough to handle the truth. I wasn't. I knew the invaders were human, and I didn't tell you because I thought you were too angry to trust me, so I lied for your own good. And hiding the identity of my father? Also for my own good? What? Oh, goddamn Kamlik, look. I'm sorry you overheard my conversation with Yal and Kizar, but you are not your father, Liaz. Even though you have his temper. Croax was weak. I won't repeat the mistakes of my father. I won't collaborate with humans who lie and deceive. I am here to compromise, Liaz, remember? Let's make peace for the Yods, for everyone. Only the Almael understands the will of the Yods. Then I'll talk to the Almael. Can you at least tell Camilla I love her? She knows. She has been listening to our conversation through my comlink. You gotta help me, baby girl. She promised me not to answer. And the Ulukai is a woman of her words. Slade to Vernon. I made it. All chiefs are safe and back in their villages. Vernon. Come in. Colonel? Ah, oh, shit. I got a bad feeling about this. Channel. Colonel, what happened? The last frequency got hacked. Took some time to secure a new one. You talked to Lies? She ready to surrender her weapons and join the ambassadors? Not exactly. She won't listen to me, but I know who can convince her. I'm on my way to Kizar. Wait, what the? I'm ending this. Colonel? Oh, these comlinks really suck. There's no way I'm getting through the spear. What are you doing here? Yell. You heard me. I didn't hear you. I felt your presence. We share a special bond. I... I know. I feel it too. There's not a lot of time before Alma finds out that I breached the spear to meet you. So speak. Liaz and her Zonsankers are about to cause the extinction the Yods warned us about. How? A way of Sankra will swallow the world and how do I put this? A series of serious shitstorms. 
My dimension already got this treatment. It wasn't pretty. I will talk to Liaz. I think she's ready to compromise. One out of two on my should be good enough to convince her. Thank you, Yell. You cannot stay here. Well, this is goodbye, I guess. So be it. The Al Mayal has half. Oh. No. Spoken. You see that? They were about to kiss. Disgusting. General, have you lost your mind? Oh. Did I hurt your little friends, Lieutenant Colonel Vernon? I've known about your betrayal for a while now. I should execute you for treason. Redeem yourself, Colonel. Shoot the alien. Screw you, Burrum. You miserable coward. sacrifices to understand the true meaning of the Yacht's message. Yell, Colonel Vernon, they were both from different dimensions, but they both trusted me to complete one mission. very grateful to Camilla and to Liaz, who have agreed to join me as ambassadors of this event. And I want to thank you all for being here today. During my time on Adelpha, I learned that we are not so different. WFA, Dalatai Guardians, humans, or Talans, at the end of the day, we all hope for the same things. Safety for our children. To be worthy as a father. Or as a daughter. To look our brother in the eye. And realize that we are all brothers and sisters after all. Connected like one big club. Bonding over the simplest and most beautiful concept of all. The only one everybody in this room has in common. And it's not death or aversion, it's life. A force of nature as powerful as a Galenta. 
but thriving in a fragile shell. It is our responsibility not to break peace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to welcome to this very stage the highest representative of the Talan Nation, Alma Yell. The Alma Yell. It's going to be fine, Liaz. Chill. I'm chilled. But is it me? Or is it getting hot in here? And as far as the moons remember, we are the keepers of all Yod's creations. We are home. She ain't following the script. There should be more Dolatai guardians here. Where are they? This repulsive human reverted my sister in cold blood. None of his eloquent words could save her. She is extinct. Shit. Renounce false prophecies and give faith to our makers. If the Yods can save us, no one will. Ambassador of Peace! What are you waiting for? 
General! your essence to the Yods for the sake of peace between worlds. You are united in this realm and beyond. We shouldn't be here. I don't understand. Where are the soldiers? <laughs> the Yods. They made us all revert together. Wild, right? First time is the weirdest. It gets better, trust me. Help me, please, Ulagai! Nefaim, what's happening here? The spear, it's gone. We were told you all reverted dozens of moons ago. Now the humans are massacring females and children. The Zon Sankras are losing the battle. Kizar is doomed. Where's Alma? The Almayel is using Halidium to protect herself. She's retreated to the center of the city. I don't know how long she can keep this up before... Before... Oh no! They found me! Take cover! close to Mar. He runs too fast and I lost him, but don't worry, I'll be fine. Slade out. to them. The more they hurt you, the stronger you are. Watch out, Lias. There are more of them. They're on me. Okay, they all want to play.
Watch out! More enemies ahead! Ready, we ask.
The Almael used the Hledium we brought her to turn the spear into a weapon. She's going to... Destroy the orbital portal. Attack is the best defense, God damn it, Alma! I'm the one who taught you that! I only attended the peace conference to figure out the exact location of the portal. My new spear targets it. Dad, if she succeeds, we'll all be gone in seconds. Humans and Talans. A damaged portal would only result in a new vortex. One of massive extinctions. Assessing. Cool down complete. Well, yes, there's no cover. Get Camilla out of here. So, bringing the shield down was some kind of trap to lure me here. A suicidal strategy. Fool. I can't let Alma activate the spear, but I gotta stop Jack first.
May the bells of Melia carry our words across the whole planet. And beyond. Our message speaks to humans and to lands. For a new beginning. <laughs>